two. Hello, my friends, my family. Hello. It's Friday. It's April 21st. It's a sunny, beautiful day. Mm -hmm. Spring. May, uh, may I say even summer is close upon us. You may. I may say that. You may consider it. Thank you. Which is exciting, you know, summer is always fun. You know, so that's something to look forward to. Today's episode is sponsored by Kudos. Kudos to Kudos. Shopify and PayPal Honey. We love it. Thank you to our wonderful sponsors. All the great. Uh, listen. <clears throat> yeah. Listen, also, Zuck is a soul-sucking demon. Hell yeah. It's on TeddyFresh.com right now. Listen, today's episode is quite the bonanza. We, I have been super excited for this episode all week. These guys have put in a tremendous amount of work to stake their claim on this $620,000 windfall that we got from the idiots at BBTV. I can't wait. Who is crying over their bankruptcy filing as we uh, skip our way through, through uh, lavish travels of the world. So uh, thank you to them, by the way. Thank you, BBTV. Yes. Also, we're doing uh, Guess Who's High, which Ooh. is a 420 tradition. Now, how, what's the plan with that one? How many of y'all are getting high? Do, uh, do I know? What's the name of the game? Okay. Oh, I just want to see, is there a number? <laughs> are you trying to get in our heads? Could it be one? Could it be zero? I mean... It could be zero. It could be everybody or anything in between. Big old doinks. Come on. Well, you want a hint? I do. Hint me. Hint it me. It won't be who you expect. Oh, Good. it's Eli. That'd be awesome if you always would. <laughs> awesome. Totally wouldn't expect that. Right. Um, so that's exciting. So you guys said you want to do this, and I think that's brave of you all. You want to do the guess who is high before. Indeed. Oh, really? They want <laughs> to do the presentation the presentation. while high. Okay. <laughs> which frankly right. would scare me, but uh, I'm not I'm not the one getting high. <laughs> Although uh, the one idea I do like is that part of AV's presentation is this insane spread back there, bro. Yeah. Of Lebanese food? Uh it's Persian, but Dude, I it's... want I want to get in on that. Yeah. Can we just start the show with AB's presentation and then do the how high and then everybody else? Whatever you want. No, I'm kidding. You the boss. <laughs> I won't do that. Yeah, by the way, uh, Ela says she looks like a filter. <laughs> I, that's what you asked Ela, me. you should know. Anything <laughs> right, you I Discord. saw you say that, and I should have known but better. But that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. But I just, I see on the camera, I see more, like, detail. And then on here, I look like a filter. And well, I was like, you know, do I look like I have a filter on? That's a compliment, because <laughs> okay. you always look freaking, everyone looks bomb with those filters, <laughs> and you look amazing. You should stunt on them a little bit. Hey, Gabe, one sec, bud. You want to show it off? <laughs> I mean, it's always so hard to show. I'm going to stunt well, on my Instagram later. Well, give us a tour. Okay. my TikTok. It's I love amazing. It. Oh, I'm a, I'm a TikToker Mr. now, by the way. Will you sing me Woo! happy birthday, Mr. President? <laughs> me? Oh. I see. I thought you were talking to Gabe. I'm JFK. Um, no, I don't. I don't think I was following American culture back then, so I don't know that. Yeah, JFK in Maryland. <laughs> uh, they, they, they did it. She fucked the president. Too. They did. Yeah, she what? fucked the president. <laughs> really? Yes. And did she fuck like his brother too? She was like kind of. She Maybe. was racking him up. Yeah. I don't know if they were ever know. confirmed, because weren't they like affairs? <laughs> Yeah, these are they were always just rumors. But the JFK okay. thing was for sure. Well, yeah, but it was still. <laughs> That's pretty hype though. Like, That's and JFK epic. was a heartthrob too, wasn't he? The president. Love that. Also, your 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 nails look awesome. <laughs> They've got like hardware. <laughs> yeah. Fire. I got chains. Let's go. And I can do ASMR. 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 Yeah. Very good. Gabe, how are you today? Yeah, I just want to wish you guys a happy 420, baby. Ooh. Happy 420, Gabe. <laughs> Blaze, get Blaze, bitch. Blaze, motherfucker. Bitch. Ooh. Hot box my asshole, baby. Smoking through my butthole, baby. Yes. Oh. Hey, Gabe. <laughs> Gabe, take a fat rip, blow it up my ass, and then I'll breathe it out my nose, bitch. 
<laughs> do you ever smoke, Gabe? Do you blaze at all? I just do cigars, oh. not weed. Have you I ever smell weed? But it, it's not good for. Me. I yeah. don't like it. <laughs> you don't like it. You tried it. You didn't like it. No. Yeah, I'm the same way, Gabe. Uh, I, I'm not a big fan of it, but a lot of people partake, and we love that for them, don't we? Well, it's good. It's 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 up to them. It's, it depends on their body. My body can't handle the smoke of weed. Right. I, I smoked and I, it gave me the bad, bad runs. Mm. <laughs> Smoking weed gives you diarrhea? I never yeah, heard that. Depends on really? the, it depends on the, what <clears throat> they put on it. Oh, that's interesting. Diarrhea. Are you sure it was weed you smoked? It's, it's something like that. It's like was it oregano chemicals. or something? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Gabe. What are you doing this weekend? Well, we're going to we're gonna make some spaghetti hey. and my boss. Woo, oh, woo, woo, spaghetti and, and my, my boss. boss. Woo, 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 spaghetti, spaghetti and my boss. And my boss. Woo, 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 woo. Spaghetti so, woo, woo. and my boss. Woo. So you'll be serving your balls to your family this weekend. <laughs> that is so gross. Along with my spaghetti. <laughs> Along with spaghetti, of course. And, well, that's it's my favorite. Pasta Friday. <laughs> it's Pasta Friday, baby. Suck on my balls, bitch. <laughs> Fry my balls and eat it through the grill, baby. Ooh, bitch. Bitch. Put marinara up my ass and then suck on my balls, bitch. Woo. <laughs> Lift the, lift the marinara from my ass and lick it. Wait. <laughs> Always so great to start the show like that. Hi, new listeners. <laughs> oh, Gabe, you did good. You did good, but you know, what can I say? I'm good at this. All right, get those balls cooking. I know there's it's a slow cook kind of balls. process. You know, make sure they're nice and juicy for the family. Okay. Right. Yeah. Some fried sperm. Ew, gross. Oh my Gabe. God. I'm now I am a little curious. What happens when you fry <laughs> sperm? That is an interesting okay, question. Let's not. Have you? I mean, Come. is mythical chef uh, Jeff available <laughs> for some experiments? <laughs> All right, Gabe. We love you. Have a great weekend, okay, bud? Happy four twenty. Happy four twenty. Okay, Fuck. I'm, ha I'm hanging up now. Fuck! Bye, Gabe. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> there it is. Oh, love is like doing a Morpheus today? Oh. Red I don't know. I don't know what the vibe is with these I glasses. I kind of like them, though. Yeah. Red pill is shit. <laughs> shit. Uh, <laughs> well, let's see here. Where do we begin? I guess we've got, maybe we should do some top of the show stuff and then mm -hmm. at the 30 minute mark get into the who's high. Sounds good. Is that food going to last, A.B., or should we actually get into it? Yeah, it should be good. Yeah. It'll, it'll sit mm -hmm. there for like an hour, hour and a half. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, I mean just be realistic. That's... I mean, it's sealed off, but it might not be the best. Should we do it? We could do your presentation right now. <laughs> just wants to eat. Well, you know, I don't want the food to go bad. <laughs> no, I think the food will be right? good. It'll be good. Oh, so, okay, so you say it will be good. I think it'll be good, yeah. Okay. Because before you were implying it wouldn't be good. I mean, it's not going to be as good as if it was like completely fresh. So but no, it'll that, still be that's good. That's a good argument for doing <laughs> it right now. Okay. Not a lot of enthusiasm for that idea. I'm gonna follow Dan's lead. Dan, what do you want to do? Oh, I, I'm always stick to the plan, you know. But um, if Ethan's hungry, which I think <laughs> is what this is really about, <laughs> then we can do ABs now. <laughs> no, we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. Put your balls in my mouth. Excuse me, Zachary. Uh, Actually, Zach's not here today. Oh. Yeah. I discovered uh -huh. something. Yeah. Wait, what? Zach's Zach not here not today. Here. Where is he? 
It's Lou, baby. Oh, it's a oh, Lou. You don't recognize me? Let's yeah, I was go. like, someone came out of hiding. Uh, I was thinking, I'm sure I've seen him, though. <laughs> he only comes out on Mondays, but it's a special occasion. Mm-hmm. Okay, hold on. Okay. Uh, Lou, excuse me. Yes. Is Lou going to be doing the presentation today or Zach? Both. Wow, that sounds okay. scary. <laughs> and, and, and this is a Dr. Jekyll, uh, Mrs. Hyde, Hyde. Yeah, I drank my potion and, I, you know. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Dr. Jack. Jessica. Of a movie. Sweet Life of Jeff and Cody. Right. Dr. Jessica and The Mr. Magnificent, Magnificent Tales. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Very good, Lou. Welcome to the show. Nice Thank to you. see you. Thank you, Brian. Who's nice the fucking goat? It says it right there on your shirt. All right. What is this? Someone made a, a, a cartoon of everybody <laughs> eating my poo? Uh, that doesn't oh, sound I... that great, but. Uh, uh, just take a look. Something kind of crazy this weekend, guys. Oh, yeah? Oh, I saw Shredder eating right. his own shit. And that got me thinking, maybe shit tastes good. So the next time I shat, I ate it. Tweet out my ass. Wait, are you for real? <laughs> yeah. And I have some for you guys to try. All different flavors. Wait, this isn't a joke? You actually ate poop? Wait a second. <laughs> That's fucking delicious. <laughs> tastes a little like pesto. This is nice. The fuck's wrong with you all? You're literally eating feces. Human fecal matter. You're wrong, Dan. This shit slays. Now this is some real goop fika. I like how creamy it is, and the way it slides down your throat. Oh, it tastes like jerky. I've never had poop before, but this might be the best thing I've ever tasted in my life. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, Dan, don't knock it till you try it. It's so good. Hey, Ryan Cavanaugh here. I gotta say, Ethan, despite our differences, this poop is the most delicious thing I've ever consumed, <laughs> and I fucking love it. Thank you, Ethan, here. for this wonderful <laughs> gift to the world. See, Dan? Everyone likes it. Yeah, Dan, stop being such a hater. <laughs> okay, fine. If you want me to try it so bad, I will. <laughs> Ugh, sound noises. Well? <laughs> Ow. Yeah, so, uh, I love it. I watched that. Apparently, I don't know how much work went in that because it's all AI generated voice. Right, yeah. I've never done that. Is that a lot of work to crunch those? Yeah, it's, it is. It's pretty hard mm. because you need like training footage where the voices are clean, mm-hmm. no background noise. So, well, there's plenty of quite that. A, thankfully, there's hours and hours yeah. and hours of that right. for all of us. So, but I will say that it was I, very on character for each one. <laughs> I almost feel like a I feel like an AI could do this show. Frankly, after watching that, <laughs> it's sick. they got the sound bites down. They got all the characters. I'm like, fuck, man. So okay, shout out to whoever put so much time into that test. That was Macaroni. really cool. Mm-hmm. I loved it. There it is. I'm sorry. We love that. I'm afraid I can't do that. I want to say welcome back to AB officially on the show. Oh, thank and you so Lena. much. Glad to be back. Uh, yes, he's back. Uh, he's back triumphantly from Creator Clash. Uh, I told AB I can't believe that Lena might be doing it, and he said, "Well, I can't say no to her," and I was like, "I'm gonna say it." So Lena, <laughs> don't do it. Wait, wait, don't do it. Well, hold on. AB got to do this two times, and now we're all telling Lena, don't do it. Not I, all I'm saying, don't do yeah, it. Literally, the thought of Lena getting hurt makes me want to die. No, Lena, <laughs> you should be scared for her opponent. That's yeah. true. There's true. Some abda, there can be some uh, damn pituitary glands jiggling out there, boy. Thank you. Thank you, Ethan, for your confidence in me. Uh, I am really pumped, I'll say that. That's I, it. I saw that you said we should all go, and I kind of agree. Oh, come on. That's so <laughs> I said that just as a joke with AB, but... Oh. I'm going to need to be there physically. That's because if somebody, if somebody does something to Lena, I'm going to step in the ring myself. Yeah, like Maybe you can take yeah. my spot. I don't know if I'll be able to watch. I would <laughs> love for Ela to be there with me. You yeah. can be right, ringside right there. It would be perfect. All the support I need. is her coach. <laughs> Give her that water bottle squirt. No, absolutely. Man. You should be in her corner. That'd be cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe just you. I can do that. Yeah. That'd be cool to see you on TV. Okay. If um, you really don't want to come, I'll do it. Yeah, on TV, you know. There's a camera. There's a camera. Wow, on you know? TV. Raider Clash is a big event. <laughs> uh, I'll be your reporter on on the field. 
So is this a this is a real possibility? Have you spoken uh, seriously with them, Lena, about this? No, not like officially. Um, but I have been practicing and training. So if if I I'll had the time, I don't want to reach or push. But if I do get the opportunity, I would definitely take it. How are you feeling? You feel good. Your form feels good. You're out there. You're throwing you're throwing heaters. Honestly, I haven't like officially sparred with anyone yet um, because my my training wasn't intended for that. Um, mm -hmm. But I've just been like learning the sport and the technique, and and that's honestly been so hard. Like I didn't know how much technique is involved. So the past um, couple months, it's just been all about that. Ab, how's how's her technique looking? It's funny. Uh, Lena's definitely more athletic than I am. Um, but uh, Wally says that I've. He always told me I've never seen a motherfucker who does this or does this. He like when I first started, my, my arm would go out. And he's like, you know, now that I meet your wife, she's the only other person that does all the shit that you do. <laughs> <laughs> mm. But besides that, he says that he said he did tell me that he thinks she could be really good, actually. Oh, oh God. Yeah. really? That'd be freaking crazy. Yeah. Oh, Just my God. Undefeated. <laughs> yeah. That's what I that's what I need in my life. That's crazy. You guys. OK. I'll bring honor back to the podcast. Oh. Sing <laughs> against you, A.B. You know that. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Who's it against? Alfredo. Who's really it against, bring honor Leo? back to this fucking household. <laughs> yeah, we had a goddamn Shame. divorce over this shit. Shame. You know, uh, a Ramadan Shame. finished recently, right? Yeah, or today's. Yeah. Today? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Happy Mukbar. Thank you. Happy Aid. How do you, oh, did I say it right? Uh... Lena, you want to say Mookbar. it? Yeah. How did you say it? It kind of just. What do you say at the end? Uh, Mukbar. Oh, uh, it's Aid Mubarak. Oh, Mubarak. Oh. Mubarak. I mm -hmm. remember like Mu and then thinking Barack Obama. <laughs> Maru Brock, happy Maruk Barack Obama. <laughs> Everybody? Got well, that's exciting. You, you what is it again? And you can eat now, right? Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Lena, can you say it again? Aid Mubarak. Oh, okay, okay. Ayed mm -hmm. Mubarak. Yeah, yeah or good. Ayed Mubarak, yeah. Ayed Mubarak. Ayed Mubarak. I, I like to say it as American as possible. Ayed Mubarak. <laughs> Mubarak. <laughs> Ayed Mubarak. Yeah. All right, well, moving on, uh, coming through the top here, James Charles um, continues to get owned publicly. And to be totally honest with you, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I just don't understand this, man. Uh, he posted a video. He says, I slept in my makeup, and here's what happened. Uh, this guy commented, you don't have the income coming in anymore. You don't have income coming in anymore. Mm -hmm. By the way, some random fucking dude on Twitter. I mean, if you're responding to these kinds of tweets, you're not in a good headspace. That's my theory. Wait, who is responding? James responds to this tweet. Okay. Okay. He doesn't even have Twitter premium like fucking L, dude. Don't even take him seriously. Uh, he says, quick, let's compare bank accounts. Oh, my God. Bro. Dude, come on, oh, bro. That is just pathetic. Like, like <laughs> have some dignity for yourself, man. <laughs> this is almost oh. more embarrassing than mm -hmm. trying to fuck 16-year-old boys. Oh, well, I don't know about that. Debatable. Okay, debatable. <laughs> Quick, let's compare. Sister. Okay, show. Okay, show your bank account, James. I mean, I'll oh, I'll look at it. Sister, it. I'm curious how much is in there. Uh, then uh, he says, "Let's compare interaction with minors first. Me zero. <gasps> oh, you many cases and still going. Wow. And again, this man has a humiliation fetish. Clearly, he does. It's not just armpit hair. He loves." Uh, it's also humiliation. And then after that, he bails. He deletes it and he bails. He deletes it? Yeah, he bails. Oh. You can't just let it slide, please? <sighs> not this Crazy, one. huh? So I have to order this medication. I'm not just on my phone during the show. Oh, Ela is getting... Um, uh, so, yeah, we can do an update if you want. Next Friday, right? Mm-hmm. The egg... Will be transferred back into my body. It's got one girl in it. The is egg it? is apparently rated 4AA, whatever that means. Yeah. I'll ask ChatGPT what's the hierarchy of egg ratings, but yeah. apparently that's a good rating. Now, put that phone down. So, <laughs> different perspectives. <laughs> so next Friday would be that, and then the next Friday would be the pregnancy test. 
which is so crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. What's the What's the system where they grade baseball cards? <laughs> um, I mean, PSA is yeah, like it's the like company a, that does it. Yeah. yeah. So they sent the egg out to them and. 4A <laughs> is really good. That's almost, I think that's mint, nearly mint condition. Actually, I'm, I'm actually curious on the hierarchy. I'm asking chat GPT. GP's up. Regarding, uh, <laughs> how would you call that? Uh, IVF. Yes. Yeah. I so let's see here. 4AA is indeed a good rating. IVF embryo grading is a way for uh, embryologists to assess quality and the potential success for implantation. Okay, the gar uh, the Gardner rating system is commonly used. Gardner? That's what it says. It's Gardner. Okay. Like you're planting goddamn seeds in the soil. Oh. Uh. So expansion and hatching status. This represent is represented by number one through six, where one indicates early blastocyst, and six means a hatched blastocyst. I don't know what the fuck that means, bro. A grade four implies an expanded blastocyst. <laughs> Y'all, anyone want? <laughs> You know what the fuck that means? Uh, that any normal room is regular, it's had to build and construct it, but just to wipe the nation, it's across, that just mean. Inner mass <laughs> cell is represented just by... the early stage of the embryo. Blastocyst. So is that, that's not necessarily an indicator of quality. It's just the, the stage of how, how mm -hmm. deep it is? Yep. Okay, so four, it's right in the middle. That's good, I think. You know? So then the inner cell mass is represented by A, B, or C. A being the best quality. Get at me. You got the, dude, you got those good ass eggs, girl. You got that. Again. All right. You got that pasture raised, <laughs> grass fed, boy. <laughs> and they put some semen on top. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, grade A signifies that them cells are tightly packed. Mm hmm. Like that ass. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Tropothermic quality. This Bullshit. also <laughs> this also represented by letter A, B, or C. A being the best quality. Yo, you got like a perfect egg. It's a perfect egg. You got a freaking perfect <laughs> egg right there, girl. Okay. Yeah. So as we as we talked about, we only have one girl out of the seven or eight. Seven. Six boys, one girl. And so <laughs> the the uh, doctor wanted to do a test run for a month. Yes. But we decided we don't want to do it because it's just it's so much on my body. It's like it's hard. I've been taking this um, man, Manipure shot every day and it's just I hate it so much. It's I, really painful I hate, for her. I have a pretty good tolerance for pain. Yeah, you do. But this one really hurts me. I don't know if it's like that for everybody. So the liquid, it's not the needle, the yeah. liquid inside burns. burns. And my whole stomach is sore right now. You, get you all. Shots. <laughs> you look so like it looks like it's torching you. So I didn't I, want to do it for another I really hate You have to do it every night. Yeah. And what is it? Just juices up your. It's hormones. It makes you. Um, yeah, it makes you ovulate more. I don't know. I asked her like, why do I need to ovulate more if we already have the egg ready, fertilized and everything? And she said it's because we still need to prepare your uterus for when we put it back. We want your body to like take it in. Yes. So we still need to prepare your body for it. I don't know. Well, it's, it's a lot of crazy. information. So in two weeks, we'll know if Ela's prego or not. Yeah, it might be on the show again because it's a Friday oh, shit. again. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> so I'm asking Chat GPT now: What would happen if a man injected himself with Menopure? Okay. <laughs> I'm curious. Menopure. GP you know what I mean? Agent. Yeah. What would happen? And after that, I'm taking progesterone, which is another hormone, for the next two weeks, I think. Yeah. It says increased sperm production. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Increased testosterone production. Let's go, dude. Possible side effects. Yeah, what are the side effects? Headache, mood swings. Mood swings? That's kind of, that sounds yeah. bad. Okay, but apparently it's not that bad. I'll just get my balls all heavy. <laughs> Let's love that. Okay, well, anyway, good. So that's exciting. Yes. Very exciting. And they're all so funny in that um, <laughs> clinic. Like, I went this morning for an ultrasound, and they, to, so today they checked your lining. I still don't know what anything means. Good lining? So they're like, your lining is gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I mean, I look at the screen and see oh nothing. God, thank you, girl. And they're like, it's thank gorgeous. You. <laughs> gorgeous. 
<laughs> Stunned. I remember when you gave birth. Uh, I'll also say this, uh, and I'm sorry if it embarrasses you, but I'll just say it. They were raving about your nipples. Uh, yes, yeah, it's very embarrassing. The, the nurses could not <laughs> stop. Every time a new nurse would come in, and they'd be like, "You have perfect I, nipples for that's this." That's amazing. I disagree. Everyone, they'd be like, "Girl, your nipples are so perfect." I must have heard that ten times. I know. I don't know what they're on about those ladies. Well, crazy. Just perfect little bites. Okay, let's. <laughs> you know. Yeah, that's enough. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, but you're like a perfect baby factory. I mean, truly. So good After job. After this baby, we're closing the factory. Yeah. I'm kind of like, I'm so happy right now with where I'm at with my body. And I'm like, I'm really going to do this to myself again. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get like this giant. Yeah, because you've really been feeling yourself on yeah. Instagram. And yeah. TikTok. So I'm starting to see those abs forming. I know. Your and abs are like, looking good. Damn. But I'll do it again. So, are you, is your plan, how do you plan, uh, plan to incorporate being pregnant into this new social yeah, media Yeah, that's, life? it's giving me a little bit of um, anxiety because I'm really loving what I'm doing right now and I hope I can still do it. So, my hope is to still do like fun fashion moments mm -hmm. pregnant. I think you can do it. I just hope that I'll still feel myself like I am now because if I feel like I don't look good, then it's not going to be fun. Right. Well, Riri did it, right? Riri, yeah, she's yeah, the queen. absolutely. Riri was slain being pregnant. <laughs> if Riri can do it, Ela can do it. You know what I mean? That's what I think. She's a queen, though. So yeah. Well, you I'll both try. Are. And you aren't. I will try. You're a goddess. <laughs> Sorry, Riri. That's my wife we're talking about. I think you'll pull it off. It'll be fun, actually. It'll be like a fun little uh, challenge. Yeah, it's a challenge. Yeah, for it'll, sure. be mm -hmm. it'll be fun for you. I'm I can already also starting totally to think contribute about it. to the like artistry of the photo. Yeah, I'm like, starting to think yeah. about it like that. How can I make it look cool? I can be sick. Yeah. So there's that, you know, lots of good stuff happening there. Now, I don't know what kind of bullshit this is on the subreddit. Dan's not even here, but it's about him. Now, I am very, very much against this. People are starting to feel bad for Dan. <laughs> Why? Because of the scorpion chair. I think he's done his time. Mm. Time for a normal chair, they say. <laughs> He has done his time on the seat. The bit has paid for itself. Let him have a proper chair and desk again. I, I don't think you Does guys... Does he even have... want a normal chair back? He'll come back, but I think he'd say yes. Yeah. I think he would have said yes a long time ago. He did get a little cushion that made it a little easier, but yeah, we'd have to ask him. But you know, I think he's so plugged into this setup. Yeah. I yeah. can't imagine him any Look other way. Look at all the monitors. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. I mean, honestly. Honestly. Who who even is he without the scorpion chair? I, I don't know. Just a Dan. Just any other Dan. The wizard status is gone. Yeah. Without the scorpion chair. Dan. Peop, uh, do you do you want a different chair? Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> right, the Reddit post about yeah. uh, the chair. Listen. The gag is pretty good, <laughs> but this chair has started to affect my life. I'm mm. not going to lie. <laughs> okay. How, okay. How? It hurts my back. Oh, really? your back hurts? I sit in this uh, five days a week <laughs> for hours and hours at a time, especially when we're live. And I don't know if you've ever noticed, but during the show, I like stand up and get up a lot. It's because uh, if I don't, shit. I'm like, seriously, my like legs are falling asleep. It's okay, this that's chair not good. fucking so, sucks. So maybe the solution isn't to get you a normal chair, but to bring in some kind of ergonomic uh, engineer. <laughs> if we could make a modification to it to yeah. make it less horrible, uh, I'm happy to keep it. I mean, I like the aspect of all of the screens. Like, right. it's cool, but you can do that with the normal desk. Too. I think we should yeah. mod it. I, if you want to do that, I'm open to. I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> I think the part of the joke is that it's like a transformer. We keep building on it. Yeah. But listen, I mean, I I lobbied for this chair. <laughs> I, I made my own bed here. I understand <laughs> that, and you spent a lot of money on it, and I so. <laughs> I will say to I Dan, uh, how Dan's... long has it been? It's been years now. Yeah, it's been years. <laughs> yeah, it's been <laughs> like, years. Maybe like two years. I guess it was like two years ago we got it. I will say Dan has been a good sport. He doesn't complain that much about it. No. 
Not to but, us, at least. But knowing he has back pain, that that is a problem. Yeah. <laughs> also, he's to... hit his head on it so many times. That's the other thing. <laughs> it's yeah. dangerous. Like, <laughs> genuinely. Like, to make it badass and scorpion-like, you see how, like, there's, like, points everywhere. Yeah. Like, all over it is, like, sharp metal points and so even at like when like theodore was head walking or, around like, there my elbow on it and shit yeah. yeah i put a tennis ball on the end for theodore it's like right at face level <laughs> yeah gnarly yeah, metal yeah. spike i'm right. like this is not a greatly conceived uh chair that being said west coast customs or something someone like that maybe <laughs> could help us <laughs> mod <Maybe>. it <laughs> maybe that'd be outside their normal purview but Dan, uh, that would be pretty sweet. Okay, so what about something like this? I People mean, if you <laughs> get a cushion, I mean, I have a cushion. I have this thing. I, I've done things that have made it a little bit better, but it's just <laughs> if your back it's pain is a problem, then uh, <laughs> perhaps something to let you lay down in. Well, theoretically, this one can do that, but it's it's not really that comfortable in the laying down position. This also, is giving me can't, hospital. <laughs> can't see me when I when I lean it back. So, how much is this one? This a real product? Got it. Why? Think... Just why? <laughs> it is so fucked up. Uh, it says between twelve thousand and twenty thousand. Oh my oh, god! Oh man, this one definitely looks pretty clean though, Dan. Who is their customer? I, uh, I'm convinced question. we're the only one who's ever bought yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Would you upgrade? Would you change for this, perhaps? I mean, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what did it say? Twelve thousand to twenty thousand. I mean, I got BBTV money. Can you trade in like a used car? <laughs> right, can we trade it? Yeah, that's a good idea. Trade this up. Could try. This is awesome. I think it'd be awesome if you were laying down the whole show and there was like a top-down camera. Well, again, I mean, theoretically, <laughs> we could do this, but that's also kind of hor like. Oh shit! That's not I'm gonna be comfortable. <laughs> that's fucking funny. <laughs> I actually, I think I found a, a good replacement. I just sent it in, uh... What you got? Oh, I sent it in the wrong The one. thing is that you that. guys do the show so much. <clears throat> so, like, he actually sits in it for hours. Right, yeah, and I mean, this is, this computer is, like, my work computer, too. So even when we're not <laughs> live, I'm sitting here. So I'll I, say I this. I chair for hours a day. If you what want a new chair, one? I'm fully in support of that, Dan. But... We will need to get you something special because you are our captain, so to speak, <laughs> or our first mate. First officer. First officer. Yeah, XO. Yeah. And so I think that we need something like this for you if you want a new chair. Well, what is this one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think, I, I think we joked about this a lot. Oh my yeah, God. Oh, it's it. VR. It's VR, so. <laughs> that would be so fucking when I hit the button, it should. Send Dan on a fucking eject me. <laughs> yeah, ejected from the show. <laughs> now, how much is this, baby? Don't read his I, we looked into this. I don't believe this is actually. I think that was sale. like proof yeah. of concept or or <laughs> great oh, concept. Because I would consider buying that. <laughs> Just a like two hundred thousand dollar super advanced <laughs> AI. Is Dan spinning the whole episode. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> if Ethan is not reading chat. Feet. Then, then we'll just go do some trick to get your attention. Flipping. Oh fuck! I'm 100 percent serious, bro. You're not getting that. You're not getting into a normal chair. Not on my watch. <laughs> Look at this, oh dude. Oh my god! Look at this there ain't no way that's fun. It's like just get out of the house at that point. Go to a theme park. Oh. God. There is no way that that is fun. <laughs> Zero. I kind of disagree. Okay, I'll, I'll give you my You're support. You're gonna need a full maintenance person for this chair. Right, exactly. It looks <laughs> fun. Now, me and you did a VR thing, remember, on the battleship? Yeah. And when it goes upside down and does all these crazy angles, while well, it looks fun, remember, you're not a piece of wood, bro. <laughs> like, right. your body gets wrapped. You get jostled around. Yeah, yeah sure. it's, and, it's painful. I'm getting yeah. nauseous just looking at it. <laughs> oh. You know, and, and those those harnesses aren't... 100% <laughs> tight, so you're falling, yeah. you're getting thrown around, it's crazy, mm. it's not good. Mm. What's this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they're in the same room. Wait, chill. <laughs> Long way from idea to prototype it's just a torture device. Years. <laughs> and then one, a fundamentally new product. So, so are people supposed to buy this for their house? Like, what is the idea here exactly? I think this is instead of like a death penalty, <laughs> this is gonna be the new the new punishment. Oh my god! 
<laughs> like Gamers genuinely curious. What is this website? We present you MM1 project. <laughs> It's the only way to experience everything on your own skin. The only way. <laughs> if you thought you stand firmly, it's time to try Who are they? <laughs> Who are they? They must be twins, right? <laughs> Why are they there? They're the dominatrix to uh, torture you while you're <laughs> in the you. chair. While you're in the chair. <laughs> what are they supposed to be, like the flight stewardess? Maybe. I don't know. The medics. They're the <laughs> twins in The Shining. <laughs> the fuck? M1 as virtual reality. Emotion as a gift. As a gift? <laughs> okay, let's see. Well, I, now I'm curious. Is this MM company a real thing? I, I don't think it's real. They have a website. I don't think any of those are real. Not secure, by the way. <laughs> www.88.mm. Bro, I, I think we... The, <laughs> wait, the domain doesn't even exist. Yeah, I know. Wait. I think we just got uh, all of our passwords leaked. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Oh, fuck. That's funny. Shame. Put Shame. the chair in resin. Is that a possibility, Sam? <laughs> just the entire thing? <laughs> I mean, we could get, like, professional... You don't think so? No, I'm sure you could do it, but it is, it's a horrible idea. Why? What are you going to do? Like, how are you going to get it out of this room? Well... We'll cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> it's just gonna be a giant like we tank. Can we can cut a Look hole. Look how big this is. It I'll would have you. to be like enormous. I'll tell you how. We'll cut a hole in the ceiling <laughs> and lift it out by crane. Obviously, Dan. <laughs> Duh. I do think it's like Mobility Mary's chair though. Like I would have done anything to salvage that. And what we're supposed to just throw this thing out, Dan? I'd Let's get Aiden Ross. Oh, we could. Of course, we can hang on to it. We could use it for gags or. Hey, maybe we could do a, a giveaway to fans. <laughs> you could get the Scorpion chair. Right, that's going to be it. That would be huge. <laughs> I'm sure they'll love to... Uh, oh, people would def Some people would be down. Yeah, and you'll have to, to pay to, uh, to ship it on your own. Right. Place, by the way. <laughs> well, before we do that, let's get Aiden Ross out here to at least sniff the chair before we say mm -hmm. goodbye to it. <laughs> um... A request for Olivia, you know, uh, ever since Olivia presented the Gomez conspiracy uh, document, she's become the the drama keeper. Now here they're requesting Leah Michelle. That is a good one. I don't know who that is. She was on Glee. Oh, is that the girl who's like supposed to be like a giant B word? Yeah, and after all of the rumors of her being a B word came out, then the internet like really doubled down on the fake conspiracy that she can't read. And <laughs> there's weirdly a lot of evidence showcasing that she can't read when it was just like, it was pulled from nowhere pretty much. How can you be an actor that can't read though? That doesn't make any sense. That's the thing is like, there's reasons and there are ways to get around that. For one, Leah Michelle is only in Ryan Mur like usually only in Ryan Murphy stuff. Apparently, he whispers the lines into her ear right before. <laughs> All right, I'm into this conspiracy. <laughs> I love it. You got me. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Okay, for sure. I think we're doing. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm trying to learn everything I can about Vanderpump. That's good. Yeah. We and need to be caught up on that. Yeah. Yeah. It's a new world for me, but. It's I'm a good world? How, how are you enjoying the world of Vanderpump? I love the drama. You okay. know me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We want our freedom for the world! Very good. Moving on, we've got, uh... This dude, this is crazy. Elon Musk is pushing Twitter blue hard. Everybody lost their verification. Did you know that? No. <laughs> Yesterday was, I guess, crystal knock of, uh... Oh God. <laughs> Twitter verifications. <laughs> <laughs> They uh, went door to door, ripping, ripping it from our hands, and uh, that's Auschwitz. The th thing that's funny to me is, what is the point of removing the verified from these celebrity accounts? Because there's not that many. It's just making it unusable now. Because I used to check my verified notifications. Well, that's been useless since the people could buy. Twitter yeah. Blue. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but here, here's something, here's an interesting update. Just before the purge yesterday, there was 19,489 
of the 407,000 legacy verified accounts I had identified in early April had Twitter blue. Today, that number for those accounts is 19,497 for a net increase of 28 accounts. <laughs> so Is that real? That's crazy. He says he's got the API. He, he confirmed it. Apparently. Who is this guy? Oh, just some random dude. So, I don't know, man. And then the new thing on Twitter is now, like, all these conserva, conserva restarts. <laughs> Can I say conserva? No. No. I'll type it, and you tell me no, if I can I, say it. No, we we can tell you. what you're going to okay, type. <laughs> okay. That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> but we say this word, the lib blank. People say that all the time. I mean, yeah, of course you can, yeah. But we- <laughs> he, he sends it. You, you know, know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. So, Anyways, what were you saying? <laughs> about I was just saying that I don't really understand the whole strategy here because- I don't either. Oh yeah, the conservatives are shaming people now who are like, I'm not paying $8 for that shit. They go, dude, you're fucking cheap, bro. Are you poor? It's become Why? like a uh, status symbol or the principle. Pull up, pull up the tweet of the guy who did like the whole freedom declaration because he's paying for Twitter Blue. There's celebrities like, buy. I'm not paying eight dollars for this, and like, dude, you cheap fucking millionaire celebrity, don't want to pay eight dollars. It's like, dude, I don't want to pay into Elon Musk Patreon. I'm sorry. Thank you, Dan, for that joke. <laughs> oh, so it's a whole thing now. I see it's trending. Pay the eight. Pay the eight. This, okay, now, I assure you, I've done some research, this is a real tweet. These are real people. This MF paid for Twitter? No, I didn't pay for Twitter. I paid for free speech. I paid for 1776 to commence again. Going to war with Britain. I paid for the Founding Fathers' vision. I paid to tell Silicon Valley go screw itself. Uh, are you talking about what? Elon Musk? You are paying Twitter. <laughs> idiot. What? Fucking idiot. <laughs> who? <laughs> I paid to show support for a man who put himself in the line of fire for the First Amendment. Who? Elon Musk. The person that started blocking us for making jokes? I yes. paid because we support our own. I paid because if George Washington was alive today, he'd be paying too. Yeah, right. So next time you say I paid for Twitter, just realize how ignorant the fuck you sound. No, I'm sorry. That's a grown ass man, dude. Fucking Americans, baby. Eight bucks, bro. Hell no. I thought people were going through hard times. Now we're just spending eight dollars on to give up billionaire money. <laughs> like all of a sudden these people can't afford the eight bucks. That's crazy. So, I guess pay the eight is the conservative rally. Well, do you know about the, the alternate rally? What? <laughs> the block the blue? <laughs> block the blue? <laughs> Somebody made a plugin that, <laughs> just, that you can install in your browser and auto block anybody. <laughs> oh that my has god. Blue. <laughs> I'm, that's not a bad idea, and I'm very sorry about that, uh, too. It's just that crazy that. <laughs> it's all of them. You guys are all. Verified? All these dorks have Twitter blue. All of them. Oh. Don't you guys feel what, a little silly? What are you hey, talking about? What are you talking about? Oh, you don't? No. Okay. What the hell? No. Never. Okay. okay. Oh, you did. That's okay. my boy, Sorry. love. The Sorry. problem is that Sorry. we, like, us verified people, the real ones, <laughs> we used to be able to make connections like that. We yeah. met so many people that way because you check your verified notifications and then you see, oh, this YouTuber that I watch followed me, and then mm -hmm. you start talking in the DMs. That's the only reason, really, that I actually like Twitter. Agree, but that's the actual useful part of it. You and, and now you don't have it. You and Ethan don't have check marks anymore. So what are so, the real? So, tell, answer me this, uh, Zach. What does a check mark mean? <sighs> if I don't have a check mark, what does it mean? Don't you understand? I if I don't have the check mark, it means nothing to you peasants. Look, dude. I got my blue checky. I don't care how I did it. It's still there. Okay. It doesn't have to go any deeper than that. I I'll say I'll say this. I fucking hate it. I really wish it wasn't around. I would cuz especially now cuz I feel like I could have just got it legit. But 
you know, if it gives me an advantage. We'll never know. <laughs> no, we yeah, won't. Never you know. think you got a legit Twitter check? <laughs> I think so. I'm yeah. being persecuted now. Did any, I'm did, being persecuted. Hold on. Did Ian, you got the legit blue check? He did on Instagram. Only yeah. on Instagram, and no one's talking about They ruined that one, too. Mm -hmm. That yeah, one is even oh, more yeah. useless. You can, you can oh pay God. for that. Although the blue check on Instagram wasn't didn't have as much... No, as much usability. Panache. panache. But the, the Instagram one... You can't even click on it and see who paid or who who didn't. It's mm. just it's across the board. It's just a check. Crazy. It's more expensive on Instagram too. Lame. Yeah, super. Although you get, I guess you get like customer support, which is at least like a decent service, I guess. I mean, I've never used it. What are you gonna ask Instagram Insta yeah. uh, customer support? Hey, uh, can y'all stop like serving me ads for cancer? <laughs> You'll need customer support because all these people are impersonating you with their paid check marks. So <laughs> yeah. it, it actually helps. Yeah. That's true. That's a good service. So why do you why do you hold on to the blue check, AB? The chat's asking about what advantage. It, my stuff has got a lot more engagement recently since they did that. And he straight up said, and Elon said that they would be pushing uh, verified users first. I but, don't know. At love, do you buy because you're not so, verified and you've been getting lots of engagement too. Yeah, I've been getting massive juicers. And also <laughs> last time we spoke about okay. this, uh AB said that and I looked on Twitter and it said uh engagement increase coming soon. So it wasn't on uh, last time you said that. On yet. Mm. I think now it's it is. just now because it is. we're talking about it it's on the show. Fight, probably, if you got I think you're too. just juicing. Yeah, you're, you're just juicing, like, bro. You're yeah. juicing. I could you don't need I, Elon to juice. I could take or leave the Twitter one. It, it's just the fucking platform's going downhill. I bottom line. Fucking hate it. I really do. I yeah. mean, especially like the verify tab. I can't see shit. I really cannot see shit. So now knowing that yeah. hasn't even been implemented yet, can I count on you to cancel your Twitter blue subscription? No, he said it's <laughs> implemented now. It's implemented since like a oh. month back, but last time we spoke about it, it wasn't implemented. So you were juicing before that was on. I'll cancel your original or organic care. baby. I don't care about it. Well, apparently you guys Zach. might get mass blocked by people now too, just for having it. So <laughs> yeah, it, it might actually hurt your engagement. <laughs> I'll you know, cancel it right now. I don't give. Thank a shit. you, Zach. Uh, thank you. Thank <laughs> That's a good man. You're a man of the. Lou, you know what? That's because Lou's here. Listen, in, in my opinion, we need to embarrass and shame people to not paying. I'm sorry. <laughs> we need to be the. Uh, we need to oppose this movement. Thank you. <laughs> On Instagram too, when you sort filter by verified, people that paid for the verification don't show up in the verification filter. So, oh, oh that's good. So yeah. it's worthless in that. Listen, <laughs> TikTok's the only real social media platform left. It's for the people, by the people. It's a good communist the people, organization. The People's Republic of China. Exactly, that's right. for the people, by the people. I, I, I just canceled it. It says it expires May 9th. So, um, oh, fight yeah. the power, baby. Oh. Take that, Elon. The number's going down, bitch. Wow. Just in time for your concert. You'll be checklist by the time of your show. Yes. Right. yes. That's a new version of Verified. No checking. Let's go. That's yep. it. It kind of is. That's real rock star. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. telling me President Biden, is he verified? You know what I mean? He's got the gray checky. Oh, he's got a gray one? Yeah. For like government yeah. officials. Oh, a gray one. Okay, so. The podcast still has a gold checky, too. That's kind of fire. What is that one for? Uh, businesses. businesses. I gotta, Business? I got to tell you. It, no, it's gone. Mm. Oh, it was, oh, the, it was, the podcast oh, check is gone now? It's gone. <laughs> they took the checky. Oh, no. Oh, right. I was thinking that it would probably disappear because I think they want to charge like a... <laughs> a business? A, yeah, like $5,000 a month yeah. or something for, yeah. for one of the yellow checkies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I wow. forget how much it is, but it's like an absurd amount like that. Oh, my God. Yeah, I heard that too. Business check mark Twitter cost. Yeah. A thousand a month. A thousand. What? Okay. And what do you get for that? A yellow check. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, dude, don't be cheap, bro. Pay the thousand a month. <laughs> Come on, Nike. You could afford a thousand dollars a month. I mean, I don't. I don't really see any benefits in it other than having the blue check. But but it's now gone. it means now. nothing. It means you understand nothing. it? It, yeah. it used to mean something. You're right. Because it verified people. That they removed it from the verified people, right? Removed any meaning it has, and then gave it to a bunch of randoms, right? Mm -hmm. You know what? I, what I'd like though is like a little like gold Lego brick. That'd be mm -hmm. cool. That's fire. I pay. For <laughs> yeah, I, I right. That, that makes big sense. money for yeah. that. Wait, listen to this. So 
not only do you pay $1,000 per month for the gold, yeah. verified, you have to pay an additional $50 per month for any affiliated person. Mm. That's I so see. expensive. Yeah. But what software do you pay that kind of money for? 50 Like super, super high-end yeah. analytics or some kind of super business plug-in yeah. with like high-level customer support. That's expensive. Uh, I don't believe that that comes with any service either. So... Uh, I've seen people with uh, official uh, companies, and if they're a part of that organization, they can get like a. We could get like a HU podcast check mark. Everyone employed. Here. Yeah, it costs fifty dollars per person. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Why? What the fuck? So there it is. Uh, yes. But uh, despite all that, there are still people who want to pay the eight dollars. God bless them. Has something changed? And, <laughs> you know, I and, see no uh, reason. Zach, I'm surprised you folded so quick. I'm kind of yeah. over it. I feel. I mean, if it was just for the blue check, then yeah. I, yeah, I, I don't. I don't, I don't know why a, you got it in the first place. I don't give a shit about the engagement. I just use it for you know promo and stuff. But Zach's like, playing Roxy the 14th. 13th. 13th. Thank you. Appreciate it. Don't go on the 14th. Don't go on the 14th. Day. Day. Zach, there you go. There's your promo. Thank you. Thank <laughs> Zach Roxy Appreciate 13th. It. Thank hey. you. You pay me the $8. Uh, gladly. <laughs> I'll promote you. <laughs> hey, B, pay me $8 a month. I'll promote whatever you want. <laughs> See, this is a good deal. I think it's a better yeah. deal, yeah, for sure. Do you know how much right. people pay for a sponsor? Right. I'm more than 8 bucks. <laughs> this is a great deal. All right, listen, guys. Enough uh, chit-chat. <laughs> it's time to get into it. I'm going to thank our sponsors real fast. All right. And then we are going to get into the... Exciting segments we have planned today. So, with that being said, thank you, thank you to our wonderful sponsor, Shopify. I love Shopify. And uh, I'm glad you're here for this, Ela, because you are a Shopify alumni. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not technically. Why? I don't know. I don't know. What they, they, I, they might have actual people. I don't know. You're an alumni? <laughs> I think it just means that you're a student. Veteran. Yeah, you're a veteran. A veteran. Okay, okay, okay. Why do you love Shopify so much? Why do I love it? Because it's the... And that's where the Teddy Fresh website is. And Shopify helped us make it. Always been. It's been the surf service that we... Um, Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That was our first service that we ended up choosing to use, and it just worked. So it's been there for us from the beginning and until today. It's frankly a revolutionary mm -hmm. platform that is helping millions of businesses worldwide to create e-commerce websites. The thing that's so incredible about it is that if you're day one, or in our case, year five or six, right, or even in the case of like, I don't know Giant, if Nike right. uses it, but I know mm -hmm. a lot of these super, super like billion dollar companies are also using Shopify. Yeah. The customization, the ease of use, the amount of plugins, it's incredible. They've got the processing there. It's like, it's all set up there for you. I simply cannot rave about it more. Um, yeah, whatever you're selling, you know, selling online or even in person because they've got the uh right they, have they the got the little swipeies um, now what, what do they call it yeah little swipey pos <laughs> yeah it covers every sales channel from from pos systems to all-in-one e-commerce and it even you lets that, you <laughs> like when we did a pop-up we were able to just rent the equipment yeah for that day or even just borrow it i'm, I'm not sure if it was even in would pay um and you get the equipment for the pop-up to charge people Go straight you to your online store. It. Like, how amazing is that? Yeah. You don't have to do any bookkeeping or reconciliation or anything. Uh, it even lets you sell across social media uh, marketplaces like TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, integrates everywhere. Packed with industry-leading tools ready to ignite your growth. Shopify gives you complete control over your business and your brand without having to learn any new skills, design, or code. And thanks to their 24-7 help, with an extensive business course library, Shopify is there to support your success every step of the way, people. Um, if you have ambitions to start your own business, if you want to just dabble in it, 
I highly recommend and endorse Shopify. Mm -hmm. uh, and now's the best time. I'll tell you why. Because if you sign up for a $1 per month trial period, you get $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash after dark. All lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash after dark to take your business to the next level for $1 per month trial period. How many dollars? One. Shopify.com slash after dark. Thank you. I love you, Shopify. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And, and uh, next up, thank you to kudos. Kudos to you, my friends. <laughs> Mother's Day is right around the corner, but before you buy your present online, you need to make sure that Kudos is uh, to get the to use Kudos to get the most cash back. Mm. Kudos is a free shopping extension that not only helps you pick the best credit card or card to use at checkout, but it also doubles your rewards on over 15,000 sites. That means if you usually earn 3% back when you send flowers through the, the books, that's what it says. That, that is what it says. The right? books. books. Like the boots. <laughs> the books. The books. Uh, you, now you'll get 6% off with Kudos. That's basically free money. Mm. With Kudos, you can buy your mom a present and put more cash back into your own wallet at the same time. That's a win-win. Mm -hmm. what, what are we buying, Mom? When is Mother's Day? Very oh, it's going up. Shit, when is that? It's uh, May, May 14th. May 14th. Oh, fuck. Okay, I have some time. <laughs> Got me freaked out over here. <laughs> Had a little panic attack. Thanks, Kudos. Um, the best thing about Kudos is it's so easy to use. You add Kudos to your desktop or your iPhone in a few clicks. Shop like normal, and Kudos will automatically appear at checkout to handle the rest. For example, I was at Booking.com the other day. I wasn't at Booking.com. I can't lie to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I wasn't. <laughs> okay. Let's but say if you were. I was shopping at booking.com the other day, and Kudos not only helped me get the most rewards, but also reminded me about other hidden card benefits, like baggage protection. Oh, so that is nice. Okay. It's nice, but like, <laughs> I, I, did, I didn't do it. People know, people know I'm not traveling anywhere. Where am I going right. on booking.com? Right. You might travel, and that's great. <laughs> So go to booking.com with kudos and then you'll get hidden benefits. He'll show you like per baggage protection. What is baggage protection? Like if it just falls, it just disappears, they got to pay you or something? It gets lost, I don't know. That could be a good benefit to you. Mm -hmm. Great bag. Great benefit. It's a no-brainer, guys. In fact, kudos has saved the average user over $750 per year. What the freech? That's like a round trip ticket to Europe. And for a limited time only, one person who signs up for Kudos, which once again is free, will win a $50 gift card to Teddy Fresh. Oh. How much is that? I didn't know about that. That's cool. So don't wait. Use the code after dark to double your rewards and get kudos for free by going to joinkudos.com slash after dark. That's joinkudos.com slash after dark. So they know uh, that we sent you. Yeah, try it out. I, it's it's a it's an amazing uh, service. I mean, let's get saving, y'all. It's free yeah. and it's easy, and they sponsor us. So kudos <laughs> to them. And kudos to you. Mm-hmm. I'm a man of the people. I just can't lie about. I he's never been to Booking.com. Yeah. You know. Not if I don't, ever. If I, I don't have my. If I don't have. My, I don't even say integrity, but if I'm not honest, then who, what am I? Well, it's also just kind of pointless to, I don't think it, I think it, you could just read it out of way and it's just <laughs> that's powerful. To me, it's just always funny when they like put words in my mouth and anyone who watches this show is like, that uh, motherfucker's yeah. reading. <laughs> because like, I don't, you know what I mean, I, you know me. But uh, anyway, next up, thank you to the gracious, the ever powerful, Honey. Honey. Now here's one that I love. Today's episode is sponsored by Honey. PayPal Honey, that is. The easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. Boom. I'm not even kidding. How much money has Honey saved us? This one, this one is from this week. From me. This one's new? Yeah. What'd yep. you get? 
I bought some shoes okay. and this website they were having a like a new discount that I didn't know about. So it was on the website, but I didn't know about it. Usually they don't. So I didn't pay attention. Dude, that's freaking And nuts. then Honey was like, yo. 135? Yeah. That's it. I'm, I can't I can't even front. Honey is insane. I have it on all my computers. All these guys do too, I think. Uh, what it does is it manually search for coupon codes so you don't have to stress about it. You know, Honey is free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one you find automatically to your cart. Mm -hmm. Imagine. Close your eyes. You're shopping at one of your favorite sites. <laughs> then you click checkout and the honey button appears. And all you have to do is click the magical button, apply coupon. <laughs> a wave of euphoria rushes through your body. Wait a few seconds as honey searches for the coupon that it finds for that site. And just like magic, an orgasm. <laughs> You'll watch the price drop magic. <laughs> It is beautiful. When that happens, it's like, wow, I was productive today. Mm -hmm. I I'm did talk something. I'm talking clothes, tech, gadgets, food, pizza. It's all working with Honey. Yeah. So Honey doesn't just work on the desktop now either. It works on your iPhone too. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you are going to be straight up missing out on uh, massive savings. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this show. Thank you. Get PayPal Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash after dark. That's joinhoney.com slash after dark. Thank you so much to our wonderful sponsors. Please consider uh, supporting them. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, two times twisted donated five bucks. He says, this dono is from money I just got from Honey. <laughs> There you go. You can send me the money you save on honey. <laughs> Love that. All right. So there it is. Now that uh, we've thanked our sponsors and uh, warmed up a little bit, I think mm -hmm. it's time. It's time. To play the annual, second annual. My Guess who is high, brother? We need more <laughs> heat. Yes. I roll this joint up in the morning. Then I smoke it up. I don't know if you can do that. I've gotten away with it so far. I've... <laughs> yeah. This might not age well. <laughs> oh, well, well listen, okay, listen. It's a Jamaican <laughs> accent. Weed is part of their culture and their religion. Uh -huh. I can't do a German accent. Oh, sorry. I'm just laughing at you. Listen, it might not age well. <laughs> well, you might be right. You might be right. You know? But what's the difference between a Jamaican accent and a German accent? Or an English accent? What's the difference? Uh, it's... Go ahead. I think there, I, I don't want to get, get into it, but I think like you, different. People can't do Chinese accent, right? You can't imitate somebody with Chinese accent. That's that like, usually doesn't come off that good. No, that doesn't come off. Good. <laughs> they've had they've had a lot of different histories, so I feel like people get more offended about. Is there a hit? Uh, okay. Yes. Is there a history of like founding fathers walking around doing Jamaican accent? <laughs> okay. All right. Fuck. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, you can't do the Chinese one. That's true. <laughs> I wouldn't even do it now, as a joke. Mm. I wouldn't even Good. do it. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's do a poll. Let's do a poll. Can Ethan do the Jamaican accent? Yeah, I, I, I would like to know. Yet. I would like to know. Yeah. I mean, Chet's been getting away with it. No. And that's no. Like, no, he hasn't. He and, has, and in fact, all of this started because you were criticizing him for doing <laughs> that and saying he was insane for. <laughs> I'm doing Launching. a bit. He's walking around doing. He was like... doing a bit too. No, stop. It's it. literally the same thing. Bit. No, it's not. The bit that he's doing is questionable, but I guess you could argue that it's a bit. I, I... But it's questionable. Let's because he it. like he's, he's kind of serious, but he also he's is serious, bro. <laughs> kind of doing. It's like dedicated. Dedicated. joking. I, I think I can do the Jamaican accent. We gotta ask the Jamaicans. I'm... The Jama <laughs> Is there any Jamaicans in the audience? That I'm would be. I'm voting no. I voted yes. <laughs> Me. Vote yes, brother. Let's fire up the joints. Ooh. Cause the morning sun goes up, and the joint goes up, and the afternoon sun goes up, and the joint goes up. That's fifty-one. That's yes. 
Although 49 is a pretty staggering amount of no's. <laughs> you know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like you gotta give me something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Regardless, let's move on. Yeah, let's move on. We and let's so get right into do. it. Yeah, so much to do, so little time. Guess who's high? So, uh, at this point, I believe you all are gonna step away. Okay. As a constant Jamaican viewer, don't push, Ethan. Oh, shit. Uh, I got the don't push from a yeah. Jamaican. Prove you're Jamaican. Send us your ID. <laughs> Hold it. <laughs> uh, all right, so y'all are gonna step away. Yes. Some will smoke, some will not. Mm -hmm. Maybe none will smoke. Maybe. Maybe all will smoke. Yeah, and then maybe too. How do we guess? Because so, last time they came and sat with you, right? Were you here last time? I was not. So they're gonna each take turns going up to okay. the podium. Okay. Well, we'll have an opportunity to interview them. Okay. And make a determination. Mm -hmm. All right. So guys, please go uh go okay. excuse yourselves and come back lady for Bert Twinny. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, the crew is uh getting up. Where are you guys going? In the alley or the front? Hot box the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> what? For real? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. They're gonna go hot box the bathroom. Uh don't use the one on the right. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Wow, it's, it's just, just us. It's just us. Mm. Huh. You know, I have this. I don't know why this is happening, but I keep clogging the toilets. Did you hear about this? Uh, yeah. I don't know what. Why is that happening? <laughs> is it still happening? Uh, well, I had a I had a close call yesterday. Really? It looked like a clogger, but it went down. Look, <laughs> thankfully. And. Because I thought that you said that you weren't pooping as much recently, so... Well, I think that's part of the issue, yeah. you know. Because I've been, I've been on a crazy diet, you guys. I've been on like a thousand calories a day or something. Yeah. For the past couple of weeks. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm actually the, the lightest I've been since starting this journey. From my max, I'm at like two... Two... 18. Okay. That's good. It's so hard though. It takes so long. Yeah. It's so hard to eat a thousand calories a day. Oh my God. Or maybe like uh, definitely People under People are going to say don't do a thousand. Yeah, a thousand sounds insane. It's under 1500, I'd say. But that's just what it is, man. You got to. You got to do it. I want to. Lose the fucking weight. I'm so tired of being fucking fat. Well, you're doing good. Thank you. I still see the difference. It, like, it's still happening. I haven't got much, like, um, looking skinny yet. Like, before, everyone's like, yo, you look... Mm -hmm. So, we'll see mm -hmm. once it starts becoming more visible. Love, are you potentially going to be smoking weed? No, of course not. That's super Jeez. illegal there, right? Yeah, very illegal. Uh, I would never smoke in Sweden. The Swedes uh, are so uptight about drugs. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh, I, I mean, I see more movement towards being pro drugs, but it's slow, very slow. So, what happens if you get caught with like a joint? Probably a fine. Just a fine. Oh. Uh. Yeah, but if you are carrying to distribute or something like that, you're fucked. Like how fucked? Jail. Well, <laughs> carrying to distribute usually means you've got like a certain amount with style. baggies or a scale or something. Yeah, I mean, a certain amount of blunts could probably be considered distri distribution. Hmm, that's scary. Yeah, brother, you can't just light up a joint, man. <laughs> what kind of country is this? <laughs> and last time it was alcohol, too. So this time they're not doing that. So we excluded the crossfaded category. Okay. I felt it was just a little too confusing. Okay. Like you, it's, you, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. The, it's a little too tall of an order. So we're keeping it strictly to weed. Yeah. That's right. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's been hard. 
It, this this diet's hard. I'm not gonna lie, but have you still been doing the treadmill? I do. The, I don't do it every day, but I do it like a couple or a few times a week. You know. Yeah. So that's what it is. Let's see what else we got here. This guy is so. Cr- I don't want to say creepy because I don't want to be mean about it, but. There's this 48-year-old tech billionaire, and he's doing, like, he's trying to stop aging. Uh. And his whole journey, like, his face looks uncanny. Huh. Like, he gets lasers, and he takes supplements, and he does all this crazy shit. Oh, you can't switch, right? You guys can't see what yeah. I'm showing. Oh. But his skin is almost like uncanny valley. AB's lit, I can tell. <laughs> all right, everyone's coming back in. <laughs> Olivia looks lit. <laughs> Dude, I think Shredder's lit. Oh, was Shredder in there with you guys? No, we, <laughs> he tried to charge the door. <laughs> we were like, no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm getting a, perhaps a smell, a waft of hmm. marijuana. Perhaps. Now, let me ask some questions up front. Hmm. What was the method of consumption? Did it vary per person, or was it all the same method? Everyone who partook hit a big fat blunt. There was a fat blunt that got passed around. Yes, indeed. Like a fucking cigar. <laughs> How big was it? Can you show me? <laughs> Pretty fat. You want me to go get it? Oh, yeah. I'd love to see it. All right. Maybe don't show it. We'll keep it. Yeah, just show me. So let me get a look at these guys. Everyone is, is Zach's or Lou's not back, is he? I think you just went to the bathroom. Oh, I smell it now. <laughs> now everybody went. Did Lena go? We wanted everyone to go. Just oh, you didn't even finish it. How long was it originally? Mm. Okay, so I'm assuming you you masterminded that, Dan. <laughs> uh, Dan showed me like a three inch long. Uh, line. no. Um, Sam was the one that went and uh, got all the stuff. Mm. You roll that, Sam. Or did you buy it? No, like it's that? not a pre-roll. No, I bought that. They sell like pre-roll blunts now. It's crazy. We're in the future. I I was just gonna say the times, man. Me and you, Dan. We're we've been around. Times are so different, it's boy. So different. Buying a pre-rolled blunt. Mm-hmm. I I got these other ones, but no one wanted to hit them for some reason. I'm I'll take one home. It's yeah. just Dan mm-hmm. said what was that it? it's possible it could get me so I'd, high if I chose uh, to partake. Can I show the package? If it's not that maybe. Is that, I just, I just won't. What is yeah. it? Um, they were infused, and I didn't know like what that meant. But apparently, they were like rolled and then dipped in oil, then oh, rolled. Yeah, and, like, yeah, they're it like, was like a whole. And thing. it has hash crumble in it too. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it says it says twelve hundred milligrams of THC. The whole buffet. Isn't like five what's in a normal gummy? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's ten, edible, yeah. so that's enough to time travel, I like. think. All right, well, let's just get started. So, is everyone back? I think everyone's back, yeah. Now, participants include Lena. Is that right? Was Lena in the bathroom with you Lena guys? Did, Lena did not participate. Okay, and Cam participated, so everybody but Lena. Yeah. All right, so who do you want to talk to first, Hila, to do our, this? Uh... Mm. Dude, would you feel it that fast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. weed, yeah, you, you feel it, right? I mean... We could wait five minutes, probably build up over ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, I just, I don't wanna... If I, if I, I hit I don't wanna a, miss the window. If I hit a joint, I'd be high already, right? I mean, that's fair to say. Right, Olivia? It's been a few minutes. I, I think it's fine. It depends on the person. You know what? Yeah, are, you, much, are you I, feeling high? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna spoil it, just mine. Are you? I did not participate either, just because it's Aid and I don't wanna get flagged for that. So oh. me and Lena did not participate. Okay, we're off. Uh, Which it was birth. last year too. Yeah, we unfortunately. Oh, really? So it 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 does move, but it doesn't move fat. Like it's on 420 mm-hmm. or around it, and will be for a while. Uh, you can't smoke uh, during Ramadan. You're not supposed to smoke at all. But like, oh, really? I don't know. A lot of Arabs, we or Muslims, extra, yeah, we're like we feel extra, extra guilty. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. He's watching extra. Yeah. God is watching extra close mm-hmm. on this day. All right. So let's get started here. Let me talk first to. Olivia. I'm getting high vibes from Called Olivia. Out. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Come on up. Uh, Olivia is coming up to the stand. Now, where's the faces here uh, where I'm going to hold They're on up? your desk right in front of you. Okay. And actually, here, I'll come position it between so you. So here I have the... 
Here I've got the faces. Hello, Olivia. Hello. And then, um, <laughs> Sam, can you send out the lie detector to hook up Olivia to? Okay. So here we go. Well, we know, unfortunately, that Lena and AB are sober as a gopher. There's more than three of you left, though, isn't there? Yeah, there's a whole line. All right, Olivia. Now, I noticed when you came out from the bathroom. Yeah. You had made a comment hmm. that Dan had offered you to hit this super blunt. Well, last night when Sam had sent in the chat what uh -huh. she was buying, she said, is a thousand milligrams a lot? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's like a lot of milligrams, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. And Dan responded in chat that even if he or I had hit that, it might get us both very, very high. Okay. Mm. Was it presented to you in the bathroom? It was shown to me. It was shown. <laughs> yeah. It was really pretty. I said that I was going to take one home. You didn't take one home? Yeah. So you do smoke regularly. I do. How frequently do you smoke? At least a few times a week. Okay. So you're a seasoned vet. <laughs> do you find that you're somebody who can handle being high well in public? Hey, Shredder. Um... The anxiety that happens sometimes when I'm high will What's be five plus loud. 11? It's, oh um, uh, five plus 11 is 26. Come on, she's high. <laughs> <laughs> it's 16. She's, I got oh it, right? God. It's 16. You are way off. <laughs> yeah, you are way off. <laughs> 16. I mean, do we, do we? Give me times tables. I'm better at times tables. All right. Below 12. <laughs> so what do we think, Ela? I mean, do we keep going or do we call it? I think it? it's a high. Yeah. What? I got I'm so, I mean, we could keep asking, but. Give me times tables. Let me I'm remind you that we will not I confirm it until the end. It was so. the shock. Oh, okay. It was the shock. The shock, shock of you. me getting it wrong. Yeah. I was shocked by What's my. What's three plus 11? Three plus 11 is 14. <laughs> Thank you. It's advanced arithmetic there. I keep saying multiplication is my game, but. but What's 20 times 5? But that's not fair. I said below 12. 20 plus, times 5? 20 times 5. I'm not going to play this game. It's like you can crunch those. <laughs> dude, you're so high. It's 120. 100. Ethan? It's 100, Ethan. It's not 120. Uh, it's 100, by the way. 20 times 5 is 100. Oh, shit. <laughs> so thinking. who's losing right now? You or me? Wait, what? 100! <laughs> mm. Hi, right. he's definitely high, people. He's high. We got him, ladies and gentlemen. We got him. <laughs> well, I think we can call it Olivia's high. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for your service. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> She's Liddy. Let's see. So yeah. we're saying Olivia oh, is. No. The tape. <laughs> Olivia is. Oh, Olivia. Oh, oh, Olivia. She is high. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hi. All right. Hello. I feel confident in that one. Yeah. Okay. Me too. I feel good. Okay. Who's next? Hmm. Dan. You want to do Dan already? No. Dan is like the final boss of this game. Oh, I, know. <laughs> I see. We can take it. Lou. Let's do Lou. All right, Lou, get up here. Lou? Louis! Louis, Louis! Whoa, baby! <laughs> Here comes Lou in the goat shirt. Hello, everyone. Walking briskly, uh, I notice. Do you usually walk briskly? Yeah! Wait, what's yeah. briskly? Fast, quickly. Okay. I got long legs. Right. Got long, hairy legs! <laughs> <laughs> What's up? <laughs> uh, speaking to the mic, Zach. Uh, I am Ian. Thank you very much. What makes funny. Zach laugh? <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll turn him up. What's up, dude? <laughs> what's what's up? <laughs> <laughs> He's high. Really? I'm testing him. I want I, to I make it awkward. Okay, so from that, I was getting he's not high. Really? Oh, yeah. Shit. I do laugh at A house every... divided cannot stand. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me ask you this. Yeah. If Lou is high, is Zach high? Yeah. yeah. They're both <laughs> high. Yeah. 
What's the difference between Lou and Zach? Like I said last year, I, I feel like that's a... Uh, I gave you this answer. I feel like that's a subjective question. Well, it's you. Say, it's subjective <laughs> to who? I mean, you're the guy. You're the Lou Zach What guy. is your answer? Yeah. Subjective. Okay. Subjective. <laughs> it's you I'm asking. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, Lou means something different to everyone. Yeah. That's oh, so thing. everybody uh, has a Lou? Yeah, I guess. It's like your alter ego. No, I think it's just more like their impression. Mm -hmm. Like everyone takes something a little bit different away when they speak to Lou. Sometimes they're inspired. Sometimes. Is Lou a good guy? Fuck yeah, he's oh, the best. He's is the, the best. Boy? He's the goat. He's the goat, dude. I thought that he like, he fucks. He fucks, yeah. He okay. fucks, yeah. dude. Lou fucks, yeah. <laughs> is Lou, does Lou like Legos? Of course, who doesn't like Legos? What the fuck's yeah. wrong with you if you don't? I'm, I'm yeah. getting the vibe that uh, Zach and Lou are not that different. <laughs> <laughs> you got it all figured out, don't you? You just have a lot in common. You got it all figured out, don't you? Um, hmm. Last time what really got it, Zach is the alcohol, right? He was like super oh, yeah. drunk. Yes. Yeah. Um, the old drinky poo, yes. Yeah, that's a different vibe. Dan, ask him something about his, like, keyboard. I don't know. Ask him something about his keyboard? About switching oh, like tech, sound effects. Like tech gear? Oh, tell, uh, uh, what's your favorite key? B. Okay. And why is that? What yeah. tape times four? I'm not going to go down that road. <laughs> I, I'll sober or whatever. Eight High sober. Four? I'm not I'm not doing math. Eight times four? Eight times Six, four. Uh, 48. 32. <laughs> Almost. 10. <laughs> <laughs> He's in my opinion high. I, so I'm changing know. my mind. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll say last year I actually. Last year there was no question. I yeah, but last year my guesses were not a hundred percent accurate. Mm. Actually, far from it. All right. Anything else? <laughs> I'm not done with you. <laughs> hmm. Um. People are saying, not people, one person is saying he's drunk for sure. No, there was no there's alcohol. No I wish there, were, I wish there was that curveball, but no, there's not that curveball. <laughs> um, let's do a poll. Um, is yeah, that let's okay do with a you? poll. Can yeah. we Ian let's was just coming to ask. Can we use one of our <laughs> lifeline? <laughs> lifelines? <laughs> this is not going to sway my opinion. I'm pretty sure I know the answer, but I'm just curious what the people I'm on think. defense. I feel like he could be sober. Nah. I'm on loop. <laughs> this guy doesn't know 30. Uh, this guy doesn't know. Well, dude, I, six it, Lou, four. I don't that's math. Lou. I don't that's math. That's not Zach. Uh, 86% or 80, 66% now. 62%. Okay, there's some movement. 60%. Okay. <laughs> it's changing rapidly. 60% say you are high, Zach. Mm. Do you feel like everyone's watching you? Everyone's always watching me. 1984 exists. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like this conversation has been short? I feel like that's a subjective question. <laughs> All right, get out of here. You're high. Right. <laughs> Zach, high. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> you agree? I mean, I'm, I'm on the high. fence, but I'll I'll follow you because I'm on the fence. So. <sighs> There's something about when I was staring him down yeah. for mm -hmm. a long time. Yeah. I sensed. Oh. Something off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we got? Okay. So, uh, let's see. We did. Uh, oh no, we did Olivia and Zach. Cameron. I mean, what, what am I supposed to take away from this? Dude's <laughs> <I'm shrooms. laughs> yeah, do let's do. Wanna... Cam All right, Cam, come on down. All right, coming down. Give it up for Cameron, Woo! folks. Look at that suit. Wow. Here comes Cam. Wow. Wait, are those like? Are those like business Crocs? Fill those up, put those up. Business? That's a great outfit. Uh, I don't know what they business like, they would be, but hold on. They don't look as bulky as normal Crocs. No. They look, they're like slim fitted. I'm wearing oh. my uh, suit with my tie dye Crocs today. I okay, love it. Nice. What's the occasion? Guess who's high? <laughs> okay. And why did you think that it was necessary to put on a suit today? I just thought it might throw you off a little bit. Uh, throw me whether off. Whether or not I'm high. Throw me off. And what about the suit would throw me off? Professional, it's straight lace. Mm. You know, I feel like businessy. Mm -hmm. Right. He's doing business. Mm -hmm. Doing business. Stare at me. <laughs> See. See. I, I don't have a business smile, but 
I will yeah. say, I smile all the time. You smile all the time, is that right? I think so. Would you <laughs> smile a guy? You're very, More often um, than not. You're very good at making eye contact. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. When's the first time you heard you had a beautiful voice? <laughs> I can't recall, actually. I don't know. You think I have a beautiful voice? That means a lot. Thank you very much. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> You know you have a you you know you have a beautiful. It's voice. all right. I feel like it's overrated to be honest with you. <laughs> um, tell me, uh, Cameron. I think he's sober as a gopher. You think so? I don't know. There's a heaviness in his eyelids. Anything you say would be so funny if they are sober, because you're like, there's a heaviness in his eyelids. <laughs> but I feel like I can see it. I can see it. It's right there. Are you hungry, Cam? I mean, come on. When am Cam I not is hungry? Always hungry. <laughs> What do you like more? Like, are you hungry or do you just like free food? <laughs> I think it's a Pavlov's Bell type situation where I hear this free food, I become hungry. You become mm. hungry. Yeah. Mm. With, right. Yeah. Smart. I don't think I'm hungry until the prospect of free food comes into the picture. Because, you know, a, do you see what AB brought? Uh, I did not yet see it. Dude, it's crazy back yeah. there. I cannot I, wait mm -hmm. for that, bro. I got a sure. vegetarian meal just for you, Kim. Let's Thank you very much. Oh. I appreciate that. You and Oh, AB, <laughs> treating us too kindly. Hmm. What do you? What is? What's the read on this one, uh, Hila? So hard. If he was an embryo, what would he be rated? I feel like he would be <laughs> more like not making eye contact with me if he was high. No. No. But that's part of it. When you get high, sometimes you just like stare. When you get lost in space. I mean, w but I feel like if you're high, you get a little nervous. You don't want to yeah. make eye contact with people. Right. You, know? you guys are my mom I don't and dad get of the podcast. Cam right now from the yeah, but Cam, you're an experienced smoker. You smoke regularly, right? I'd say so, yeah. Mm. A few times a week, once or twice a week. Mm. Once or twice a week. Yeah. More. And, how, more, some, some and more. so how much did you smoke today? I can't reveal that information. I mean, you tried these tricks the last time. They didn't work. Mm -hmm. and, and when's the last time you smoked? Pleading the fifth for the what, sake of the game. What reason would you have not to smoke if you're a smoker? Not to smoke? Yeah. You got to go to work. You got to drive. You got to do all sorts of things that you got to stay straight laced for, I guess. Mm. You wouldn't. You can't do it high, like as a steady smoker. I didn't say that, but. Uh, do you come to work high ever? You could be honest. Okay, I can be honest. Sometimes. sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Do you feel it impairs your job? Um, it's more on the off days when there's less going on, like on a Tuesday when we're just doing prep stuff. I don't think. Yeah, no, I've never been high as far as I can remember during the show outside of... You ever guesses. smoke at work? Uh, in the parking lot before... In the morning. <laughs> <laughs> ever smoke in the bathroom? Um, Yo, plead the fifth again, bro. I'll plead the fifth again, bro. Excuse me. <laughs> my, my attorney... My attorney... Uh, <laughs> I don't recall him asking for an attorney. <laughs> Again, so I'm having a problem here. Mm -hmm. What do you I, think? I don't know if this is what happened last time. I think everybody's high. Right. I think Cam's high. What, mm -hmm. what makes you say that? I think that? he's not. A house divided cannot stand. Mm -hmm. In the words of, of Lou, <laughs> it's subjective. The um, I, I threw up a poll right as we started this time. Okay. And it's very divided. Uh, uh, though the, it is leaning no at the moment. Really? It's 52 By 2%, no. percent, yes or no. <laughs> it must be the suit that sways it into the nose. Yeah, the suit helps. Uh, Cam, what's... <laughs> tell me, tell me kind of like what's your favorite tool to use in Photoshop? What's like the coolest tool? I can't pick one over the other. Well, just describe one to me that you like. Uh, I like the lasso tool. You know, you can helps me uh, select things with more refinement. Mm -hmm, go on. Okay. Um, Has there been any cool update to Photoshop lately? I'm sorry? Has there been any cool update to Photoshop lately? What's five times 700 minus 50? Dude, if you're asking me, I'm going to plead the fifth on math as well. I you went can't to plead the fifth, bro. I went to school Th this to is not pictures. Not to you have no constitutional rights in this building. When is math going to grow up and solve its own problem? That's what I got to say. That's my response. Well, that's why we have chat GPT. Exactly. What does chat GPT think? Okay. <sighs> this is hard. Like with Cam and Dan, it's the same way. Because mm. like, you just never know. So I didn't get an answer. Has there been any cool update to Photoshop? Not that I can really remember. The last one I really liked was the content aware fill, which helped blend stuff, er remove stuff from the background and okay. make it better. I don't know. But recently, I can't really speak to that. 
Oh, brother. You change your mind. Even? I feel like a politician up at the podium. I'm right on the fence, but I'm going to say he's high. I just I want to really? say Really? I still think he's sober. The the majority has no, 53%. I'm sober I as a goat. I think you've got to follow first. my lid. Walk a line. Yeah, do like okay. a line walk. Like a perp walk. Or <laughs> not a perp walk, but walk a straight line. I'm not drunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, listen, I'm do I have my methods and uh, he's fidgeting with the mic. The mic That's is, kind of a high. No, thing. it's it's falling. Turn around. <laughs> oh my God. Stand on one foot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's Very Switch impressive. Foot. That's pretty good. Jumping jacks. Crisscross. <laughs> there we go. Wow. Now put one. Now put a leg in the middle. Yo. Wow. Can you do it where you jump over your own leg? Bro's getting started, dude. <laughs> the people are saying no, but I think yes. So this is my. This is a problem. We gotta make having. a call. We got a lot more people I to get through. I can follow my lead this okay, time. Okay, so Ela, I'm gonna take her lead, Cameron. Okay. <laughs> Ethan, we gotta keep it moving, man. Abby said the yeah, food's getting got cold. Food's getting cold. Yeah, food's getting cold. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think he's high, dude. All right, you guys got me. This man, this this dude's high as shit right now, dude. We'll see. We'll find out at the end. We'll find out soon. All right. AB, we could have done it first. Could he? Could just it just be that, that he? I'm, get you to move I'm along. just trying to get us to move along now. Could it be getting less awkward if he's high? Less awkward if he's high. I think someone who smokes regularly, uh, yeah, I, I don't wouldn't say less awkward, but mm. just really hard to tell the difference. I haven't smoked in years, but when I did, I was a lot smoother when I was high, I feel like. Really? I feel like I was a lot a more anxious. Uh, yeah. All right, Sam, get up here. And then it just completely flipped. Who is Sam? Float on over Sam. here. Look at that. <laughs> she is so freaking high right now. <laughs> she doesn't even know where she's walking. She's going crisscrossing. Come on now. Oh. Yeah, that's why Cam was having problems. Keying out pretty hard. <laughs> Blue and green. <laughs> hey, that's kind of sick though. Yeah. Like a snake skin. <laughs> you keep, keep it on her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say. Yeah, yeah. I know. Hey. <laughs> Sam. Who no, is? Sam had a lot of work this morning, Sheesh. so maybe it would have been nice to kind of like say, "Okay, I'm done. Let's mm -hmm. have a Let little." Let her hair step. down. Let's have a little sip of this joint. Hey, Sam. Who is who is Sam? If you, can you answer that? Sam, I am. You Hi. are Sam. Ours. But on on a more metaphysical level, tell me, like, who are you as a person? Everyone else got way easier questions. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I don't know. I'm just I'm just me. Okay. And what does that mean exactly? Um, Bro, she's I, so high. What's Come five on. times six? Thirty. Okay. Gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's seven Take times four? Uh, mm -hmm. Twenty-one. Twenty-eight. No, that's twenty. Yeah. <laughs> that was seven times three. Yeah. Oh, but Sorry, like, I misheard. If you chose one <laughs> yes, word to describe Sam, what word would you choose? One word to describe myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. What about? Maybe creative. Okay, okay, creative. <laughs> Thank you. Do you smoke regularly, Sam? <laughs> Do I smoke regularly? Yeah. Uh, no. No. Absolutely not. And what's the last time you smoked? Um. You don't have to answer that question. J uh, not, it, Plead the fifth. J if, listen, Why? What's the problem? You don't have to the say today. It's not a trick <laughs> question. When's the last time you smoked? How long ago was it? Guess who's high last year. Really? Oh wow, really? Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. And why is it you don't smoke more often? Makes me very paranoid. You know the incident. <laughs> the Sonic, yes. If that was uh, traumatic for you, the Sonic. Yeah, this is very traumatic. I vote yes. I think she's high too. Okay. 
But you don't, but, uh... The poll uh, from the chat is 88% yes. <laughs> okay, if you think that, that's fine. Why do you think that 87% of the participants in this poll think you're high? I don't know, because they're in a silly, goofy mood. They're in a silly, goofy <laughs> mood. They're just, they're, I don't know. I think they just, they want me to be high. All right, goofballs. Yeah. What do you like to do when you're high? You like to snack? You like to watch stuff? I don't know. I never am high. So what are you going to do then? If I were to be high, I would eat. You would eat something. Yeah. You excited for AB's food? I am. I've been nibbling on it for oh, the you last it 20 minutes. Oh. Yo! Oh, wait, what were you eating? I've been sneaking chicken. Bro! <laughs> and it's so good. Yeah, I want some chicken. It's so good. Well, let's, get the, let's get a move on. It's going to well, be great. I think she's high. Me too. Okay. Thank you, Sam. All right, it's going up. Thank you, You're welcome. <laughs> Let's um, see, we got A.B., Ian, uh, oh no, A.B. and Lena are not, right, so let's it's... let's bring out uh, Ian. Ian. Sober as a gopher? We need nope. to put them above in sainthood. Nope. <laughs> we had a, a fasting for Ramadan section last year. <laughs> oh yeah, right. <laughs> Ever told on a brother? Nope. Let's not nope. go there. Ever been to a down when you're down on the luck? Yup. Yup. <laughs> Was the pussy tight? No. Nope. <laughs> was it? Uh, was it right? No. Nope. Yep. Was the pussy tight? No. Nope. Yep. Are you asking Ian? Star Wars? No. Nope. Nope. Yep. Ian thoughts? Yoda? Yup. Yep. Yep. Ian. Dinner? How did, how did you guys decide who would smoke and who wouldn't? Uh, it was sort of just in the moment. People were feeling yes or no. There was kind of went around. We didn't predetermine it. Mm. So there was volunteers. Yeah. And there was there certain people who were like, I don't want to smoke today? Yeah. Yeah, there I think were. I could say that, yeah. Hmm. And I'll ask you, do you smoke regularly? No. 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 Nope. I'm, I'm with Sam on nope. that one. We we do not smoke in our in our house. That's good. What do you yeah. guys do? Do you guys do any drugs recreationally, the two of you guys? No, I mean we eat a lot of like brisket. Brisket? <laughs> that's, that's pretty a, good. That's fire. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Who does Sam make brisket? No. We, Bloodsos. Mm. Oh, Bloodsos. You, know. <laughs> yeah. you know, we were we ordered there for so many times, we had to like chill. We had to take know. a break. Yeah, we, we have that problem. Their mm. meat gets, some of the meat gets like so it's like dirty. greasy, bro. Yeah. Like it's too much It's grease. all fat. It's just a big piece of fat. He's sober as a gopher, by the way. I think he's sober too, yeah. But you, but I'm just enjoying <laughs> talking meat with him. Yeah. You ever get like the high fat uh, brisket? <laughs> There's like the high fat and like the lean brisket. I think we always get high fat. Dude, it's crazy oh though. It's no. like and then you dunk you it think? in the barbecue. Oh. Just a big fat piece of barbecue. Good. What's it in your good. shirt today? The uh, Casey Musgraves. Mm. He's a uh, country pop singer. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you I mean he's got to be sober, right? Yeah. Sober as Has a gopher. To be. Yeah. Are we locking in? Yeah, let's lock it in. Locking in. Thank you. Ian. Okay. And finally, the final boss, Dan. Final boss. Are people just eating back there? Is that what's going on? <laughs> this is not fair. Oh, thank you. Oh my God, really? <laughs> this is not fair. I want food now. Nope. Come here, Daniel. Are you hungry? Yup. Dinner? Oh, that's what he goes. He goes, hungry? Nope. Dinner? Yup. Yep. <laughs> is this you? Great line. That is me. Last year, you were high. Indeed. Both times that we did it. Remember, we did... Oh. This is our third time? Well, so we did the one where we introduced the drinking as an element. Right. But then we had done it on 420, and that was just smoking. That was the original. So, yeah, we've done it twice. Both times, I was high. And, in fact, both times, you thought I was sober. Because <laughs> it's just not right. It's not fair. <laughs> but it would make sense that Dan would try to double-cross me this year and go so sober. So would we actual sober... Now, you have continued to <laughs> regularly smoke weed since the last time, right? Yeah, you know. How many times a, m a week? Two to three. Does Allie participate? No, she can't. She's, she doesn't. Yeah. Interesting. She's on a med that won't mm -hmm. would interact with it. I feel that. Yeah. And what's your favorite snack when you're high? Ooh. I mean, the obvious answer is the chips. And I do like chips, but... 
I don't know, probably ice cream actually. Oh shit, yeah. that's dangerous. Yeah, yeah. People are saying he's high, but Let's... chocolate mocha, you know, colored cream. What's your favorite know, flavor? Of flavors, like... uh, chocolate chip cookie dough. Okay. Yeah. That gives me high right now. <laughs> yep. People know. People know. <laughs> um. Dan, do you ever come to work high? Uh, Tuesdays when we don't have shows, sometimes. Oh, so Tuesday is the 420 of Tuesday this office. Tuesday is the 420. Well, because, we... you know, I don't like to be high when we do the show, but mm -hmm. if it's a dark day, then, you know. And I'm always, that's my day to do emails and office work and stuff. And yeah. What kind of emails do you do? Well, with like the sponsor stuff or, I don't know, everybody. Everybody knows my email address, so I get a lot mm -hmm. of uh, email from the fans. <laughs> Thank you so much for all of that. I'm just kidding. Um, I think you're. I, I don't know. I think he's. High. Yeah, I think he's. Yeah. High too. Mm. Might get it this it year. I think you're pretty confident. Let's lock it in. But uh, I want to say, a fan, um, <laughs> do you smoke before you come to work or at work? Like before. Before. Like the don't incriminate yeah, yourself, here. Dan. So you go out into the parking lot, then you talk up. We're just in my car before I come in, you know. In your car? We gotta start scheduling this, Dan. Yeah, yeah. You blaze in your car by yourself? That's so degenerate. <laughs> well, I don't, uh, not flower, like a uh, little, oh, I have like pen. a vape pen. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's all I really do anymore, is the vape pen. Mm. You prefer to vape? Yeah, I mean, what, it's theoretically not seven? as bad on your, what'd you say? 40 plus, times seven. 40 times seven. <laughs> that's a that's a tricky one, isn't 40 it? Forty times seven. <laughs> Not particularly. Uh two hundred and eighty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, well I, in the interest of, of eating, I'm gonna say well, I, I feel confident that Dan is high. Okay. And we agree. The only one we've been split on is is Cam. 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 But the first one I followed your lead, you said Olivia. Olivia. So I wait, I thought we agreed on that though. Actually. We did. Yeah. And that's everybody. That's it. Yeah. Thank you, guys. I got, last time we were drinking. How do we find out? They're going to reveal now to okay. us. Oh, Alfredo, sweet <laughs> boy. Cute. Last time we did a, a segment we were drinking, I got an email from HR. They're so like, uh, please don't encourage people <laughs> to drink on. She was kidding. <laughs> but I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's just start. Let's go in order. Uh, when it comes to the case of Olivia, mm -hmm. if you can't say this in a Jamaican accent in the tone <laughs> of reggaeton, no. <laughs> Olivia, are you high? Yes. Yeah. Got <laughs> it, it. You did an incredible <laughs> job. You asked the right questions. <laughs> All right, I'm feeling good so far, though. All right. Woo! Next up was, was it Zach. Zachary? Lou. Lou, if you can't say in a Jamaican accent. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Zach Bernstein, are you high? I am not high. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Psych. Damn. Oops. Was that the one we disagreed on? No, it was just, it was only camp. I'm high. I'm high on Lou, but I'm not high on weed. <laughs> so you are sober. Yeah, I'm okay. sober as a gopher. Damn. You really fuck. <laughs> yeah, I fucked with you. Huh? So hard. I'm a good actor. The show, uh. this game is so hard. <laughs> okay. In the case of Sam. I'll just go down the line. Okay. Sam. Mayo for Sam! Mayo for <laughs> Sam of Georgia. Are you high? No. Oh my uh, god. Oh my god. 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 Big time. What the hell? Were you guys like trying to act high? Or were you just being normal? <laughs> I don't think she seemed high at all. What? I, I was a. Sam seemed stone cold sober to me. Well, she would because <laughs> you're high as shit. Right. <laughs> Sam, were you trying to act high or were you just being totally normal? No, I was being normal. Huh? But I wasn't the only, everyone thought Sam was high. It was like 80%. Yeah. 
Mayo for Sam. God damn. That's a bar. Mayo for Sam. God damn. <laughs> He's always high. <laughs> but sober as a gopher. All right. So uh, once again, I'm failing. Uh, Dan, Bro, are you fucking high right now? Dan the Sword. Dan the Sword. Love, love. I'm going to get the Sword Bird. I'm going to get you this. Um, I am high. You got me. Oh, yeah. Right. You got me, got me. Now, here's the thing. I was trying to mind game you, but you didn't you didn't take the bait. Okay. Because well, because I wasn't operating years, on the high level that you are. No, listen, because the last <laughs> two years I was trying to uh seem sober and it oh. worked. I tricked you. <laughs> this year I was high, but I decided to just lean into it, uh -huh. thinking that you would think I was fucking with you. Uh -huh. But think, you didn't even go there. You were just like, nah, you're high. And yeah. you're right. I, th I think you're potentially overthinking this. <laughs> I did because put a lot you're of thought into what the right strategy is. <laughs> you know, but I, I'm glad right. we got you this time. Yeah, we got one. All right, well, actually, we got two. Two, two. two, two. Now, these are risky ones because here we have yeah. Cam and Ian who are sober, and I feel like we've, we've already got two sobers here, so I'm not feeling super confident about these two. But with that being said, Cameron in the suit, he mm -hmm. came out looking preppy <laughs> to mislead us did it work cameron are you high or sober i'm very stoned right now <laughs> <laughs> got him. Oh. oh my god you almost got me at the end there i was giggling when we were making eye contact <laughs> i i knew it i knew your ass was high yeah trust your gut wow. buddy i was staring at him i knew <laughs> this is my killer move you stare at them but i was doing good you gotta the first half i was doing good there it's so awkward to just stare at them but you that's see. why I was like, it wasn't awkward. Oh, it was. I could tell. <laughs> Not for you. You weren't in the stair. I didn't feel awkward. <laughs> no, there was something there. All right. Better, no, better luck next year. <laughs> Thanks, Cam. How much did you guys smoke? Who's the highest one right now? Olivia, we all like smoked eight. about the same amount. Right? Some more than others, I think. I guess maybe a little yeah. more than others. All right, well. Ian? The, yeah, and the final count here... Ian. Ian Slater. Uh, I am high, yeah. What? Um, Got him! Yeah. Real You're high. I'm proud of you, Ian. You, you were like together. the soberest yeah. oh motherfucker out here. He was cold. Cold. And especially considering you don't ever smoke. Yeah. Are you like really high? How high are we? I, I don't know. I, try, I, I tried to do a, a double, but I will be honest. I was very nervous when you were questioning me. <laughs> I could not tell. You were the most sober person up there, man. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe I didn't smoke enough, but I think I did. <laughs> Fuck. No, you, you hit it. What? You hit it like three times. Yeah, two times. Yeah. That'll, well, you that'll you're feeling it. it, right? A little. I'm feeling a little on edge. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> maybe you didn't smoke enough. Is that possible? I don't know. Normally, uh, the last two times I've come over there, I've I've been fine. But this time, I was like, oh, I, he's gonna ask me some <laughs> stuff. Fuck. <laughs> it was getting to me a little bit. Which question made you most nervous? The 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 anticipation of how you're gonna look into my soul, you know. <laughs> yeah. You were so sober, dude. <laughs> oh well, uh, once again this year I am an utter failure. I swear, <laughs> next year we got to do like who's on ketamine or something more, <laughs> okay. more obvious, you know. Well, before we move on, <laughs> have you thought about me? Are you? When did you smoke? <laughs> what? No, you're not high. You're not no? high. No? No. <laughs> you want to ask me questions? <laughs> Wait, what is happening right now? You were sitting here with me the whole time. When they went to smoke, uh -huh. we were sitting here together the whole time. Yeah. Hmm. So I gotta the be whole sober. Time. So no, I don't want to ask you questions. Is that your final answer? <laughs> I'd be fucking mind gapped if you're high right now. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> wait, what's happening? Here? I got a question. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You want to ask her a question? You want to ask me a question? No, I have a. She didn't just say yes or no, did she? No. Well, I think she. Are you high? What's your final answer? I was gonna say. Well, <laughs> I think I was gonna say no, but like, what the fuck is happening right now? I'm saying. I'm. You're speechless. I'm speechless. <laughs> 
<laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm running through the events in my mind like a mm. when you finally get the answer at the end of a Who Done It, mm -hmm. and you look back on all the clues. Where were all the clues? They went to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. You stayed here. Yeah. Did you? <laughs> did you? <laughs> did you go before they went? Also, you are participating in the segment. You seem fine. Right. <laughs> I mean, I feel like rationally, I have to say no. Follow your gut. That's what Cam said. No, you're not high. <laughs> you're not high. I'm high. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is happening? What? And maybe I'm high and I don't even know it. Maybe. What is happening right now? <laughs> when did this happen, Hila? I went to the bathroom before the sponsors, and then when the before sponsors... Before you've been high that long? <laughs> yeah. And when you started doing the sponsors and you talked about Shopify, that's when I started feeling it, and I was like... <laughs> oh my god. Shopify oh. is the best! <laughs> but oh, I thought maybe you were just, you know, on the spot. I didn't think into it, but sometimes, you know, I put you on the spot and... <laughs> What the fuck is happening? Did you that smoke so a joint? Funny. What did you do? No, um, they, um, they have a pen. Mm -hmm. okay. Who's been scheming on this? Who got my wife high? Nobody. Did it? So I didn't want to say anything, but <laughs> when we went in the bathroom, there's like a little, uh, the pen that was in there. <laughs> and, uh, I did happen to notice there was red lipstick on it. Mm -hmm. Wait, did you, did, they didn't know that you were high? I got blamed. I. We were, uh, we didn't know. I, I just saw that and I had my suspicions. I so can't that's why... tell you my secrets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mind blown. <laughs> Bro. Oh, really? I'm mind blown. blown. I'm mind blown. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't know until I went to the bathroom. Do <laughs> <laughs> awesome. you want to go to the bathroom, uh, Ethan? This is an even crazier twist than the fifth, the sixth cent. <laughs> <laughs> Are you alive? <laughs> She is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What are dude. you? <laughs> How are you feeling? I feel fine. <laughs> Just a little. Are you hungry? You ready for I that? am ready to Start eat. Food? I'm ready. To oh eat. my God. What Go! the fuck? Holy shit. And are you like really high? I oh, think. I, hit that I took like two, two poofs. <laughs> two poofs? Yeah. Two poofs? <laughs> Two poofs. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. <laughs> I am mind blown. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got me. That was a twist. I think every time I had to stare at them, I felt so awkward. <laughs> and I was like, why do they seem so normal right now? <laughs> they, I don't think anyone saw that coming, man. Next year, I gotta be high or something. <laughs> And everybody's sober. <laughs> That'd be a mind fuck. <laughs> I gotta know who, how did this, what's the logistics here? Who did this? Was it Sam? Who did what? I wanna know who, she went there, did you did just go and see the pen and then Who smoke? corrupted his wife? No, there was a plan. There was a plan. But mm. Dan, you didn't know about it? But I was I not in on the plan. Who gave her the poops? I was not in on this plan. And you I, don't I, need to see I the like making of the sausage. Okay. <laughs> I know you like it, but. I love sausage. All right. Well, wow. What an eventful, <laughs> uh, fantastic segment we've had yeah. here. Yeah. It was twists, turns, <laughs> surprises, shocking revelations. <laughs> Guess who's high? And now, let's That's move on to, to uh, the other big segment. Listen. Mm -hmm. The big show. The biggest segment. Some would say the biggest. Brendan Schaub, the biggest. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, okay, now that that's out of the way and everybody's nice and toasty, mm. <laughs> as you guys know, BBTV sent yours truly a motherfucking fat wire for $620,000. Now, don't get me wrong. Excuse me. That's money they owed us. <laughs> but, in a sense, I'm treating it like... Uh, free money because I never thought I'd get it. You found it on the sidewalk. I found 620k in a crack. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't money. dream that I would money. ever get that money back. And so yeah. when it did come back, we're like, damn, we got 620. What are we going to do? So many good ideas. I said, budget, budget optional. There's no budget. 
And these guys all had some big ideas. We talked about going to Disney World. There was some pushback there. We talked about uh, mm -hmm. going to Vegas. That seemed too pedestrian. <laughs> so the guys, the crew, have each uh, prepared a PowerPoint presentation mm -hmm. to persuade us on which vacation we'll choose. Now, the audience will vote. Although, the ultimate decision is in our sole discretion. Yes. But I will take in the audience's opinion. Shredder's going crazy Shredder for that. Shredder wants the food. <laughs> Shredder, you can't have it. Shredder's like, ever since we had to cut him off, and he's just on the really strict kidney diet, he's like, yeah. he wants normal food so bad. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, lots of people want to go to Japan. I had my reservations about that. Yeah. But, um, people think I'm upset. Stupid, um, <laughs> idiots. Dumbasses. Dumbasses. You really need to not read the chat. Right. Uh, so everybody has put a lot of work into these PowerPoints. They're gonna do it one by one. We're gonna start with AB, because he's got food. Thank you, dude. God bless you for that. Uh-huh. My pleasure. And uh, at the end, we will vote, and me and Ida will come to a decision to decide what are we doing mm -hmm. with the 620. So, AB, go ahead. Let's get you up here first. Okay. You know, Shreddy, you can't have it. The more I just was thinking about it right now, I don't know if I should go first. We could eat now. Oh, just give me the food, bro. Yeah, let's bring the food. But we I feel, like, whatever, whatever I feel like mine should be mixed in. Yeah, I'll bring the food out, though. Lena, you can bring it now, actually. She made you guys play. I'm going to run to the back. You, because you brought food, AB, and that makes me very happy, you can go in any. You just tell me when you want to go, and you're up. <laughs> I just want to be mixed in the middle somewhere because mine's kind of weird. So does anyone want to go first? Anyone feeling like they want to pitch? Dan is I don't off. mind going first. If no one like. People are saying, why can't Ethan get high? I hate it being high, you guys. It's not even like an option for me. I just fucking hate being high. I always feel horrible and regret it every time, so. <sighs> That's why. Mother flippers. Technically, yeah, I don't mind I, going first. Oh my god. So, what the fuck? Yo, let's go. Let's fucking go. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Yo. <coughs> oh my god. Wait, if I'm going first, though. Look at this. Can you guys see this? There's falafel. There's like a, uh, the beef skewer, chicken skewer, rice, hummus, grape leaves. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, oh my I can, god, Salad I can, Peter. I can what go, the Dan. What's going on here? I see the yeah, problem. Yeah, why, why don't you go first? Yeah, I'll go first. I just bought. Oh I my god. In. Okay. Hold on. I'm picking ABs and Lena's. I don't care what it is. Hmm. Oh my god, bro. Wait, you are going? Yeah, I'm gonna go. What happened? Why did you change your mind? Uh, because I think Dan has some stuff involved with his that can conflict with mine, so. Um, okay. I did just. Oh my God! Try to flush out my eyes. My eyes bother me, so. Dude. I'm not crying. Mm. Not yet. Okay. Thank you guys so much. No problem. Mm. Want to so do nice something? Want to do something nice since the crew covered me while I was gone for Creator Clash, and uh, figured why not get people food when they're high. Oh my God! Yeah. This is amazing. <laughs> this is the best episode we've ever done. Is it tahina? Yeah. There was supposed to be a point in the presentation where I, I'm talking about Arabic food, and I go, by the way, we have some. It's supposed to be a big surprise, but we were taking a little long. I see. I'll pretend surprise. Yeah, yeah. Just factor that in when you're thinking about Dude, your final decision. This is insane, you guys. This is like the uh, best spread ever. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Say sahtan in Arabic. Oh, my God. I can't get over it. <laughs> This is crazy. This is insane. They got tahina, wow. pita, salad. Wow. Stop. I'm not worthy of is this. Is this even fair to the other people? Listen. So. It's their fault they didn't bring food. Right. Right. Thank you, guys. All right, go ahead, Abby. All right. You guys ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, this is my travel proposal. So I was thinking we should go to Palestine and Israel. Wow. A joke? That was a joke, yeah. but I okay. want to get your guys' attention. I was like, no, I'll die in Palestine, right? <laughs> I wanted to start with an old-timey joke because, uh, 
I ask that you guys keep an open mind as we go through this, and wait till the end before you Hold make on. a decision. Hold on. Who's playing the Men in Black sound? It's I, it's not supposed to be looped. <laughs> I like it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I really think we should go to my hometown of Dearborn, Michigan. Wow. <laughs> Hell yeah, baby. I'm staying up and minded for you. Okay. Is that another keep it joke? Open. What is it? <laughs> she asked, is that another joke? Nope, that's for real. <laughs> I'm serious. Go ahead. Why Dearborn? Well, before we get into that, let's look at some facts about Dearborn. Dearborn, me and Lena are from Dearborn. Uh, Good. That's true. Good point. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Lena and I own a house in Dearborn, so we could house everyone. We could all stay together. Uh, hold on, okay. we got this big ass hey, that's budget. That's not bougie. Yeah. What the just, fuck? Just, just go with you it. Stay with okay. your parents. Um, also, I can show you guys my sick ass collections of uh, collectibles in the basement. Uh, my nerd wall. Uh, Dearborn is hometown of Henry Ford and is home, <laughs> home of uh, Ford Motor Company's world headquarters. Um, people stay up late in Dearborn. Uh, the businesses Why? are open late. It's a big deal because here everything closes early. You can't mm -hmm. get food like that. Why do they stay up so late? I, I don't know. I think they're living the thing. life. I think Ramadan has like something to do with it because it kind of messes up our schedule once a year because hmm. we stay up late like eating. Um, Dearborn is home to the largest amount of uh, Muslims in the United States. Um, it also has the largest mosque in the United States. And there are so many Muslims in Dearborn that we even serve halal steaks in the strip club. Uh -huh. That is not a joke. <laughs> That's actually a thing. I love that. Yeah. I'm, I'm in. Right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, besides the halal haram steaks, we have tons of great Middle Eastern food. And this is where I was going to bring out the food. Mm -hmm. Surprise, we have food, wow. baby. Oh! Yes, thank you. Thank it's like you. Oprah just gave me a car. Exactly. Better. Even better. Um, Who cares about a car? I'll talk more about food later on, but while we are learning about Dearborn, I think it's important to note that the H3 podcast is the number one podcast in Michigan. Oh. Is that right? According to this chart off of Reddit that we've referenced <laughs> before, I believe it. Huh. <laughs> per, this is uh, per Google searches. Okay. okay. Uh, being the podcast number one in Michigan, it would mean the world to the fans who live in Michigan if they knew we were visiting. Maybe we could even do a meet and greet. But maybe the fan love and good food isn't setting the idea, uh, selling the idea. So I figured, let's ask a local resident why we should go to Dearborn. Mm. And who better Tim. Oh than my, my cousin Tim? <laughs> I knew it. Uh, okay, let's hear from Tim. Why Tim? He's loved by the audience. Those, are, those of the audience who know who the hell he is. He's lived in Dearborn his whole life. He's never going to leave. And Ethan... He loves cousin Tim. Excuse me, did you just leak a DM? <laughs> I feel like I've seen no, that DM real. before. Oh, it's WhatsApp. So this is genuine Tim video? This is genuine. Mm. And this was very hard to get. He would not answer me, so I just sent his brother in yesterday. <laughs> Are you serious? Mm -hmm. This is how he sleeps? Yep. Get up. Listen, I'm leaving with something. Why does he have a question? He's an interesting video. dude. Mind you, you this guy inherited millions of dollars. No, really? Yeah. <laughs> so I need you to tell us why the fuck we should come to Dearborn for vacation. Leave me alone. Get away from me, young kid. Get away from me. The stairs. Hey! <laughs> Why do you want me to delete it? Seriously, tell me why. I'll do it. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. Well, I'm, not, I'm not playing these games with you. Delete it right now. Bro. What? Are, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm just asking you a question. Why, why are you? Why are you getting mad? Because I'm fucking trying to sleep. You're trying to wake me up. I'm so, I just wanted to get a video really quick. <laughs> you, you're doing a video right now. I know, but it was a video, so I can send it. To, they want. They want it for the podcast. <laughs> Fuck the podcast. Okay. Okay. All right, all right. Fuck the podcast. Bro, delete it. All right, all right. Go back to sleep. Get away from. Get away! <laughs> so we'll come back to Tim. That went well. I love okay, that. hold on, hold on. He doesn't use a pillow? <laughs> Tim's an interesting dude. Like, I never even heard of that. I wouldn't know where to begin. When we started college, me, him, and his brother all rented an apartment, and he paid a third of everything, and he did not stay there once. Whoa. He did not even leave anything there. <laughs> Whoa. Yep, and then the deal we got a you? house together, he did the same thing. Where does he stay? At that time, he was staying with my grandma's. Uh, Emma Grandma's, which is in the middle of, uh, <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. It's in the middle of the hood. That's where, and he just decided to live there with uh, his mom and my grandma. Cousin Tim. Okay. Yep. We can meet mm -hmm. Cousin Tim. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. We'll, we'll come back to cool. him. This is a longer video, but I wanted to space it out. Okay. Because I don't want to kill the, uh, <laughs> I don't want to kill the vibe of, of the presentation. <laughs> okay, but going back to food. Um, Dearborn has a wide variety of authentic Arabic restaurants. 
uh, some of my favorites, Hamidos, Habibs, Alamir, mm -hmm. and uh, even Pierce. Is that what's his name, Zach? Pierce, Pierce Brosnan? Brosnan. Yes. Yeah. He visited Habibs once, and they never oh. stopped talking about it. And they framed it. <laughs> they put it on the wall, and there's even an article in the American News well, about it. Well, that is a big deal, man. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Double seven, baby. Um, also, we can visit my hometown butcher. Oh, okay. okay. That's a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a uh, stick. It's funny. I, I went to his Twitter yesterday, and <laughs> he has three tweets. I think he made the Twitter since we shouted him out on the show. And I didn't, I didn't see this prior, but it said, uh, hey, Star Killer, you could order from us. And he tagged the H3 podcast. <laughs> it's funny. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Shout out Ronnie. Shout out Ronnie. Hi, crew. How are you? How is everyone? Mm. Uh, we would love to love for you guys to visit us in Michigan, and I would love uh, to cook you some nice Arabic food, some grape leaves, falafel, all hummus, different flavors, whatever you like. <laughs> You're welcome here anytime. Wow. Okay. Lena's mom. She's offering you home cooked Middle Eastern food. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Did the state of Michigan pay you for this? <laughs> I feel like this is like this, this is sponsored by Michigan. No, tourism no. board. Oh, Lena's mom. Yeah, very sweet lady. So, guys, how would you convince the crew to come to Dearborn? These are my brother-in-laws. Uh, did we try food already? Why do you yeah, think they, uh, they're gonna come to Dearborn? We got Tim Hortons, bro. We got Timmy's, bro. <laughs> we got Timmy's. Okay, it's stupid, but we do have Tim Hortons. That is a big deal. Like oh. me and Lena, we we really miss Tim Hortons. I don't know if you guys ever had it, but Canadian, yeah, right? yeah. Canadian, we mm -hmm. had it. We've been there. So we got food. So, so guys, how would you? So besides the good food, cousin Tim and Tim Hortons, Michigan is a beautiful <laughs> in summer. Uh, how we could spend a typical summer day in Michigan. Uh, and let me just say real quick, actually. When I was making this PowerPoint, I intended on break, like this slide was supposed to be four slides and it would be a lot more extravagant, but I underestimated uh, how long this would take. So I will, um, yeah, it's sort of sped up. I just want to say that. But yes, we could start the day by going to one of the Great Lakes. I love uh, Great Lakes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My uncle has a boat mm. that we could go on. It could fit most of us. Uh, we might have to go in two trips. Uh, we could play some volleyball at the lake and then end the night with a beautiful bonfire where we could tell some beautiful stories that will last a lifetime. Okay. Put your sleep in your bunk, man. Work at fucking seven thirty. I'm not okay. Gonna all right. You're bugging me for a fucking video, bro. I don't know. Well, I, I just don't understand why you're snapping. Okay, I asked you for a video. Okay, they're they're okay, doing. Okay. Let me tell you the concept. They're doing a they're doing a thing. They're saying they got a certain amount of money. They want to go on vacation. They're taking everybody from the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's saying where they're gonna go. <laughs> yeah, the, this is amazing. Ethan loves yeah. you. The, pe the people, the, the fans think you're funny or some shit. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. And they're like, okay, like AB's like, all right, let me make one where we go to Dearborn for that vacation. I believe, so they're like, all right, let's make a compelling video for why we should go to Dearborn. So no, yeah. it's a, it's just a, it's just a. Listen, it's all part of the, it's all part of the joke. Don't get upset right now. Don't listen. I mean, do not reach. Do not reach. Very simple. If you reach, we're very gonna have a simple. fucking problem. I don't very want the problems. You don't want problems either. Let's just get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. I just now, want. Go ahead. Who, who's the one filming him? Yeah. Uh, that's his little brother, my cousin Brendan. He's funny. Okay, he's that, that's, he's okay. been my roommate like my whole uh, life. Like, is, is his little brother? Oh, What's shit. his name again? Shit. I don't know why. Uh -oh. oh, it's fucking up. What's right, go his ahead. name again? Cousin what? Your bug man. Cousin Tim. Fucking seven thirty. Am I gonna no. fucking seven thirty? No. His brother. Oh, Brendan. Yeah. Brendan. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Also, speaking of kids, Dearborn is in need of a hero right now. <laughs> Dearborn could use good role models right now. Ten, uh, tons of Dearborn's youth idolize people like Jordan Peterson and Andrew Tate. Peterson right. is like a rock star there. It's That's crazy. Hassan really? brought it up on Leftovers, yeah. Come up. Um, also, I was going to include, but I didn't have a chance to, the whole situation with the uh, LGBTQ uh, books in Dearborn and how yeah. that like was insane, the town hall meeting. They were trying to get, yeah, right. Oh, I haven't yeah. They were trying that. to ban they had like LGBT books. Mm. Mm -hmm. And, it, you know, of course, it's not everyone. There's a lot of people who are open minded and understand, but it's crazy to see little kids like with signs that say, like, go back in the closet. Mm. Really? Yeah. yeah. Go back in the closet? Or, or take, put your books back in the closet or something. Yeah. Mm. Um, our visit to Dearborn will help spread the word of the podcast, and we can be a good influence on the youth. We can be like Jehovah Witnesses going door to door and spreading <laughs> the good word of the H3 podcast. <laughs> Anything that you want edited out, we can edit out. Sorry about that. I'm telling you, stop recording. I'm trying to make him sleep. <laughs> okay, we're gonna. Huh? You're, and you're bothering people. I'm telling you. Who, who am I bothering? Are I bust your phone right now? I'm telling you, I bust your phone right now. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Why are you getting? So, okay, listen, you're getting really upset, and I understand your position here. You're but it's drugs. just, it's just what a video. It's just. A <laughs> I just say a few things. Um, I love how he said you're you're upsetting you're upsetting people. I don't know who the hell he's talking about. His brother his brother didn't get that line either. But also, every time I feel like we get in these situations with him, he's not playing at all. He does not play along for shit. You can see his brother is, keeps occasionally doing mm -hmm. this. This is the Tim Look armbar because you never know. He does this thing where he looks away for a second, then he'll fucking launch you. So uh, this is very real. It looks very real. I believe it. Yeah. Tim may be one of these children you can save. Oh <laughs> Tim chose the Red Bull pill and has become who he is today, filled with rage and hate influenced by men like Tate. Is he really a Tate head? Not, like, he, he Tim's, like, not even online, but mm -hmm. he's seen some videos and thought he was, like, funny. But okay. he doesn't know, like, you know, everything that's going on. Okay. And mind you, his father was, like, super, like, he was, like, left wing. He was the first person on the Wayne County, uh, for it to hire an African American. Oh, his dad is a hardcore lefty. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. He was a very well known man. He's gone to the White House many times, met many presidents. Does he hate his his dad? Uh, no, he he doesn't. They uh, his dad passed away. He was ninety five. His father. Oh wow. Yeah, this is like his fifth marriage. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. But he, you know, these are uh, he hasn't had kids since like the fifties. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> yes. This this is this was innocent Tim. Before. Oh, what? Really? Yeah. Oh. Yo, what the fuck? This is our first year of college on the right. Yo! Mm -hmm. What the fuck? At the was end he of... always like his? Yeah, he knew it. <laughs> you know, my friend Fidoz asked me once, what happened to Tim? I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, <laughs> he goes, did he get in an accident? I'm like, what are you talking about? He goes, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Brain damage? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh no, he's always been that way. It's weird though, cause he's like super smart too. Like, look at that on the right. That's a different person. Yeah. What the fuck? Looks like a bright young kid with this future ahead of him. He he was a math genius, <laughs> Matt. I mean, he still is. Um, and what happened? Do you think he just got like this big uh, inheritance, and he's just like, fuck it, I'm good? No, no, it's it's tough. He, I mean, he has a mom who was like. My my aunt's like super Lebanese. Like she came here when she was already living in Lebanon for a few years, like twenty years. And then his dad was super old, and I just feel like that mix of parenting kind of had an effect on him. Like, um, mm -hmm. and then like you know we all go through that stage where we're kids and we we get told what's what. We either could be like babies about it, be hateful, or like get our shit together. And he just loves to play the victim, unfortunately. <clears throat> and um, yeah, I don't know. This just you think I could put his head on straight? Maybe. How old is he? Does he remind you of my dad? The voice, 100%. I, I, didn't wanna, oh, really? I didn't want to. I didn't want to like dad, offend you, but that's what I thought immediately. <laughs> no, that's all I'm thinking when I watch him. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like everybody in the room is kind of scared of him. Yeah. yeah. That's how and, I feel with my dad. And like it's super <laughs> like, deep everybody voice. Was, yeah. And he was kind of big. Yeah, he he has a really big heart. He's a really nice guy, but he uh, yeah. Hmm. How old is he? Uh, he's eight months older than me. He's 31. I find it interesting because apparently he had a ton of siblings, right? No, he has only Brennan, his brother, but he has five sisters who are like in their 60s. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh crazy. Yeah. Holy smokes. That's a pretty unusual family dynamic. Yeah. Yeah. I okay. Just, I realize we're at the NAACP dinner here too. <laughs> For his, uh, 
Yeah. How did, oh, how, did, how, how did this $620,000 pitch end up just about Tim? <laughs> hey, guys, not fucking right. He's not fucking right. He's not fucking right. <laughs> Listen, 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 guys, guys, he's not fucking wrong. Somebody in the chat said, this seems pretty wrong. cheap. Why don't this you just do one of the other ones and this? <laughs> 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 this is, that's incredible. Oh, get off me. Do they live together? Get off me. Tim, Tim came to Brendan's house in the middle of the night about a month ago with like six garbage listen, bags listen, and he's guys, like, guys, he's yeah, I need a place to stay for a little bit. <laughs> and he has money. It's just, uh, that's Tim. Probably, I don't know. Yeah. Very interesting. But Dearborn is also rich in culture. <laughs> Visiting Dearborn would be a great learning experience. We can visit the largest mosque in America. But we have to make sure that we are dressed properly for the mosque. Mm. The ladies would have to wear the proper attire. Just while in the mosque. I love it. Any fresh collars? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I asked Cam for this edit. Cam, I'm sorry, I don't have to say that, but I asked you to do it. What do we wear? What do the guys wear? Oh, I got you. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's a vibe. Oh. I something about Ian in this photo. I yeah. can't stop looking at him. It's like piercing my soul. Powerful. Weird. Dude, this picture would be badass. It's like uh, <laughs> it's like squad squad gold. Squad up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, I, I like how Cam uh, left the dude on the right. You, we're, if we're going to a new place, we're going to make new friends, dude. No, no, I love it. Okay. Got to like make that. some new friends. We can go to an Arab wedding. People seem to really think Arab weddings are really cool. Like, me and Lena had, you know, over a thousand people at ours. Damn. What the fuck? Yes. And the reason we go to an Arab wedding is maybe we can find love a wife. Oh. Okay. Mm. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Is, is love looking for a wife? I don't know, but I'm just saying it might mm -hmm. fast track some stuff. Anyway, well, <laughs> love's going willing to do whatever it takes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Whose um, wedding would we go to? Oh, just somebody. They won't know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if you ever hungry on a Friday or Saturday night, just go to a wedding. Just make sure you have a suit. Got it. Um, most importantly, you can learn what it means to be a hawk. Does anyone here know what a hawk is? Does anyone know what I'm referring to? Mm -mm. Exactly. We're already learning. Oh, shit. So to explain what a hawk is... I have Tarek Salamasi, uh, former boxer. He's the one who initially trained my cousin Myth for his boxing match. Oh. And oh, my dad's yeah. cousin. And he's a fucking hawk. And a good guy. People out there who don't know what a hawk is, all right? Hawk is kind of what a guido is to an Italian, a douchebag is to a white boy. To an Arab, it's a hawk. A hawk? It's a guy who's like a predator. Bro, let me show you how I do it. You know, he gets in the position and he perches. Just back up though, don't blow my shots. Right. Are you from Dearborn? Especially from Dearborn. And you're a male, you're a hawk. <laughs> Is that okay. a real thing? Yeah, that's a real thing. So you're a hawk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so like the whole like cloud goblin thing you guys may make fun of me for, I think <laughs> that's just like the, the like aftermath of being around so many hawks my whole life. Mm. Like, yes. Mm. Um. But here, I'm going to teach you some hawk terminology. You guys will learn it more if you were to go. But rat on Warren is a popular one, which means Warren's a very busy st street. Rat on Warren means just to do loops going back and forth and seeing if there's any honeys out there mm. driving around. Rat in on Warren. It's <laughs> one street. Mm -hmm. <laughs> convertible. <laughs> so convertible, what a convertible means to a hawk is a girl who wears a scarf indoors and secretly takes it off when she's not around her family. They call her oh, a convertible. convertible. Oh, drop the top off. Yep, oh drop the top. God. And that's a good thing. That's what the guys Depends want. What you ask. No, um... How do the girls feel about that term? Uh... Yeah, they don't, they don't like it, but I mean... Let me ask you this. Is it a but neutral? But they use, they, use it, they use it too. <clears throat> is it neutral or is it an insult to call someone a convertible? Oh, it's definitely a fucking insult. Okay, okay. I don't think oh. anyone would ever say it to someone's face. It's always behind their back. The okay. Dearborn way, baby. Okay, okay. <laughs> or in the sit bait, which means a good Muslim gal. The opposite. The sit bait, who's yeah. someone who doesn't ever get in the bikini. Correct. These are very important to a hawk. I, 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 I plan why on giving a whole here? testimony, I mean a Instead whole of explanation of why, should they come to why these are so important. But get off Jesus, of me. Tim, you chill. Know. I'm not going to fucking deal with this shit anymore. Listen, I'm asking you a question. I want to know the answer. You're really why should someone the come spend their money? Ah, oh, fuck. Get Dude, away from me. your cousin's, the why camera works someone, pretty Why should someone impressive. come spend their time with uh -huh. you? Oh, fuck this video. I'm done. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So at this point, you just said, fuck this. I'm done. 
Um, why should they come here instead of going somewhere else? Twice, twice, huh? <laughs> okay. Is this a serious pitch? You may be wondering, is this a serious pitch? And the answer is yes. The reason it is a serious pitch is not only is it because I want to visit home, the reason I think this should be considered as a serious pitch comes down to one simple word. Does anyone know that word? Mm hmm. Clout? Mm -hmm. Family. Close. Oh. Content. Oh. Content. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I know it's stupid. I know the idea is stupid, but have you thought of the content? It's such a stupid idea, and that's what makes it great. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Just some examples. It's, it, the whole. City on its own is a commentary goldmine. I mean, uh, Tim is one of many characters. <laughs> if you think of the iDubbbz documentary, Full Force, where he went to, uh, I forget where he went, but it was in Michigan. I, I, I'm drawing blanks right now. But that was a fucking great documentary because it was so wild to see. Even as someone in Michigan, I, I didn't know people up there were living like that. But um, we can, you know, there's lots of stuff. We can meet my dad's new family. Be good for content, like when my mm -hmm. mom called in. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the white boy Rick. The uh, notorious drug dealer from the 80s. He went was like uh, set up by the FBI. And it's a long, allegedly, it's a long story. But uh, for some reason, him and my dad are like best friends now. So uh, we can find out why they are best friends, how that happened, which is very fucking interesting to me that my dad is always with White Boy Rick. Shout out. <laughs> um, okay, listen, yeah. let me tell you well, Final, Final Tim video. Do it or not. Is that fine? Is that fine? Is that, no, I'm asking you a question. Is that fine? Give me the thing. The, the thing. Hold on. The theme is, yeah. the crew, the whole podcast crew is going on a vacation. Andy Fume, man. Okay? And Andy they Fume wanna, is my dick is in you. And they want to know where they should go. They got a certain amount of money they want to spend on this vacation. Abdullah thought it would be funny to say Dearborn is a, is, a, is a spot they should go. So we're just supposed to tell them why they should come to Dearborn since we live here. What's the, why would you vacation in Dearborn for them? Like, why would they come here? They could see me. Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll eat breakfast together and the whole podcast. <laughs> okay. Hey. Dude, his voice. Oh, see, was that so hard? <laughs> so, yoking on, but. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. So That's all, good. Yeah. That's shout out to good. Brennan for getting that. Yeah, Absolutely. shout out. They, the, one of the reasons it took me so long to start on this PowerPoint yesterday was because I was, like, trying to break up a fight between them back and forth for hours until uh, we just got to the conclusion that Tim was just grumpy. <laughs> um, so why Dearborn? Good food, breakfast with Cousin Tim, content, we can save Dearborn's youth, we can learn how to be a hawk, and we can use the rest of the money for something else. Okay, now, 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 now I want something, I don't know if I was clear, but I would appreciate it everybody gave me a trip estimate. Mm. Mm. Like a, a dollar value on this kind of trip here. Because we're staying with your family. Ten thousand dollars maybe? Ten thousand? <laughs> Pretty affordable. <laughs> That's very affordable, actually. <laughs> Ten thousand. I'm a simple man. So if you guys yeah. want to, uh, yeah, I love the idea of staying with your family, using your uncle's boat. Really, we're mm -hmm. saving all over the place. <laughs> okay, <laughs> AB. Yeah. Nice. And once again, thank you for this fantastic food, you and Lena. Yeah, thank so you. So nice. I love thank it. Thank you, guys. Delicious. If anybody no wants any falafel, there's more here. That that's one of the best falafel ever, by the way. Oh, nice. Yeah. Even like not warm, you know, it was really good. Can you right. take this? Who's next? Rest? I'll go. Do you have hands for it? All right. Come on down. I do need to pee. I haven't peed yet. Oh, my God. Just queue it up. I'll be right back. All right. We'll queue it up. Yep. Anybody gonna jump in here? Anyone? I'll clean up while you guys do that. Dead air? Hello? <laughs> Hello? AB? What's up? Take the mic on. What is it? We How's got everyone dead doing? Air. How's everyone doing? Oh, everyone hi guys. Good? How's it going? I'm totally, totally not fucking high, but I'm here <laughs> right now saying what's up to you, beautiful people. I hope that was entertaining. I'm sorry if it was boring. See, the problem was when I, like, I was using Lena as a test audience for the presentation, I started you know, giving it, and Lena knows these people, she knows Tim and Brennan, and mm -hmm. she was cracking up, like, she was in tears, and I was like, it didn't hit me till, like, 4 a.m., like, is only Lena gonna think this is funny? So, I hope it was entertaining I enjoyed you guys. Tim. I loved Thank it. You. Thank He's you. He's a beast. It was dude. great. Yeah. He scares me. Yeah, it's great, dude. <laughs> Love him. You wanna hear from Arizona? Hell yeah, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah, baby. Hey. All right. Uh, let's see here. What's going on? You hear Yo. some old-timey jokes? Oh, hey, yeah. Hey, Yes, sir. Oh, I thought you were Lou. Ooh. Ooh. 
Fucking got him. Both. Oh, That's a subjective question, love. You did say both would be at the podium. Yeah, so yeah. fuck you, love. <laughs> hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy, whoa, Lou. Whoa. You want to get hostile? <laughs> no, I love you, bro. I love oh. you, too. Only... Aw. 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 We're Aww. just waiting on Aww. Ethan to uh, evacuate his bladder. <laughs> and, uh, evacuate the bladder? So what happened to Dan? To Dan? Yeah, he was about to... What happened to me? Yeah. I'm waiting because mine involved food, too. I guess oh, you're, okay. you're all done, so I could do it next after Zach. That's fine. Chicka chicka. Chicka chicka. Let's see. How Any you doing, donos? Zach? Lou. I'm doing fantastic. That How shirt looks very comfortable. It is very comfortable. It's a little baggy, but it is very comfortable. You know, every time I put a button-up shirt on, I think... Would Zach approve with my button? Level? I go lower, baby. I went one lower, I think, since I started, since I met you. <laughs> you gotta rock that deep V, my guy. Yeah. Mm. How is Shredder doing? Have you? I, so I think I don't know if Ethan updated, but there was like one more test where his numbers went like a tiny bit. Uh, they went up and then they went a tiny bit down, which was good, but we still don't really know. It's very weird. He seems totally fine, mm. and he's eating well. So. I don't know. Did he get tested for that one disease? Oh, that... No, we're scheduling it. It's apparently like a little bit complicated. They need to get a blood test from him like three times in one day at different hours. Oh. Yeah, so we're oh, going to do that. Let's see what else. Dude, this oh. food is incredible. Dude, I'm tripping out. That was so good. Zach. Hi. Let's hear it. Where we should go. By Zach Lewis. Um, where we should go. You guys ready? I'm ready. All right, let's okay. do it. Now, PowerPoint doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles. I don't roll like that. <laughs> That's fine, man. It's not my vibe. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm not you know, not throwing shade on anyone, but I'm I'm just I'm to the point here. Yeah. So where we should go? Okay. Well, nowhere. Curveball. Let's stay home. <gasps> And I'm going to tell you why. Mm -hmm. uh, traveling is a pain in the fucking ass. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Do we have any real suggestions? Or... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go ahead, Dad. <laughs> traveling is a pain in the fucking ass, and we all know it, right? Come on. I agree with you. Okay, thank you. Thank I'm you. With you. Ethan, thank you. Who likes going to airport run or packing? It just, it just it fucking, me. fucking sucks. And I realized I put fucking fucking in there twice. You wrote fucking? <laughs> fucking. You're reading that verbatim? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Again, I'm not throwing shade to people. We want to go to Japan and other places, but eh. You know, eh. No one likes the hassle, right? <laughs> you wrote okay. in the eh. Yeah, you wrote eh. 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 I like your sticking to the script. Thank you. No curveballs. Here's my vote. Okay. We celebrate the $600,000 is split amongst the crew or a portion. And we have a kick ass <laughs> dinner. <laughs> <laughs> we get dinner. Gotcha. Okay. Dinner. Another banner. Wow. Double banner. Nice. Wow. Triple wow. banner. Oh. <laughs> Fine dining. Hold on. I thought you said there was no fancy PowerPoint. Yeah, it got a little fancy for a second there. Well, okay, fine. We hire a private chef and we have a five course meal prepared. I don't know. Let's have some fun. Okay. Roll the dice, sip some wine, some beef tartare, <laughs> some more wine. Okay. I don't know what that guy's eating, but sure, looks good. You went off script there a little bit. Yeah, a little, <laughs> a little, a little, improv. A little improv. A little improv. I like the riffing. <laughs> Here are some things you will miss because you are not home. Mm. You're, but we, first, a word from Ethan Klein. Okay. Mm. What the? F All right. That. For any, don't forget why you're there. Don't let them convince you or brainwash you into any other fucking reason. You're there to make money. <laughs> what does that have to do? That was my smoking Zach just gun. just wants the money. Right. I get that. He's using your words from Wednesday no, I, against I, you. I get that, mm -hmm. but... You gave me my smoking gun. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's pretty good. It, it pretty beautiful. Good. It holds up. What's that? It holds up. I, I mean, it's, it's more about good. salary, but... Uh, <laughs> 
Because this is technically But my, basically my you're <laughs> saying you don't want to spend a minute with us. Yeah. No, that's not <laughs> the case. But that would be the that would be the uh, essentially the result of the suggestion. I I'm just being just one dinner. I'm being practical. Uh huh. I'm being I'm very very practical here. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm following along. Okay. <laughs> you're gonna miss your bed. Mm. A nice comfy bed. I do like my bed. I agree. Everyone loves their bed, right? Yeah. When you go to the new places, yeah. you know the. Got to order pillows. And yep. It's all fucked up. You know? You're right. It just, it sucks. I'm with you there. You're going to miss your own throne. <laughs> You're going to miss your toilet. Hmm. Right. When you go to these Fair hotel enough. rooms, you got fear that something's going to come and crawl up your ass. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Who's been in that toilet before you? You don't know that. Right. You don't know how clean it's been. You'll catch fucking, I don't know. You'll catch something. Right. It's a potential. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're gonna miss your own TV. Yeah. We go to Europe or some other place. They don't got your own <laughs> news stations. You know. It's funny to me that you think you need to convince Ethan to stay at home. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> I, I, but Zach is is not so much a pitch as an anti pitch. <laughs> I. He's in opposition to all ideas. Does not leave the house. You know that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a homebody, like yourself. Uh, since COVID, traveling is very risky. You know, mm. um, I like being home. I like my job. I like going from point A to point B <laughs> and maybe throwing in a point C in there. Mm. You know, maybe. But you're going to miss your own TV. Personally, I like Channel 7. They don't got Channel 7 in Europe. ABC? ABC, but not ABC 7. Right, okay. It's easy. Your local, you don't, yeah. you don't have your local right. channel. In <laughs> your Europe. local affiliate. I know my news anchors. Right, that makes sense. You know? You're not going to have that. You're going to miss your fridge, right? You, you, you go to a hotel, the mini bar. First off, it probably doesn't have anything in it, you know, unless you go to one of the high-end joints. Still nothing in it. Yeah, there's still nothing still, in it. Still nothing in it, but you know where your things are. Like, if you're going to go for a soda at your house, mm -hmm. both mm -hmm. of you guys, you know where it's at, right? Okay. You could do it blindfolded. Right. Yeah, okay. Okay. Right. So, since we all live in L.A., I just want to give you a... Um, a reminder of what you would be missing if you didn't, if we if we went somewhere, took an airplane or whatever. The uh, Reseda, California, <laughs> home of the Karate Kid filming location. Let's fucking go. Right. right also right. Cobra Kai. No mercy, then, baby. So or, you want to do sightseeing or? No, I'm just saying there? you'd be missing this. You could I'd be missing. Could. I'd, be I'd be missing, missing being Reseda. nearby yes. Reseda. <laughs> I'm a Valley boy. I love the Valley. Yeah, you know? hell yeah. Eight one eight. Dan, Let's right go. here. I can't. One love. I... You, Olivia. Hey, I, we Valley lived kids, in the right Valley. Up. We lived in the you Valley. You guys. Mm -hmm. but I can't say that I think much about Reseda then or now. Very forgettable junction yeah. there. <laughs> but it feels like home in a sense, right? <laughs> no, not Reseda. <laughs> home. <laughs> It's home to me, damn it. <laughs> Wait, real fast. Is that um, Daniel's son's apartment complex? Yes, and Cobra sure Kai? Is. Ah. And also Johnny's, if you're Cobra Kai fans. Right, right. No right. mercy. Encino, California. Right. I like Encino. That's you know, more homish to me. Okay, that's home. You know, you got that one shopping center. You got that CPK there. That cool ass. Art. I was gonna say I, I I picked up some shifts at that CPK. A couple Good times. CPK. Yeah. That's the is that where you saw Justin Bieber? No, it was at the Tarzana one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a great toy store. I went there as a kid called Gregory's. Love that toy store. Greg's <laughs> probably a pedo. Just saying. Alrighty then. <laughs> Dude named Greg owns a toy store. And that's it. That is my presentation. All right. Very thank good. you all. You've been a terrific crowd. I want to thank you. So to to summarize. Portion of the money split amongst the crew, and we stay home and we make life a lot easier. We get a really ourselves. nice dinner mm -hmm. and a really and, nice. And dinner. How much are you proposing that we split amongst the crew? Be specific now. <laughs> I'll have to get back to you. On well, that. in the presentation, is, he said all or some. Yeah, all. Which that really runs the game. That's basically I mean, that everything. Big gap. The whole spread, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Throw out a number. Give me a number. <sighs> we, I need a number attached to each one of these. Three hundred fifty thousand dollars. All right. So it was like the price is right. Everybody was like holding up fingers over here. <laughs> <laughs> so Big three, my lord. How many people is that divided by? Uh, 
There's nine crew members, I nine, think. Nine, I think. Oh, and then I've lost track of who. I don't here. know anymore. Does that include <laughs> Love and Lena and everybody? Yeah, Love, so Lena, I Cameron. Think nine is so, with what's, everybody. so what's 350 divided by nine? And that's not including me and Hila. Right, not including you guys. So 350 divided so it'll by. So it'd be 11 with you and Hila. Yeah, but don't include us in this one. Uh, that'd be uh, thirty-eight thousand eight hundred and eighty-eight dollars and eighty-eight cents. There we go. Of course. Okay. Which, if you think about it, if we do it, uh, an extravagant trip, it's gonna hit that mark. That's a pretty high. That's mark. pretty extravagant. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's that's a, a pretty high, high mark. mark. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. I rest my case. Thank, Thank you. you very right. much. Thank see you, you out on in Reseda, my friend. I'll see you in Reseda, my friend. <laughs> there it is. All right. Um, Zach Bernstein, or should I my, say Lou? Lou. Lou Mine and Zach's can be go. combined even, actually. It's weird. Well, um, <laughs> all right. Why don't I go next? Does anyone uh, have yeah. a real one? I have a real yeah, thing. Yeah. It, so it was kind of a weird order we just did that in, because I think me and Zach are the only ones that... Yeah. Well, I thought mine was real, but I, I see how you could <laughs> interpret it as not. <laughs> it just remember, real. though, Zach, if I pay you guys out, y'all got to pay fat taxes on that but if we spend it on a vacation i'm fine paying the tax that's uh <laughs> i'll take the hit i'm completely fine taking that hit actually Let's i'm with Zach. fuck them kids wow, okay dan is passing out the here? these plastic oh my oh goodness my God. oh i see where this is going what dan is serious about this japan pitch are you gonna guide wow. me through these, or is this just for my enjoyment? Just for your enjoyment. Okay. Just like give it a shot. Wild Grape ramen juice. snacks. Now, are these? Is this curated by you in some sense? Did you just drink it? Like this? Yeah, I went down to uh, uh, Little Tokyo here in LA with Ali yesterday, and we got some stuff. Now, these drinks have a little trick to them. Mm. That little plastic thing. That I gave you. Yeah. Okay. What is it? So what you want to do? Here, I'll do one so you see how it works. Use this little plastic cup. Oh! <laughs> Wait. Wait, is there a ball or something? Yeah, exactly. Where's my ball? It's, it's in there. Where? Whoa! <laughs> Where's my ball? I just so, slammed this down? So there's a little, there's a little plastic thing. A plastic thing inside? In there. Yeah. And you take that, oh. you put it on top, and then you just boop! I just slam okay. this down. Slam it. Just push it. Just push it. it. Just push it. You push it hard, though. Don't push. The Japanese are strong. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Hold it. There oh. it goes. There you go. Okay. Now what? Are you take From, the plastic thing out. You take Here. it out? Yeah. This blue thing comes out? No, no, no. Oh. No, you just you drink that. from it? To Japan. To Japan. Yummy. Oh, what's this, by the way? This looks good. Rainbow Dango. I love this drink. A little rice cake? Mmm. Mm. Is it like a dessert? Mm hmm Yeah. Yum. Oh, Theodore would love it. Does anyone see Shredder? Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Mmm. -hmm. Feeling that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're ready. <laughs> Here we go. Beautiful. <laughs> wow. Yo! Wow. There we go. Now, why is it I can't do the Jamaican accent, but you could come out with all the... Well, that was an authentic recording. I didn't... That's mm -hmm. not my voice. Mm -hmm. He just played it. There's another treat here, actually, that we haven't tried yet. Oh, well, Dan, I got to say, a strong start here. All right, Very here we strong. go. Also, you took you kind fed of you, us exactly. You and AB kind yeah, of know. Yeah, both of us. Yeah, we know. Bring food. We bring know you. Food. Bring drinks. No problem. All right. Let's start with the facts. Bring the merch. Let's lay out some facts real quick, just to get started. Okay. One. The nails are. Japan the... has incredibly, uh, incredible, unique attractions and theme parks that you can't get anywhere else in the world. Right. No right. other place like. That's like uh, Godzilla. Like, Second of all. Godzilla I museum. I can't wait to someday go to Japan. Such fucking dream. Hila has been wanting to go to Japan for years. Wow, you're listening. I'm listening. And so what is somebody on the subreddit who uh, sent that. Thank <laughs> no. you. Shout out to whoever found that Are clip. Are you going to get more specific <laughs> about theme parks? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's the birthplace of anime. 
-hmm. as we know, uh, Ethan is a weeb and Mm -hmm. can get a lot of enjoyment out of that. Uh, It has a vibrant and world famous fashion scene. Hell yeah. Very critical to Mm -hmm. this pitch, let me tell you. Yep. Um, Has a rich Buddhist and Shinto uh, spiritual heritage. Hmm. Insanely good cuisine. Hell yeah. A vibrant nightlife, music scene, and karaoke bars. Remember that. That'll come relevant later. That doesn't sell me as much. And the last fact, there's literally no downsides. Okay. Yeah. There's no Whoa. downsides. Uh-huh. That's debatable, clearly. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's talk about the downsides. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan's reluctant to take a long trip. It's mm-hmm. too time consuming. Mm-hmm. Solution. We can 100% absolutely do the show on the road. And I've got it all producer. figured out. Okay, go ahead. You're hearing it from the producer. I'm listening. It's too far away. I don't like to leave my house. Uh, you know? <laughs> Counterpoint, it is a two-hour shorter flight than Israel, which you've done many times. Mm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How do That's we do the show on the road? With it, we, we've talked about it yesterday. We figured it out. Mm. Give me a rundown. Roadcasters, two of them. Already yeah, got them. Yeah, I mean, check, check. We bring some equipment. We film it. Portable equipment. We bring a camera and we do the podcast on the road. Like a live like, stream type? Uh, yeah, um, we could like even live stream. IRL live stream kind of situation? or We could do that, or we could just from like a hotel room just do oh. a podcast and talk about what we did that day and show That's videos and all that kind of stuff. Can we do. Um, what if we all stay in our pajama? Mm. And we do it in a hotel room. Are I you kidding me? Yeah. Or can we do it in a beautiful area outside? Sure. I mean, we can do that have, too. Uh, cellular bonded. By the way, so isn't it like space. a crazy blooming season right now, or like in May? Uh, I think so. Yes. Um, We're talking we, about going we, in June, though. Yeah, I mean, we probably wouldn't make that, okay. unfortunately. But the the yeah, all the cherry blossoms. The cherry blossom. Yeah. Um, also. When Ela gets pregnant, okay, so the information that we learned at the beginning of this episode kind of makes this bullet point moot, <laughs> but I was trying to make the point that, like, now is your window of opportunity to go. Still is. It still is. Okay, it still is. In the beginning, I can still travel, but right. okay. later okay, on, okay, I Okay, want... so it's still relevant. Mm-hmm. I've got kids. It makes it too complicated. That was the biggest objection, right? Yeah. Solution. Money. <laughs> you have a nanny who would, I'm sure, love to go to Japan. Also, or, 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 before you say anything, alternate solution. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, you have to ask them about that. Uh. <laughs> right. That's up to them, unfortunately. That's, that's what grandparents are for. That's all I'm saying. Um, also, well, I like to think so too, but sometimes they have a different opinion about what they're doing. <laughs> so, should you choose to bring the kids along on the trip, which is a is an option, uh, through the power of technology, there are solutions to many common problems <laughs> traveling with a child, such as uh, this product that just happened Babymute.com. Oh my God. What is this demonic shit? <laughs> Baby well, mute? it's a soundproof, <laughs> breathable device to silence your baby's cries during no. long flights and no, movie no. nights. If you despise so. your child. Don't tell me that this is real. I think it's a meme. <laughs> that baby looks like Bane. <laughs> All right. Anyways, right. So, what am I going to do? <laughs> what are you in Japan? <laughs> First of all, <laughs> let's talk about the fashion scene in yes. Japan because Ela needs to see this shit. Yes. Okay. There is this area in Tokyo, Harajuku. Mm-hmm. Harajuku. Okay. So, all these it's like the street fashion yeah. mecca basically, and everybody's hanging out there and showing off their looks and everything. And it's got a whole scene. It's a hub for youth culture and fashion. It's famous for its uh, eclectic street styles, quirky subcultures. Um, you're right, and then there's this street, Takashita Street. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong, uh, which I believe I shit. have. Yeah, a little video here to just show what it's like. So these are like all vintage shops, fashion shops. It's just like just Crazy. an epicenter for it, basically. Um, Dan, how long do you believe we would need for this trip right. to do it well? Right, week, week and a half. I mean, if we're just doing Tokyo. Obviously, there's more in, going on in Japan, but I was trying to keep it within the constraints of like, we take a trip to what's your, Tokyo. What's and your the Tokyo. ideal amount of time? The ideal amount of time? I don't, I don't know. I mean, realistically, since we're talking about like a two week window, I, I feel like a week and a half or so with some travel Ten days. on either side mm-hmm. makes sense. Mm-hmm. Can I ask, would this conflict with our other break? Is it- this will be during our break. It would Gio. be during that break. Hypothetically, I mean, I don't know. That, that's to be determined. Well, if it's during our break, we that's don't a, even have to do live shows. 
Mm. Or we can bring back content. We, I mean, that's true. We could if we, film guess, vlogs. Yeah, mm. We don't want to worry about work. If we we could film vlogs. Then I mean, we could film stuff and have yeah, we, content for when we come yeah, back. Yeah, but like. That's fine too. However you, know? you want to play it, baby. However you want to play okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, along for the ride. Uh, anyway, so I was just uh, showing, you know, the types of shops, all kinds of fun vintage shops and everything. There's also the Ginza shopping district, which is more like the high end, high fashion. This is area. all Tokyo. This is all Tokyo. If I'm going there, I'm never coming out. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, you know, all of like the big famous um, Japanese designers have stores there and everything. There's also like flagship stores for Louis Vuitton and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I don't know. I just thought that building was really cool. Mm -hmm. So I blew a picture of that. Um, also, getting off the fashion train a little bit, how do you feel about fun little animal encounters? Because. There's all kinds of stuff like this that you can this do. This is the greatest experience of my entire life. Song I says, think greatest this experience will never be of his life. We are here, and they let, they're, let, they're letting us touch oh. otters, and the otters are going Look crazy. Look at that one. Look at oh that. Oh, my God. I don't like being touched in their belly, but that one is being a little slut. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. Ethan loves otters. They're, they're really, so really cute. Fucking cute. Oh is this humane? The otters are cool? They're, they're loving it. Look how much fun they're having. Look oh. at this. Oh my, oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my what? God. <laughs> are you kidding me? They're so cute. What the hell? <laughs> 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 All right. So, you know, there's stuff like that to do. Otter's not your fancy. Love owls. How about little owls? Love Zach, them, avert your yeah. eyes. You want to hang out in an owl cafe? That, Zach, are you scared of owls? Oh, yeah. Zach, avert your eyes. Owls, oh, cool. owls not so much. Okay. Oh, really? yeah. oh I thought they, it was all birds. They don't oh, flutter, yeah. right? It's nah, nah, nah. Look how cute they They're are. They're so cool. Owls are amazing. Jesus. I love owls, dude. Yeah. Look at this. We, this could be us. So why is it you can do this in Japan, but not in America? Uh, I think you can do it in America. I just think there's not like a culture of doing it. I mean, there are like... There are things like this. There's like cat cafes. There's a bunch of those here in LA. Um, <laughs> look at them. Look at them. Those Cute. eyes. All right. You're not so hot on the birds? How about little baby deer? Aww. I mean, deer. Okay. I mean, oh, deer are everywhere. Deer. I wonder where deer are born. Are, are, are there deer everywhere that will just hang out around tons of people? and have? It is kind of interesting how they're so cool they're with being yeah. like, hey, Bill. no, in Japan, like in America, they'd be like, don't touch, get away. Mm hmm. But here Japan, in Japan, they're like, uh, these are Buddhist. Um, let's Buddhist fuck with deer. the deer. These deer live on cookies or what? <laughs> what do you just give them? Yeah, this is a park and they have little stands where you can buy crackers to feed them and stuff like that. Oh, these deer probably have the best life ever. People yeah, just feed them all up. day. All right, but you know, cute, petting cute animals, that's fun and all. Maybe not your thing. What about? All of the beautiful sights that you can see. Look at this. <laughs> Those will not be blooming. Okay, well, you know, you get the idea, right? I'm just be being like, honest. Well, Japanese gardens to take strolls through and uh, connect with your uh, inner self. Okay, that's cool and all, but what mm. about the weave shit? Mm. <laughs> Fuck yeah, baby. What about the I'm weave in. shit? Get off all of this, like, cute animals and, you know, tranquility <laughs> and shit. Okay, first of all, there's fucking Gundams just hanging around. Okay? A man's Lego, some would say. Yeah. All right. Okay. And it's just like 10 story tall, like giant <laughs> fighting robots. Here's one that moves. Where is it? In Tokyo. But like, what is where? Happening here? Uh, those big Gundams, I think, are actually in one of the very famous big shopping districts. It's just like outside one of the big malls. So just uh, a this public... is like some, uh, this is like some special installation that's, uh, that they did specifically to have this fucking... But it's in public? Uh, it is in public, yeah. Wow. Also, the Universal Studios in Tokyo has an entire Attack on Titan land. Can I see the ride? VR ride. <laughs> where, I mean, you can get rescued like, by Mikasa. Can you, uh, can you full screen the ride? Sure. Will they claim uh, it? That's oh, that's cool. I'm fucking in. Fuck that's pretty. Everyone. That's and it's like <laughs> moving around and you're in VR and like looks crazy. That right? is so cool. Yeah, that's crazy. Is there spoilers? Because the show hasn't finished yet. Probably. Uh, this seems to be something from like early on in the show. From what that I is, yeah. But okay, cool. Wow. Okay, next. There's a whole ass One Piece indoor amusement park. <laughs> really? <laughs> called Tokyo One Piece Tower. Yes. Let me see. God, if we went, we wouldn't know what to do first. 
if we went with someone would need to be in charge of itinerary. Oh yeah, we plan it all right. out, you know. I mean, honestly, since we're talking about spending big bucks, just hiring like a professional tour guide to mm -hmm. have somebody but do you want translate them with... and like That's true. That's true. They kind of help you. Yeah. I sometimes I know sometimes they're nice, but sometimes it's kind of a drag. I think because Randall, we would so. be a big group, it might be necessary cuz it's not like just me and you figuring it out. It's like you want to go to eat. It's not a big a group. Idea. Not a bad idea. Oops. Let me see this. So this is just some random video that I found of somebody What's inside? showing off some of the stuff. Well, they can't show the rides, apparently. I think they secure your phone or whatever, because I tried to find stuff they like that. They take your but phone? The fuck? I don't know. I couldn't find any videos on, like, rides. Mm. But anyways, you get mm -hmm. the idea. It's just a one-piece theme thing. Also... Whoa. The famous Let's Studio go. Ghibli, which I know that you're a huge fan of, has mm. their museum there. Uh. Would you like to get on the cat bus from <laughs> Totoro? Would you like to do that? Wow. I would like to do that. <laughs> and then, going along with the weeb theme, there's this whole, uh, I guess, neighborhood uh, called Akibara, uh, Akihabara? Akihabara. I think that's how it's said. Anyways, this is like this is like the nerd central. This is the place that has the twenty four seven uh, arcades that are constantly That'd going all mm -hmm. you know through the night and everything. And, uh, and dance dance. <laughs> Who's playing dance dance? There's tons. Uh, Allie will. DDR. Allie's a pro. Allie's a DDR pro. <laughs> is she? Yeah. <laughs> She's like stupidly good at it. Sega? Uh, no, but who cares about Sega? Well, oh. Sega is uh, still huge in the arcade scene. Mm. Most like they're I think one of the biggest if not the biggest but anyways it's just you know tons and tons of shops and arcades and fun stuff that you can do in this area so that's what's going on who are these guys uh Could yeah be... they also have um <laughs> anime made uh cafes where i go oh, ethan this could be us this could be this could be you me and, and the boy uh, also, you can uh, this I'm into. Mario Kart in oh, the street. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Oh, that's that needs danger. to happen. Well, it's like it's it's cordoned off or whatever. Uh, also, if we go, we can finally make a segment years in the making. Which one? <laughs> Karaoke Ooh. with the fucking oh. fine. <laughs> Zach, you know I'm right. Dan's winning all of us over too. Not just Ethan and Eli. Zach's okay. tossing bones to Zach, Zach and AB. Yeah. Yeah. The karaoke is crazy in Tokyo and stuff that they have there. Um, I mean, obviously, there's typical place where you get a room and they have cool ones where like the room is super themed and all kinds of stuff, fancy. Uh, and then they also have like public ones. And then they even have, uh, it's a pretty common thing to have live band karaoke there. <laughs> Where instead of wow. a karaoke machine, they have like a drummer and guitar player and just a bassist. Just for one group? Yeah, and they, and they just like, you know, they're just really talented musicians that can play pretty much anything. And you request a song and you can like sing with a band rather than with the karaoke machine. Okay. It'd be pretty epic. That is pretty interesting. All right, just a few more things. American YouTubers, you know, do not have the best reputation in All Japan. Right. Any no trips to Suicide Forest for us? <laughs> Well, that's the thing. I promise if we find it after we leave, yeah. we can redeem mm -hmm. the American YouTube space. <laughs> right, okay, fair. We got to do it for the old red, white, and blue. Everybody stand up. Everyone stand up right now. Stand up. Stand up. As the pilgrims, as representatives of this great nation, we promise to be respectful and represent ourselves well as we journey across the globe to our friends and allies, the nation of Japan. God bless Japan, and God bless the United States of America. Thank you very much. Right. And this last thing, this is the last thing. You can't get one-upped by this fucking loser. I'll tell you both what. How many of you guys want to go to Japan? How many of you? It's just me, Rage, Kyle. Okay, let's, I'll tell you what. I told, I told, I told, I told what. I know you guys are already rich and shit. Listen, here's what I'll do. Because I think Japan is a necessary uh, experience to have. It's a it's a beautiful country. So I'll send you, uh, I'll cover you guys' trip. Yo, we gotta go. Yeah, listen, I will get you guys. What do you mean you'll cover our trip? What, what do you mean by that? I, I mean, I, I, I got you this three first class you believe this? back. Who does he think he is? First class there and back. First class? I got you all sending a little juicer. <laughs> and, uh, you know what I'm saying? If you guys go for a week, 
I got you with the Ritz Carlton. Ritz Carlton? He's such That's a cool. fucking oh, douche, though. It's like, what? it's like easy know. for you, bro. Know. Like, you're not going to listen to him. He's so gross. Right and there's no strings Disgusting. Just the He's like, look how generous I am. I get $100 million a month for selling gambling. You need to show him what generosity is. Because I'm not as rich as him. I don't have to spend that money. Yeah. You know, who is that? Money. That's train wreck. No. That's train wreck. Yeah, yeah. Damn. It's uh, the name is short for his <laughs> his moral uh, right. fortitude. So thank you for listening, and I'll see you. In <laughs> okay, now once again, I need to I need to nudge you a bit mm -hmm. on uh, estimation. Right. Okay, so I admittedly haven't done a full budget well, breakdown that's yet okay. because it's kind of ambiguous what we'd even want to mm -hmm. do or whatever. I mean, realistically. Taking a group of what, like 12 to 13 around ish people mm -hmm. to Japan for a week, putting them in a nice place. Nice it's going to be expensive. Up. I mean, it, this is bougie. I, I, I would expect this to probably wind up costing 150. 150? That's a lot. Oh, by the way, that's totally fine with me. Right. I'm you said, you said sky's the limit and you yeah, don't care. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so I'm just. That's rough, rough in my head. I know. will say that was a fantastic, yeah, mm, fantastic presentation. Okay, okay. <laughs> Very good. I, I'm only thinking again. My only reservation here is, let's say we do bring the nanny, mm -hmm. and we bring both boys, mm -hmm. <clears throat> like all day long. Are they just going to be it? Like, what are they going to do? That's a problem. Or we leave them with your parents for 10 days the help our help plus the parents you think they'd be okay for that long the kids we've never been away from them that long people do that right i mean people do that i mean i'm you know what I, I i don't feel right weighing in on that at all but, I, but yeah, I, mean, I think that parents. bringing them would be kind of a nightmare and yeah. it's actually the reason i'm not going this year to israel is because i feel like bruce is not ready for such a long flight mm -hmm. it can be pretty difficult right at certain situations, like that what, one did restaurant. You see, did you see the mute? The, when yeah, we yeah, yeah, we yeah, tried yeah. to go to a restaurant, it was the, a nightmare. Like we barely made it. <laughs> did you see the baby mute though? There, there right. Mute really. Right. Yeah. So, I think if we do want to actually consider it, more likely if we keep them at home. So we keep them at home, and then I just it's like, can we be away from the kids for that long? Maybe a week. I don't know. That's a, a long week. Time. I mean, people do that. Do they? Yeah. For the trip, uh, I'm commenting on the the length of the trip. We could still have a lot Ethan of fun. Because Ethan told me the the big thing for him is just figuring out what to do with the kids, and I agree. And to me, bringing them would be a nightmare. Because I want to be able to go to those fashion places and just be bring gone them, yeah, yeah. Not, not for the really, whole. If I bring yeah. them, it's all about them. Right. I get to do nothing for me. So I wouldn't want to do that. Ah, uh, I'm just gonna throw this out. There, or well, you um, don't have to decide right now. <laughs> but but we, we could. We could do Japan and mine as well. Just saying, just gonna throw it out there. <laughs> as much as I would love to be, it is just one. <laughs> or, you know, we could stay home and you share the love. Zach, hell no, I'm not staying home. <laughs> this guy doesn't leave the house. Give me a reason to do something. That was very good, Dan. Very persuasive. Thank you, thank you. Honestly, if I, if in my mind I can like accept being away from the kids that long, Theoretically, I think that, would that be super if we fun. go away for like a week, I think that's totally fine. But then what? That's two days flying. I've so never been away from days. them, but I think it's only five full days. That's a lot. Is that enough, Dan? Five full days? When have we had recently anywhere, five yeah. full days anywhere? <laughs> it'll take what he could get. But you're going to fly all the way to Japan for five days? Damn. All right, who's next? I can go next. Sam, this is oh. Sam's, the uh, fabled ranch visit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, it's not the oh. ranch. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, well. okay. You don't want to talk about the ranch? <laughs> no. <laughs> Nobody no, wants no, to talk no, about 9-11. No. <laughs> she decked out. You look incredible. I Hell like yeah. Bahamas, Sam. <laughs> Woo! Give us a twirl. You know I like the Bahamas. <laughs> I've been wanting to go there. All right, you guys. Japan, I like, it's cool, whatever, but mm. the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. ne next slide. Let's get the next slide. Let's get you this going. You are fully in control yourself. Hit the uh, oh. arrow keys on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, okay. It's fun. It's bougie. It's beautiful. 
This resort has a casino. That's cool. It's that relaxing cool. and it's quick to get there. You connect in Atlanta. It's three and a half Wait, hour we flight. Fly, we can't fly straight there. No, you can't. You can't really fly straight to That's Nassau annoying. from anywhere, but it's fine. Three and a half hours to Atlanta, then an hour layover. Oh. Then hour and a half. It's fine. It's like a a twenty four hour flight to Japan. No, it's like eleven. That's so half. long. That's your whole day. That sounds like all right. About this Hold on one sec, Sam. Oh, How layover. much is a first class ticket to from LA to Japan? And uh, it's gonna be less. In June. Or it's gonna be more expensive than the Bahamas. I'll tell you no, that. I'm, yeah. well, of course. First I'm class. just curious because uh, we'd obviously have to go first class to Japan. Obviously. You'll see in my price uh, spring. Right? That's not obvious at all. <laughs> but sure, yeah, obviously. You're asking obviously. in June? <laughs> yeah, like the end of June. Mm, yeah. uh, we're also, looking, for first class, we're looking around 16K to 20K. <laughs> what? For one ticket? ticket? That's more than, way more than I thought. Wait, what? Oh my God. Ticket. I thought you were say like five grand. Yeah. 16,000? <laughs> Staying home sounds pretty good. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Here, you got June 25th, let's say, till. Uh, That's July. Ethan's birthday. That's we would all be right? celebrating his birthday. Oh, uh, yeah, $15,000, 400. 15. That is insane. What's happening, What's happening Wait, did you mean I to say 1500 and not 15, 000? 000. No, no, it's 15000 okay. 15, okay, I got it. Yeah, I did have a little stroke. How much is a normal <laughs> ticket? Why wrong? Normal, oh, ticket? A normal ticket? That one's probably like 1000 I would guess. $15,000? Economy, economy is 1600 There you go. <gasps> wow. It's a long flight. Yeah. I guess we're going coach, baby. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> if we paid that... That'd be like the whole budget of the trip if we all got first class. I don't. Sorry, yeah. Sam. Go ahead. My first class. But yeah, this isn't about Japan. This is about the Bahamas. This is about the Bahamas. This is about the yeah. Bahamas. Yeah. It's a I, great I place for a group of homies, which is us. <laughs> uh, amazing food, and it's super Instagrammable. Great mm -hmm. content. You can get fits off left and right here. Okay. Yes. Hold on. Okay. Is there a difference between business and first class if you fly to Japan? <laughs> Business is five thousand dollars. Okay. Okay. Well, five, well sorry, five thousand to eight thousand. Hmm. I don't know what's the difference there. Go ahead, Sam. <laughs> okay. Thick resort alert. Uh, I have stayed at this resort before. Oh. It's incredible. It is very bougie. It has a water park, several adult-only pools, so you don't have to deal with kids. Casino. Private beach, mini golf course, luxury spa, tons of shopping. It's literally like Rodeo Drive on a beautiful island. Mm. Nightclubs, 27 restaurants, coffee bars, poolside bars. This is bars, all the resort? Trucks. 27 restaurants? That, yes. What the fuck? I'm telling what? you, it's sick. Uh, and a tropical bird sanctuary for Cam. <laughs> <laughs> you're surrounded by some blue ass water. <laughs> okay. What more could you want? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Not a lot more than that. Yeah, there's literally nothing else. That's everything. Ethan and Hila, you guys deserve your own villa. Mm. It's a three, it's a three bedroom villa that has 24-7 butler service, 24-7 room service, Bottega Veneta linens, what? robes, and slippers. God damn. What? Right? Hold the okay. phone. Where are you guys staying? Oh, I'll, I'll get there. Uh -huh. okay. I'll get there. Okay. All right. Because it's sick too. Okay. Uh, private pool, sitting area, rooftop patio. It's a perfect a place. A private pool? Yes. A private pool. It's wild. the perfect place what? <laughs> for the nanny and the kids to have downtime. The nanny and the Just kids saying. to have downtime. Yeah, it's three bedrooms, so you guys can right. have one, nanny can have one, and the kids can have one. Mm -hmm. Unless they share one with you, then mm -hmm. that's fine too. Right. And then. The crew can stay here. It's just the six bedroom version. <laughs> okay, good. I wanted to make sure that And you guys... it has six baths. <laughs> so, I mean, come on. Can I, what are the prices on these? This villa is $18,000 a night. That's <laughs> but we're all staying there. Wow. Right. But it's right. for everyone. Right. And then yours was like 10. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so 28,000 a night. Look. <laughs> yeah, but How many nights just are you wait. Thinking? Six. <laughs> we're going for well. We're going for a week, okay. right? Okay. Wait. Eighteen thousand a night. Now, if if you guys were all to get separate rooms, and well, there's couples, so there there'd be to be like seven rooms. Right. 
And if we're staying at a nice hotel, it's going to run at least a thousand a night. Right? For a nice hotel room. Uh, where? Yeah, I guess something like I'm just that. thinking, like, how much is it going to cost us? No matter where we go, to get mm. everyone a nice hotel room. Well, right. so yeah. I'll, I'll, I have a chart that can, that would be a good breakdown for that. Okay. Okay. More on the resort. It's a celeb zone. Celebrities mm. are spotted here all the time, so you know it's bad and bougie. Even mm -hmm. The Bachelor and Real Housewives. Yep. This I've is seen when them they there. were, they were just there. Mm. Even Zach's terrible season, they shot there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, Love possible excursion. Aww. We can go swim with pigs. So <laughs> cute. We can have a private boat oh, that's take like us cheating. to Pig <laughs> Island, <laughs> and we can swim with them. Look at pig cafe in Japan. Look at how... <laughs> this place does look pretty uh, yeah, idyllic. Yeah, pretty epic. It is perfect. Is it dog friendly? Oh, wait, I can't bring no, them. No, oh, stop. We're trying to I vacation. mean, I don't know. It would probably be pricey probably to bring them out of the no, country. No, we I'm are assuming. not bringing dogs. Yeah, right. bad idea. <laughs> okay, here's the cost breakdown. See, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, Balling on a budget. Go ahead. So, <coughs> we could do this trip, and we could be balling and having a great time for about 68k. Mm. How do you figure? That's for that is if we didn't do the villas. Okay. That's if we got the nicest hotel rooms okay, they okay, have okay, in the I resort. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's seven rooms at for six nights. And how much is it per night for the rooms? Um, I think this one was based off of like an eight or nine hundred dollar room. I can't remember. I'll, okay, I'll okay. Have to, I'll that's have to that's look. a lot more reasonable, certainly. Yeah. Um, and then food, uh, food's expensive there, just no because. Problem. Um, but I looked at uh, past receipts from when <laughs> we went, and I did like a sort of a per couple breakdown, about two fifty a day per Dude, couple. Dude, I'm loving day. the mate. The the details here. Yeah, it's awesome. Options. Mm -hmm. And then the excursion is only, I mean, only, but it's 3,800 bucks because it's about oh, yeah. 299 per person. That's just to kick it with pigs. Yeah. <laughs> it's more than kicking it with pigs. <laughs> it's swimming with pigs. And uh, yeah, so flights, uh, that is for if we all flew like comfort. Um, so yeah. What's comfort? Or I, I guess on Delta, it's like behind first class. There's like there's just like a main, little, a little bit comfort. nicer. Yeah, yeah. It's just like a slightly better seat. Okay. Then if we want to do absolute juicer mode, we could do it. Juicer. We could blow it out for two hundred and thirteen thousand. <laughs> so break that down. So flights, that's if we all flew first. It would be about twenty seven or sorry, I can't 26? see. Twenty six? Twenty twenty six, so, twenty seven so or so. It's actually only like a little over double the price of the normal flights. Yeah. Really? Okay. It's a lot more reasonable than Japan. Uh, Psychos. The hotel, if we did both of those villas, it would be 160000 That seems a bit excessive. <laughs> oh, The yeah. first class I mean, sounds uh -huh. good to me, though. Yeah. Food, um, it would be pretty much the same. I added a little, just, you know, give or take. I and will then, say, I don't see a location like this being needed for six nights to stay there. Right? If we did go to somewhere like this. It would be nice. I mean, six six days would make a lot more sense with the kids. To me, I mean, we can just go and really just not worry about the fam. We could all hang out, go to the casino, eat at all these restaurants. It sounds great. Wake up, do it again. I don't think there's enough to do in a place like that for there's, six nights. There is. There's so much to do. Just follow Sam's lead. Either. I mean, I, that, you know, that's just me. If you like the beach, there's definitely like <laughs> there's so much to do. But there's also like options for excursions. I put like if we all did massages, if we swam with pigs, if we went snorkeling, if we went on a jet ski trip, you could rent boats, you could play golf, mini golf. There's like so much other things to do. So that's if we went. So I you would know, say juicer mode. I'm cool with the ultimate juicer mode probably makes more sense to just get us like nice individual hotels rooms. And that's and that's cool. That's, but otherwise everything else on the absolute juicer mode I'm totally down for. <laughs> awesome. So if you consider that where you would just be essentially if you if you're reducing 160 the hotel be 40 instead of 160 so it's minus 120. Yeah, I mean, it's Jesus. expensive. <laughs> Then it's all under a hundred thousand. There's also um, I did that based off of like an eight or nine hundred dollar room. I think there was rooms that were like a thousand, eleven hundred. 
I think 1100 was the most expensive that I saw. Some people are saying we can get a private jet for 50k. Oh, that's mm. still double. Yeah, I mean. First class. Also, per we would probably still have to connect because it's a small plane. I doubt it could so. fly mm. straight to Nassau. Direct would be fucking baller. Yeah. But also, bad private jets are bad vibes, right? We don't like those. If I wrote, yeah. if I write coach, could I keep the difference? <laughs> you all write first class? Now oh, you're thinking, AB. Now. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah. All right. That's it. Yeah, you can keep the difference. So we'll put that we'll put that around a hundred thousand. Like oh, like the it, uh, yeah. With with the normal rooms, mm -hmm. that's adding like an extra twenty just for whatever. Yeah. An extra twenty I'll give everyone for gambling. Everyone gets like two k yeah. to gamble with. Vibes. So then that's like a hundred thousand. Yeah, they okay. also have a Rolex store, Zach. I mean, if Ethan wants to buy me a Rolex with my <laughs> share, I don't have to go on this trip, you know. Zach says, buy me a Rolex. I don't want to go buy me a Rolex. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> I'm easy, man. Well, theoretically, how much is a new Rolex? Because it's about, it comes out to about 12000 or, well. Depending on the watch. But, you know, or I could just have the cash, you know, and pick it out myself. My old boss used to say, no show, no dough. Meaning if you skip the Christmas party, no bonus. <laughs> Zach has made his intentions very clear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sam, I, I thought that was very persuasive. All right. Thank you. I love you the go, Bahamas. Sam. Yeah, me too. I Good love day. the Bahamas. It's a lot less complicated, I'll tell you that. Get up there. You weren't. All right. Oh, okay. We're going to let Love go next. For six days. Here. Um, like I said, personally, I don't think there's enough to do there for six nights. So, where, how long would you want to go for? A place like this, I would do three. Three? That's not long enough. I think you kind of get tired of like the beach, okay, Three whatever. full days. Yeah, three full days. So it'd be one, two, three. Well, she was saying six nights. That's technically like oh, seven no. days. So when you arrive, that doesn't count as a full day. No. So it'd be, you arrive, one, two, three, you leave the next day. So it'd be five nights. That's considered four nights if you're doing five days. It is? Mm hmm Arrive, one, two, three. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Four nights. Four nights? Is that too little, Sam? Um, That's three full days? We could do, we could do four. How, what if we just compromise and add another day? I'm just, I'm not saying one way or the other. I'm not saying that I want to do this. Gila's one. afraid that six. That was just one feedback point that I had. Well, let's talk it out because we have to decide today. We are deciding today? We have to, yeah. Okay, I honestly... And like the true, very, very true. Mm -hmm. I think Japan is like way cooler. So hard to follow up Japan. But that looks like a trip I would want to do. The one that Sam pro proposed. But it's not like up here. I like Sam's trip. That's more my speed. Thank but you. I see we have, we're having a conflict here. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead, love. Dan is switching right. for you. Um, I don't know. Just, just tell me when you want next slide. All right, all right, all right. So I am getting a little bit worried that you guys are like uh, going back and forth about like ten thousand, twenty thousand, because this is a juicer magusu. We're gonna almost <laughs> blow our budget here. Listen, okay? no, I'm, there's no budget. It's just mm -hmm. when I see that, it just feels silly to spend forty thousand dollars a night when okay. we can get our own hotel rooms. It's just not that much better. Go right. ahead, love. Sky's right, the right, limit. Right. Okay, well, that's great to hear. Cause <laughs> we're renting a fucking juicer yacht for a week. Um, a juicer yacht, like a big, big 200 foot yacht. This is possible. Uh, all right, so let's go to the next uh, page here. So let's start off with some quick facts, right? Luxury accommodations. Uh, we're talking like, like top 0.0.01% luxury accommodations. Not, not anything like those hotel rooms, butlers, whatever. We're going to have a 30-man 30 cr 30 crew ju <laughs> juicing, helping us. Uh, and we'll get in more into the crew later. I have to tell you, love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've been watching. I've seen yeah, every Below single Deck. episode yeah. of Below Deck. I just yeah. started mm -hmm. it. Every single one. 
I know. And I know what goes on below deck, my friend. <laughs> well, that's that's none of us our business. Well, it is when All the right. chef doesn't show up, and then like uh, the 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 junior deckhand ends up like uh, throwing some ground beef together and serving that well, up. We'll, or we'll when the boat gets stuck in the dock, or when the engine doesn't yeah. work. That won't happen to us, okay? <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, exclusivity and privacy. That's obviously. Uh, comes with it we're not going to share uh, our space with no um <laughs> peasants uh there will be just Broke us asses. does Dumb everyone asses. get their own room on this yacht yes wow. uh, absolutely wow. if we if we choose to go the bolder ones we can take a smaller yacht if you if you would feel more comfortable with that but yeah we can make it possible uh next up customized experience um I know for a fact that all the crew are very different in, in, in what they want to do. We have seen these, uh, this on like the presentations, everyone's different. So we can make a very tailored experience for each crew member and uh, yeah. Um, unmatched scenery for obvious reasons. Access remote uh, locations. We can come, we can go to places that people don't go otherwise. Like what? Uh, like um, a hidden beach okay. that you can only get to with a big boat. Okay. Or like, yeah, stuff like that. Um, we can do like flicks. We kind of cover that. Choice of onboard activity, kind of cover that. We can do like fishing, diving, all that kind of stuff. Whatever, whatever, like money, money can buy. Uh, okay, professional crew, including nannies. Now, uh, we'll get more. more I'm not that running later. the damn yacht crew. Watching exactly, the that's my point. Yeah, Fuck yeah. That. Uh, round those, of, round those, those people are are degenerates. I tell you, man, in that show. All I right, well. It. That's great because I, I have a I have a fix for that too. Uh, round the clock service, yada yada, unforgettable memories, yada yada. Next slide, please. Uh, we can recreate some pretty memorable uh, moments in meme history here. Obviously, uh, first pictures from with a video of you and Idubs uh, copying uh, the suck. Uh, we can do that. That's just funny meme stuff. Nothing special. Obviously, Elon Musk. Uh, weird. Um, body, whatever. <laughs> next, next up, uh, kind of cost breakdown. Uh, as you guys can see, there's a wide range. You, of, you spent uh, all the money. <laughs> <laughs> you spent every that single cent. Yeah, Jesus, well, man. we can't even go aboard, it, like over the budget. No. Okay. okay, okay. Go ahead, break it down. Well, three hundred to five hundred thousand for the yacht. Now, uh, depending on what kind of a juicer yacht we get, obviously, if we spend five hundred thousand on the yacht. We won't be able to do the the other stuff as well as juicy. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. So, <laughs> if you spend right. five hundred thousand on the yacht, it doesn't include food and beverages. And it crew it and does. Staff? It does. It, it's a it's a charter, so it will. So so we wouldn't be paying separately for that stuff. No, Unless but I'm saying we can. For, we can. Yeah. We can like order like fucking a whole ass Wagyu cow on the boat. We can we can really <laughs> juice it up. We can really juice it up and all that stuff. The goal is uh, not to spend every single dollar. Well, I, I do think you well, said there was no budget. There isn't. Yeah. No, I did, I did. So. But I more feel. money, more memorable. More money, more memories. <laughs> more, yeah. yeah. More money, more memories, like they always say. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, break um, it down. So food and beverage, like we can go crazy, right? Like the sky's the limit. We can order. We could order Chick Fil A, and like we could order <laughs> Chick Fil A kitchen. Like we could like could do shit like that. Weird, <laughs> crazy shit. I'm ordering like. Chicken. So we're getting a half a million dollar yacht, and then we're gonna eat Chick Fil A. Yeah. For fifty thousand dollars. Right. Yep. 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 <laughs> I mean, right. my point is to prove that the sky is sky is the limit. Mm -hmm. You can do a lot of shit with all, all this money. Water toys and equipment. You can rent uh, fucking uh, water skis, um, yet pa water yet packs. They should have uh, all that. Yeah, I think oh, it comes with um, it. It should um, all be on the yeah. boat, right? It does come with a lot of juicer stuff, but you can go <laughs> beyond. That is the whole point of this thing. Like, you can really cram out of every single penny. You can get more. You could get like a submarine. You can rent a little, little one man That's submarine. Actually, a submarine That's really is kind cool. of fucking dope. Yeah. yeah, one of those in GTAs where there's like a big Wait, bubble. Can we really rent a submarine? Uh, yeah, of course. I haven't looked into that specifically. Yeah, that but seems questionable. It sounded like Theodore. <laughs> Theodore started saying that. Yeah, I, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to get a submarine. That'd be fucking you, you, fire. I know for a fact you can, but it's true. It's probably going to be pricey, especially to get it to the you location. Probably yeah, need yeah. like. Mm -hmm. A driver right. and shit. Yes. 
I don't think they're <laughs> going to let me drive the sub. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyhow, I'm just pointing out you can do a lot of crazy stuff. Uh, entertainment, we can order like crazy stuff. Right? We can order our favorite singer, maybe. Or it, it would have to be like a B tier <laughs> celebrity, yeah. like celebrity singer, not A tier, obviously. No. Um, yeah, B tier. Um, like whatever. Maybe like a vanilla ice. Yeah, maybe something like that. Yeah. They'll do it for five hundred yeah. bucks, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, crew and staff. This crew and staff is not uh, the actual crew. This is like above the. <laughs> yacht staff so this is like nannies extra cook like you can order celebrity cook maybe <laughs> um travel to yacht i just put 20k i figured that'd be possible 20k i don't know total is the goal like you you, you can kind of change like cheaper yacht like more expensive food what about what about yada 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 next slide please um, so I got a couple um, examples of Serenity, yachts. Wait, Serenity is that for the one of the ones from Below Deck? Oh, that sounds familiar. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe these are juicer yachts, though. This is the top of the line. Um, so we got Lucky Lady, Icon, and Serenity. Let's go to the first slide here. So this is one of the cheaper ones. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so as you guys can see, Lucky Lady Yacht. Uh, it says add your subtitles here. Um, <laughs> right. Price three hundred seventy k a week. Now, if we're doing this, would you guys be down to be just be on below deck? The show. <laughs> That'd be funny. Like the Titanic workers. That'd be crazy. That'd probably right? be cheaper. They so gotta give a discount a for that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but like, just look at the image here to the right. Like, what an insane hangout area. Just kicking back here after a night of full, 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 of, or after a day of full of activities. Eating good, maybe some Popeyes, whatever like that. Yeah. Uh, no right, Popeyes, so, bro. Uh, yeah, Popeyes, dude. That's in the budget. It's accounted for. It's not. Uh, <laughs> that's not the point. <laughs> oh shit! All right, no Popeyes, I guess. <laughs> Two hundred th th uh, three foot long. That's kind of like a juicer. Uh, this specific <laughs> one has ten sleeping. Uh, I don't know. I sl I'll sleep wherever. You guys take the. Rooms. Well, uh, no. If we're if there's three or f there's, this is three this couples. Is, mm -hmm. Then we would we would only need like yeah that'd fit us all. Everyone would get their okay, own. Okay. Well, there you go. Fifteen crew. That's kind of on the lower end, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> waterfall. This specific one has a waterfall jacuzzi with overflow, wadding pool, whatever that means. Massive sun deck. Yada yada. Yep. Juicer. Next up. Discrete uh, areas. What are they implying? <laughs> oh well. <laughs> And that's up to you, my friend. Grandpa's feeling a little frisky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And these are all pictures from the yacht. Uh, like insane hangout areas. Just look at the, the left bottom one. Wow. Just wow. It's, uh, my <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's insane. Like, it's crazy. And uh, bottom right, we got some uh, activities. We got a, uh, yeah, whatever. Cool stuff. Next up. Uh, similar, yeah, five hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> it's a little bit more expensive. Uh, Fourteen sleeping, um, eighteen crew. We're getting up there. Uh, impressive beach club with gym. Oh, you know what else? I ha I'm supposed to leave a twenty percent tip in mm. cash for these fucking people. Yeah. No. So that well, would that would be a hundred thousand really? dollars of cash. <laughs> that's well, crazy. Even though they're not American, because that's like an American thing. I Based on what I've seen in Below Deck, you gotta t you have to tip the crew like twenty percent. Because they like Fuck. work on tips. Like I, I don't think they get paid <laughs> really? much. That's from... fucked up. Yeah. That's like slavery. No, it's uh -huh. it's crazy. Yeah. Dude. Okay. Well, we'll at we'll the have end of every episode, they give them a fat fucking yeah. envelope full of cash. And then they go Jeez. over how much they. Got. Then they go back and judge you. <laughs> oh my. Well, we got like an infinity pool on a boat in the ocean, dude. Massage room, cinema room. Sheesh. <laughs> Next up, uh, this is just a video. I guess we can like. Uh, just look through it a little bit. Yeah. Just click through the video a little bit. Random spots. I don't know if anyone is here, or, or not. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Dan just, is on it. Oh, there's no. Oh, look, just look water. at this beauty. Modern, uh, Swedish minimalism. Maybe I don't know. Taste um, the look at this. Look at this stuff. Wow. Uh, that's like better than a average hotel. Mm -hmm. And like this shit with a mini fridge. Like, you'll have like a ba massive kitchen. You can get all that juice. Uh, from there so no mini fridges next up 
Uh, that's just some pictures. Next up. Uh, next up. This is the big juicer boat. This is one that I think we would settle on. <laughs> that's the, the one, same uh, price. Yeah, it's a, yeah, but this 30 one is crew bigger. members. Yeah, this is a good deal. This is a good deal. <laughs> this yeah, one sleeps 28. <laughs> 28? What is, wow. what is this? Yeah. What, 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 what's on this? An army? Like a military? I don't know. I don't know. We can invite friends and, uh, friends and family, stuff like that. 28? You know, I'm uh, this whole trip, it's not really that party. I mean, it could be like a massive juicer drinker party, but I kind of see it like a fun, just hang out, uh, family, whatever, get together. So this is for the kids. Like, kids can come along. Whatever, That's yada, true. Yada. That is actually a good benefit. It would be fun to bring the kids on this. That's yeah, true. and I'll get into that more in the more later. Spacious Sunday, cloud jacuzzi, yada yada, air conditioner. I don't know why that is in there. It's kind of like okay. Uh, next up, uh, okay, here we're getting to the child friendly part. Uh, so literally infinite amount of activities: swimming, water games, fishing, marine life encounters, uh, treasure hunts. Um, treasure it's hunts. Set on the pit. It said on the page that the crew and you guys have a other different view of the crew, I guess, on there. Uh, but they, they they are down to do like treasure hunter games for the kids. And, oh, okay, like, for the kids. Yeah, the, yeah, and they'll set up things for the kids specifically. There okay. are they're apparently trained to work with kids. A lot of them, stargazing, movie nights, be beach excursions uh, with nanny and trained yacht personnel, arts and crafts. You know, just for the kids, fun stuff, fun stuff. The stargazing uh, would be epic out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and here's some more, more like I guess advanced stuff for the kids or the family, basically. Educational activities, yada yada, beach excursions. That, like they they bring stuff, they put up like a whole tent. Yeah, I've seen stuff. that. They hate doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they, they'll do it. They'll do it. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> the right no. amount. Of, yeah, they island hopping. Hate. That's honestly like it says for the kids, but this is basically for. I, I think all of this stuff would be awesome. Island hopping, exploring different kind of environments. If I'm paying five hundred thousand dollars, I'm not stepping foot in that local town. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> that I'll local on town. That boat every second. No, no, all right, fair enough. But the thing is, that local town could be any town that you want. So, it could be a cool town, maybe. Who knows? Um, activities yeah. for us, more specifically. Um, this is gonna. We can go to the next slide. Um, spa and wellness you know relaxing there's going to be st spa people on there whatever doing whatever I'm scuba diving snorkeling time, five already dude can mm -hmm. uh she stay later yeah but even we're staying later all right let's how many I'll more do we have up. just oh three more. more we have cameron <laughs> and i'm sorry three more three more I can race through this pretty fast here. Go right ahead, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Mine's pretty Spa, short too. scuba, water games, you know, all the fun <laughs> stuff. Visit local city, uh, rent super cars, fancy restaurants can be set up by the crew, yada, yada, food, 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 exploring, relaxing. Next. Uh, yacht crew <laughs> plus nannies. This is the thing. As you guys, as you guys can see on the top, that's the boat crew and that's the crew. Uh, right. Uh, nanny. <laughs> so I figured we, you guys would bring your nannies or um, whatever you guys have set up already. I'm yes. sure they would love to be on the boat. Yes. Um, uh, crew costs there. That's included. Uh, yacht crews are trained in all the like a bunch of stuff. Food. Next slide. No. So no, <laughs> no, 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 no. This, by the way, courtesy of Ryan or Ka uh, Ryan or Harvey, uh, helping me oh. with some photoshops here. Shout out. Uh, you guys can see we've got some chick fil we've got some French hot dogs, brisket, all that good stuff. Um, all different flavors. All different flavors. A yacht food, we can go to the next slide. Uh, they have cooks, and if you guys don't prefer the yacht cook, we buy a cook. We, like, bring a cook with <laughs> us. Uh, yacht crew delivery. See, they, they can deliver shit, I read. They can go into the town, buy Chick-fil-A, pop... Uh, <laughs> never mind, you guys don't like that. Excursion, <laughs> grilling, can, can juice it up on the beach and all that shit. All love. Uh, next up, go anywhere. So this is the kind of the good part with my mine, I think. I am not suggesting a place that is all in your hands. We can go anywhere in the world, so we can go to the next slide. Is that uh, true? Because from what I've seen, Almost. you go to where the the yacht is located, and then yeah. you stay in that area. Mm -hmm. But you, you can. there's yachts all over the world that we can shark. Yeah. So pretty much. So Greek islands, this is one of my favorites. I love Greek, Greek, uh, Greece. I've been there once. Very beautiful, very pretty. Next mm -hmm. up, uh, Caribbean. You know, never oh, been yeah, there. Oh, yeah, let's be fucking pirates. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Italian coast, that's pretty cool. Or mm -hmm. the North Pole, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Why not? <laughs> Obviously, it would change the activities a little bit, but uh, pretty cool. You can do it. 
That's wow. it. All Very right. much okay. money. I do appreciate the uh, effort to spend every single dollar. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Definitely the most expensive one. Yes, sir. So thank you for that. Here comes Olivia. Olivia. Which way are you? He's in front of you. Yeah. Wait, come here. Yeah. Come and go. All right. We are cruising, baby. Got some dead air, but that's all good. <laughs> hey, so guys. Hey, how are Hi. we feeling? All right, Olivia is setting okay. up her PowerPoint. We've got dollar bills in the picture. <laughs> hmm? Where are we going? What Olivia wants to do with 620K. Mm -hmm. I thought about a, little, a lot of different places. I looked up how do I stay in a castle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot of new things. Mm -hmm. Like there are a lot of whales in Alaska, which I didn't <laughs> know. I was thinking about a cruise to Alaska. Mm. That really threw me off. <laughs> so in all that thinking and learning, I think that I found the place you can stay in the bachelor mansion yourself for seven thousand five hundred dollars a night on airbnb That's cheap as fuck. i know right so you'll see what but what else i've got place in calabasas what i'll drive there yeah you'll see what else i've got <laughs> sam you gotta love that bachelor manor i do love it i'll save my thoughts for after okay okay, okay. okay. That's fair. <laughs> Bachelor Mansion, Agora Hills, California. Oh, it's in Agora. Bro, I can walk <laughs> here. Yeah. This is great. It's literally so beautiful. <laughs> Zach, it it pleases your need to stay home. I, That's true. I, this is very fair. I like this. Awesome. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Private chef. That would be mm -hmm. sick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then I got an idea. Have you guys ever heard of LARPing? Yes, I've, yeah. Live action role playing is what LARPing <laughs> is. A live action role playing game is a form of role playing game where the participants physically portray their characters. The players pursue goals within a fictional setting represented by real world environments while interacting with each other in character. Mock employee rose ceremony. Oh my god. Tonight. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. And it doesn't even have to be roses, it could be something else. We could have, will you accept this? So does someone have to leave? No, no, no. It's just like, you know, when someone gets the date rose. Yeah. It'll be like every night. It'll be like that. But we'll we'll all dress up, and it'll be like a rose ceremony. It's just for funsies. Yeah, for funsies. Okay. Larping. We'd be larping, right? I yeah. Guess. Yeah. So Ela, <laughs> a different look for each rose ceremony. Like, are you mm -hmm. kidding me? Mm -hmm. Try not to say mother challenge. Ela loves that. Impossible. <laughs> look at her on the carpet. She looks so good. <laughs> <laughs> that leftover dough, maybe we commission Chris Harrison. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we yes, pull him out of retirement. Yeah. <laughs> but I was we I was, get him for cheap. Yeah, I was thinking maybe the chat will have some problems with that. So an alternate unproblematic host. This is Mr. Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> Mark Wahlberg I love yeah. Mark, Wahlberg. <laughs> Mark Wahlberg. Wait, wait. Which one did Mark Wahlberg host? Uh, like Temptation the, Island. Yeah, right. Temptation he's Island. an empath, he, he's, so he's a great he's host. Dollar <laughs> for, uh... He's perfect. I follow him on Twitter. He's incredible. Oh, okay. Isn't he Mark L. Wahlberg? Yeah. Isn't that what he goes by? Yeah, that's what he goes by. <laughs> I made sure that I included all of that. So yeah, everyone... the L is there. Yeah. 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 Oh, there's another one. Did you guys know? There's another Mark Wahlberg. I did Who know knew? That, yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> um, that leftover leftover dough? <laughs> Birkins for everybody. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Thank <Birkin>. you. <laughs> So will you accept my rose? <laughs> Finn. Wow. Wait, so give me an estimate. I oh, hit it with like... Are you sure? 7,500 a night? 7,500 a night. Well, I want to include like private chef. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, Day I mean, it, it couldn't go over like 100K, right? No. no. Yeah. We could do 100 for that. So, yeah, that's my pitch. But there's no travel either. Right. I mean, we just drive there. We could carpool if we I wanted could, to. I could, everyone could get a limousine. I'll send them and pick you up. Oh, helicopter. <laughs> helicopter. helicopter. <pad. laughs> oh, maybe. Think about it. Oh, I don't know. Kobe, that's a rest in peace. Like... Yes, I retract my statement. Didn't he die like yeah. the end of Argora? It, just, it was yeah, right there, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, it was on. This presentation's all about good vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to say it was on mine and Lena's wedding day. 
Really? Well, we were on the way to our wedding, and they're just like, Kobe was died. Was it that long ago? April 20. Uh, what? Yeah. Or, it was January of Sorry, 20. January 2020, yeah. Wait. He died on your guys' wedding day? Yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, my God. We didn't you know, know you guys go, back then? Yeah, that's what's so confusing. It doesn't seem like it was yeah. that long ago. Wow. So. Well, well done, Olivia. Bachelor Mansion, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. All right, Cam is coming up. So we have Cameron, and then who else do we have left? Lena, Lena and Ian. And Lena Ian. and Ian. Okay, okay, okay. I think most of these are short. Yeah. Luxury train. From Milan, M Milan to Swiss Alps. Hello, everybody. Uh, Hello. Wait, so how do I... How do we like play? Royal Tenenbaum. <laughs> uh, that's the vibes I was going for. So I got my... my uh, Euro trash outfit on right now just to get you in the mood. I like it. This one's for you, Lou. Hold on. Oh, no. Bagged, bag, dude. Bagged. All right. He didn't Me. go there. Sleep the Euro trash real quick. Oh. All right. <laughs> Smooth. Yep. All right. <laughs> All right. So, H3 Pod Squad takes a luxury train from Milan to the Swiss Alps. Mm -hmm. uh, the backstory to this is well, honestly, I just want to present a different option. Not, there has been a lot of European pitches right now and i've been listening to a lot of tyler the creators uh last last album uh call me if you get lost and on the sixth track hot wind blows dj drama shouts out we just landed in geneva it's in switzerland so i thought hey i'll, I'll do a switzerland pitch okay uh so i found this uh eight day excursion that's seven nights it's uh you take luxury trains through starting in milan and you uh go through sweden or i mean switzerland sorry uh for seven nights and what do you luxury. do in between there's like little extra like on the website there's little options and they you stop for a day and somewhere you exactly. go yeah and i think back. we can begin in italy and we can spend a little bit of time there if we want and mm -hmm. uh you know take in the sites there's a lot of like fashion it's, yeah. it's a fashion capital there's fun history. cool love it uh da vinci's last supper is there there's a lot of cool art uh some more views of the city i'm trying to blaze through this right now um yeah, this Beautiful. is the, oh, nice. Yeah, it's a nice historic city. You know, it's Italy, it's Europe. Uh, Italian food's good. Yes, it I'm is. Hungry all it sure time. is. Yeah. Uh, there's some pesto there if you want some pesto. You know, <laughs> oh, all no. kinds of good stuff. I don't know if it's served like that, but uh, I found this <laughs> picture online. I thought. It oh, tasty. dude, that's, that's no. Oh no, you didn't do Cameron, that. Cameron, come <laughs> on. <laughs> Oh I don't know God. if that's traditionally how the Italians serve it. But I don't uh, think so. Yeah, I, no, I could be no, mistaken. No, no. It's just a picture I found on Google. Um, <laughs> how dare you? You know, when we're in Italy, you can make play make-believe as the godfather <laughs> in real life. You know, that's always a fun time. <laughs> to me on the day of my uh, Italian trip. Uh, and then, honestly, I don't really know much about chat. Or I don't know about Milan, so I asked chat GBT for some uh, uh, okay, okay. tips, some fashion tips. Okay. Or some... Uh, Travel yeah. tips there. Good. If you want to read through this later, feel free. Sure, yeah. yeah okay. uh, and now look at the Swiss Alps adventure. Uh, <laughs> we're going to be traveling to Switzerland on a luxury train. I took this uh, picture from whatever that Wes Anderson movie <laughs> is. You know, life would be good. Hotel Budapest. Grand Budapest Hotel. Grand Thank Budapest Hotel. Uh, life would be so much better if every day was like a Ricola cough drop. I do love Ricolas. They got a beautiful Ricola. backdrop in these commercials, and I've always wanted to go. Okay. Uh, wow. So this is a view... Unable to play video. Air awesome. I love it. Uh, well, imagine how beautiful it would be. Um, <laughs> this is just the breakdown of itinerary. They, this uh, service I found covers the hotels and everything. It was all luxury stuff. It was about Oh, three. you stay in a hotel or you stay on the train? Yeah, so you hop on different trains um, and you stay at luxury hotels overnight. Mm. Okay. And you do some places you stay two nights in a row and stuff. I don't know. Okay. And then uh, the Swiss Alps just seem so incredible and sublime. We should try to be on the rails for once. Mm -hmm. On the rails. This is just a bunch of... Thank mm -hmm. you. And yeah, and the, the trip ends in Zurich, which is a very beautiful city. And uh, I'd like to go through there sometime. Sure. And that's it. Uh, it's a great, big, beautiful world out there. And I'm grateful to travel mm -hmm. anywhere with you all. Wow. Very nice. Honestly, these are all so fun. Like, each one of these would be an awesome trip to take. Yeah, I like the idea of the luxury train, but what threw me off is, like, getting off to go to a different hotel every time. This seems like a schlep. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. I just found the service. We could probably find other ones that stay on, a, like, a luxury train the whole time, but 
Thank you, Cameron. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Cost breakdown? I don't know. Okay. I'm not sure. Do you know how much one of those tickets cost? Uh, for the for the luxury train service, it was about three k ahead. Okay. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Well, we have to fly out to Europe. Right. Probably looking at. Maybe if I have to guess, like two hundred thousand. What? Do you think you less? Less for sure. Just because everybody needs to fly to Europe, I was. Yeah, that but that adds a lot. Yeah, no, I, I think it's under a hundred. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I'm not good with numbers. I plead the fifth on that. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, this is on the chip side. Thank you, Ken. Compared. All right. We have Ian and Lena left. Yes. Yeah, Lena will be next, and Ian will close us out. Are you sure we're going to decide here at this moment? We have to, yeah. Really? Hmm? Based on what? That's the game. <laughs> That's the game. Based on the rules that you made up. Yeah, it's my, it's my no, rules. No, no, I'm not, I'm not saying that. I That's, That's right. The, the rules that I made up. Right. We need Australia? to Australia? I like yes, Australia. Australia. I'm Ooh. here to make a case for I the love place. Australia. Yeah, and, and not too many people go there too often mm -hmm. because how far it is. Mm -hmm. That's why they call it the land down under. Mm -hmm. Because it's all the way in the southern hemisphere and it's usually forgotten about. So uh, I figured I should make a case for them. All right. Woo! The forgotten country yeah. of Australia. Oh, I'll just fix it. Can BBTV do this every year? I know. <laughs> We should do much. Just withhold. Can you just be able to just withhold 30% <laughs> and pay us back? Yeah, go ahead. It's, um, so, yes, I think it's important to remember that a big chunk of the H3 viewership comes from Australia. True. Mm -hmm. Huge fan base there. And then Aussies are known to be all about the good vibes. They're mm -hmm. lovely people. Right. So sweet. They're, they have a super laid back culture. Mm -hmm. Everyone calls each other mate. That's really cool. I agree. <laughs> And then let's not forget about all the look at these beautiful people mm -hmm. as great examples of some Aussies. Yeah. We have R Steve Irwin, always smiling, so sad. Rip to the go, dude. Yes. Rip. And then when did Lou die? <laughs> 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 and the others, of course. You guys funny. already know all about them and their contribution to the guy. world. <laughs> And there's very unique animals in Australia. Mm, right. You can't find them anywhere else. What? Marsupials. Mm -hmm. Love right. that. And What's so, that thing on the left? Yeah, like what is this now. cute That's animal? not a real thing. What the fuck <laughs> is that? Stop it. it. <laughs> That's a quaka. A quaka? Dude, oh they smile God. like that. I love them so much. I fucking love them. Oh, man. Yeah, so cute, right? And you can, so that's a another character. reason. You can go and get a cute selfie with these that's animals. That's like the cutest animal. Mm -hmm. What is wrong with you? Looks like, <laughs> he looks like the mouses that dress like Cinderella. <laughs> yeah. Yep, they're so beautiful. Character. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. I'm losing my voice, it seems. Oh, no. And kangaroos. You can't forget about oh, the kangaroos. They're <laughs> yeah, they're very fascinating. So a lot of people yeah. think they're scary, but mm -hmm. some can be affectionate too. Mm. Look, I don't know if you guys have seen that. That one on the left is looking scary yeah. as shit. <laughs> that one is on the on the droids. But I, yeah, that one's also real. <laughs> I didn't um, get that from a Dude, swole. Fuck me. Um, so this is a video. They're just very fascinating creatures because they could be aggressive Man, or affectionate. Just kangaroos. You never know what to expect. <laughs> yeah. Here's a kangaroo holding someone's dog. Yeah, that's his dog. Oh, this is selling. This dude's squaring <laughs> up. This dude's squaring up with a kangaroo, punches him in the face, and walks away. You gotta appreciate that. I feel like if he punched a human oh in the face, God. he would get angry and attack. But the kangaroo knows to cut his losses. Okay, so we can punch. But they're kangaroos. also very strong. Now, what is the now? What about that is. Am I supposed to take oh, away? Oh, it's just fun to watch. Okay, okay, She's okay. just fascinated Yeah, because you them. don't know what to expect with them. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And also, they could be, as I said, affectionate too. Look how sweet. Oh. Lots of kangaroos are known to give kisses to humans. It's very uh, sweet. That's cute. Yeah. Cute. <laughs> the punch one. <laughs> Sock them, dude. Oh, sorry, that's not what I meant to do. How do I do this? <laughs> Next arrow. Oh, yeah. thanks. Okay. okay, and then in addition to the exotic wildlife, you also have very diverse landscapes. Mm -hmm. This means there's something there for everybody. Right. This one here, this is one of the seven natural <laughs> wonders. <laughs> seven natural wonders of the world. It's a huge coral reef, and it's also the largest organism in the world. And this right. is a pink lake that's really pretty. Mm. So, I want you to just for a moment, maybe close your eyes and imagine taking a jeep ride through all of these beautiful, diverse places. Mm. Okay. Australia has Daintree um, rainforest. It's the oldest rainforest in the world. Lots mm. of rare species. 
We have Tasmania Island, which is actually, it has the cleanest air in the whole wide world. Mm. And also the Great Ocean Road. It's kind of like PCH, but in Australia. And it's uh -huh. one of the world's most scenic coastal drives. Cool. Now, Australia is a pretty big country. Are these okay. all close Are you together? Are you trying to sell this idea? Or Some are what? apart, but that's what I was thinking too, because you can like travel, you can take cruises okay. and you know, this get from one place to another. Travel. Yeah, it depends what you want to do. There's just, there's so much. Now, now this, okay, <laughs> interesting approach. Go ahead. And uh, yeah, I know you might be thinking, why would I want to do that? I think personal growth is, <laughs> is a good reason to want to do this. A lot of us are either afraid of spiders or like, you know, crocodiles. And there they have like huge spiders and not all of them are dangerous. They're, they're not like poisonous oh, or anything. Oh, okay. Only, oh. only some, but not like most of them aren't. And also there's a place called Crocosaurus Cove where you can actually swim with the crocodiles. Wow. Ew, she's kissing the crocodile? Fuck that. What? Well, How are you gonna like say a, ew? Oh, she's yeah. on glass. Yeah, yeah. Ew? Yeah. It's gross, and also I don't want to die, but she's <laughs> buying glass. <laughs> oh, and that's it. That's it. All right. That's it? Okay, <laughs> welcome. Pat and Spike. Interesting. Thank you, Lena. Can yeah, I just say, I, I like that the PowerPoint looks like a Khan Academy video. I don't know if anyone <laughs> else caught that, but... Uh, that sounds great. We can go... Square up with kangaroos, let spiders <laughs> crawl over our face. Uh, I love it. And kiss a crocodile. Very good. All right, finally, we have Ian. An airline pilot's advice get the renew new passport started ASAP. It could be a long process. Really? But I'm assuming everyone has a passport. Uh... Did you get your shots? And their shots. I got my shot. Do we need a passport to go to the Caribbean? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Does everyone have a renewed passport? I don't have a passport. I don't. I do. I do. What? Wait. Oh, you guys better get on. Wait, you don't have a passport, period, maybe? I've only ever been in Canada, and they have, like, an enhanced license. What? Dude, that takes a while. How did that happen? You go your whole life without a passport? <laughs> <laughs> All right, give everybody start working on them passports. Yeah. Thanks for the tip. Uh, All right. It's a pilot, good tip, apparently. Pilot. Didn't even think about it. Marlin, thank you. Go ahead, Ian. All right. Hello. Okay. Hello. 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 Or should I say, uh, bonjour. 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 You know, that I've been practicing. I've been practicing. So <laughs> that, that translates to hello, in case you guys missed it. Miss <laughs> bonjour. Monsieur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so. Yeah. Pack your baguettes, ladies and gentlemen, because <laughs> we're going to France. And there's a little, I made that little baguettes in a suitcase, a little flare. Oh, wow. But not just a trip to Paris, because it's kind of boring, you know, it's what everyone does. It's new, True. Right? Obvious. Obvious. We're <laughs> going south, shop. okay? We're heading down <laughs> the coast. <laughs> the Côte d'Azur, <laughs> or aka the French Riviera, okay? I like that. French Riviera, it's very beautiful, very mm -hmm. scenic. Mm -hmm. So I have a five-step plan on how to pull this off, <laughs> right? This is a little first-class shot. Step one, first-class flight to Nice. It's pronounced Nice. I Googled mm. that. <laughs> the second largest airport in France, ice-cold Coca-Cola TV entertainment pretzels. You know how it goes. The vibes <laughs> are immaculate. I took that photo last time I was on a plane because I was just so happy mmm. about that complimentary Coke. It hits unlike any other Coke in the world, really. Mm. That mm. mile-high Coke. about the pressure. Yeah, the air it's pressure. Does, it does something. Yeah. Was it the little can? No, it was the. Mm -hmm. They gave me the full size. I was, you wow. know, they knew I was a high roller. <laughs> uh, okay. Step two: We get off at Nice. We relax. Beautiful five-star hotel right on the water. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is one of them I found. It looks very gorgeous. That's the view of the room. You know, uh, very like uh, Marie Antoinette vibes in there. Step three: After a day of two, day or two of pampering, we take the thirty-minute trip up the coast to Monaco. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We hang out for a day, you know, we see the sights, this and that. Once again, luxury hotel, you know, you guys. Wee wee. Duh. Wee wee, right? <laughs> Monsieur, mademoiselle, enchanté. <laughs> you know, uh, the vibe. Shredder went behind the, uh, yeah, the, the set wall. Mm -hmm. We lost up, the dog. They're up to no good there. Is Lena here? Where is Lena? Where she went? Uh, Lena? Can you grab. Uh, Shredder went behind the set wall. Yeah, I don't want him to go potty there or something. <laughs> He's coming out. Can you check Discord, Lena? Oh, there he is. 
<laughs> Shredder's like, what the hell did I do? Okay. All right, go ahead. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's one of the hotels uh, in Monaco. Uh, it's, you know, right on the ocean. Looks beautiful. Pretty, it's beautiful. Pretty, it's fine. Step four, the following day, we all rent Bugattis. Ooh. Right? This is, I, I only, I added this after Love told me what he's doing. <laughs> we don't have to rent Bugattis. <laughs> You're just trying to sink some money. I was trying to, say, he, he threw me off a little. I thought I was going too cheap. I'd love to rent like a Comedians in Cars getting coffee, tiny little mm-hmm. boy car mm-hmm. uh, to cruise around as well. That would be very nice. We drive that. <clears throat> now, this is potentially flexible depending on how the, the group is feeling. We could either go south, stay in France. Or we could go up the coast to Italy, up to Genoa, where there's beautiful, you know, Italian food, Italian seaside towns. Or we do the really bougie option where we, we drive down through Cannes, mm-hmm. you know, where the celebrities go, Cannes. Mm-hmm. And then we go step five down the final step. We cruise past Cannes, landing in beautiful Saint Tropez, <laughs> France, Sacre Bleu, you know? <laughs> Beautiful seaside once again. You just, we hit the town, we eat, we swim, très bien. You know how it goes, right? <laughs> we walk around. That's a hotel on the right, five star hotel, of course. Um, from there, we fly back to the beautiful place we call home Los Angeles, <laughs> United States. Well, I'll be so relieved to go back there, obviously, <laughs> after that excursion. That's it. That's it. All right. There you go. Oh my God. I mean, Italy is the other place that I would really love to go. But okay. Anything in Europe would be awesome. All right. Well. But yeah, this so, is so hard. First of all, we got to throw up a poll. Okay. So here's the thing, um, because there's so many options. Nine. Um, I'll tell you the ones that I think are the be- are the best ones. Oh. Okay. And we can narrow it down like that. Okay. What were you gonna say? Well, I I just used an offsite. Whole thing that oh, go ahead. We'll do that then. Four yeah. options. Also, the way I set it up, you tell me if you like this. My only fear is that people are going to get confused. But I guess if we talk about it right now, it won't be so bad. Um, doing it, uh, doing it like this. Rank choice. Rank choice is fine. You see this? So you like the top one is your first choice, and then each one That's is a lot of work. One left. Yeah. It could just be like pick work. three. Uh, okay. Or two. Pick two. Okay. Can you do that? Uh, yeah, give me a minute. So, as we're sitting up the pole, I'll tell you the ones that I'm liking. Mm-hmm. My favorite is Japan mm-hmm. and the Caribbean. Mm. Mm-hmm. I have to say, when I watched the housewives go there, I was like, we have to do that. I've been wanting that to go Caribbean. So fun. Now, the Caribbean is a lot less complicated. One thing I also want to say, I'm not sure I want to bring the kids. I just want to go have fun. No, I don't want to bring the kids either, but like... Because I feel like one of, one one of the pluses there was that we could bring the kids. No, I don't want to bring the kids to the Caribbean. We'll leave them at home. But one, if we go for like four nights, it's still shorter and there's way less traveling. So we'll, it's not like, you know, an 11 hour flight. We're still close. It, to me, it's like five days instead of, you know, like 10 mm-hmm. is a big difference. Yeah. I'm, I'm comfortable going for five days to the Caribbean where seven to 10 days seems just like a little bit too long for how old they are, you know? In my opinion, I mean, you know, that's what I'm thinking. I think we should also ask your parents how long they would be willing to stay with the boys with help, but Let's just because it's not only up to us. This is also what we what could be just, done. Let's just assume for the sake of this that they're down. I think they'll be down with all the help and stuff. They, they'll be fine. Okay. All right, so Dan okay, is Okay, I think up I got floor. it all set up. So it's going to be multiple choice. You have to pick three. I so everybody who votes on this will pick their top three. If or do you, you want to If you want to think about content. Two. If you want to think about content. Mm-hmm. Japan is like... Definitely Japan would be crazy for Winning the by a thousand percent. Because the other location is just like a beach. There's no content to do <clears> that. Debatable. Uh, Bachelor Mansion. No, he's saying he's between Japan oh, between and... those two. And, um, yeah, I guess. Korea. All right, so I'm going to link the poll in chat. And everybody, the poll will be you pick your top two. Dude, the Caribbean's fire because, like, you can gamble. I mean, that and then is you true. can go do all this. You know what? Yeah, I actually go looked to into Vegas that in and Japan, gamble. and uh, apparently gambling is 
uh, illegal in Japan. There are casinos, but they're all run by the Yakuza, which sounded a little... Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, sounds uh, like an adventure, dude. What are you talking about? Yeah. All right, so the poll is up, guys. All right, I just pinned Everyone it who's in invested, the chat, and I'm going to start spamming it in the click chat. Click the straw email. poll. You want me to... Is this the two um, you like, Elo? It says pick two. I I'm, I'm don't mean to call you out, I mean, Dan, because I'm horrible at spelling, but you spelled Dearborn wrong, but it's okay. Oh, oh sorry about that. That's all good. I'll can apologize. only pick two. I, did we not just explain <laughs> this to everybody? You're picking two. You pick two. Everybody says choice. two. Yes, two. That's correct. So as the votes come in here, Japan is a clear winner, and Bahamas is a clear second winner. Mm. So the question is really, let's be real, going to Japan, we'd have to go for at least seven days to make it like worth all that travel. Right. Do you genuinely think that we can leave the kids for a whole week? Yes, I think it would be hard, but, you know, for us, but I think they would be fine. They would be fine, you yeah. think? I think it would be harder for us than for them. We would feel guilty. So, but okay. they'll have everybody they know. They'll have their grandparents, our help. But the, Okay, so let's do the math then. How many nights will we need to be in Japan? We're talking, we want seven full days. So that would be that would be nine if we wanted seven full days, because it's eleven hours. Oh, I thought hour you flight. mean seven in total. Seven. Seven days in total, total will give us five full days. I think that's plenty, day. don't you guys? Did Dan five full days? Is that enough? Listen, man, I'll take what I can get. That's all. I've, that's what I've been saying. I mean, when you asked like, what would you like to do, and I gave the like ten day option. I mean, yeah, that'd be great. But obviously, I understand. I can't. Yeah, you I guys, can't. Busy people, you got kids, you, there's a lot of complicating factors. If you want to do five days, we do five days. Do can five days. Maybe the crew can stick around a little <laughs> extra days. <laughs> the crew can kick back That's a little bit, do their own thing. Two days or whatever. You know, have a, a little the crew can have a fun time. I hadn't even considered that. Yeah, I mean I guess why not if you're already there. We don't got kids. <laughs> right. <laughs> Interesting. Uh you would pay for that, Cam. <laughs> I'll pay for it if we get the time off. Yeah, I'll pay for it. That's yeah, fine. we all we're all taking two weeks off. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> During this time. Honestly, Deal. I kind of feel like it's almost a opportunity for us that we should just take because when are we gonna get once we have another baby? When are we gonna take a fun trip like this? It does sound. Pretty, we're not. Okay. I mm -hmm. would like. Do you think we could go for <coughs> six full days? So that would be eight days. Yeah, I mean, I feel like six is I'll more ask, satisfying. I can't five. ask other parents, I know, but I feel like <coughs> people do that. You think so? Do they? I do, do people think. do that? And they're not even like in the very beginning, you know, like they're not like a newborn right now. Okay, so let's say six full days, Dan. Mm -hmm. That would be eight days total. Right, two travel days, six days. There. Now, we wouldn't be able to do first class because fuck that. Yeah, that. I, I don't care about that's that. That's crazy. We'd have to, we'd be on coast. Personally, uh, I'm not used to that, so. Yeah, I'm good. That really sucks. It's fine by me. Plus, that's, like, I'm not, class. I wouldn't spend that kind of money on one flight ticket. That's crazy. Dude, we, yeah, that's it's 16,000 for yeah. one motherfucking ticket. So, Isn't it economy on like a world flight? Isn't it like a, it's a lot better than just a domestic flight. Isn't it? I feel like it's a lot bigger. I don't think it's that much better. I don't I mean, it's know. probably. And here's a yeah, question too. Know. It depends on the airplane. International, I said world flight. I got a question though. That's how you know I ain't been anywhere. <laughs> what you got, Kim? Go ahead. There's economy, first class, and then there's business class. How much is business class for these flights? I think AB said eight thousand. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I mm -hmm. think I would want to know what it actually gives. Yeah, exactly. Because I've been on planes where it's like literally like yeah. five more inches of space. There was the a bunch of people correcting me, but you guys understand that changing it by one day changes it by you know a couple thousand potentially. What were people saying in the chat? People were saying mean? that oh, it was like two thousand dollars cheaper or three thousand. Okay. Yeah. The big thing for me is like laying down. If you can lay down in business, then then it's worth it. But if it's like a little extra leg space, fuck all that. Right. What even is the difference between first class and business if you're flying to Japan? On uh, Delta, at least premium select or whatever I would be have, first uh... class, and Delta One would be lay flat seats. So for lay flat seats, it's eight thousand two hundred and eighty-three dollars. Mm. For what would be first, it's forty-five hundred. 
a main cabin coach seat on wait forty five hundred for first first, is for first but then does that on, lay down? No. Oh, that's so, so what's weird. First about it. Well, it's just you can't lay down in normal first. You can only lay down, I think, in like Delta One or like, and it's only on like super long haul flights. It's not just on. I thought that was the whole point. I thought so too. <laughs> No, yeah, you can't lay down on all first. It's usually just like. Well, if it's international, fuck. If, but if you that say, keep the if that keep the difference thing that we were talking about before, I'll I'll stay in the fucking baggage area. <laughs> <laughs> if I can keep you pack case. me up in a suitcase. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you said uh, first class tickets you can get for six thousand a piece. No, it'd be forty five hundred. Forty five hundred. That's definitely worth it. But is mm-hmm. it? It's it's like the Delta first class, right, Sam? Like the front of the plane. It's not like a, it's not like a private section, right? Like, is it just a bullshit? It's. I mean, it also just depends on the plane. But for what I'm looking at right now, uh-huh. it's forty five hundred for premium select, which is oh, like, premium select's bullshit. No, it's not. It's that's not comfort. That, it's dude. what would be first class on like a regular plane. Are you sure? Yeah. Premium select sounds like a scam. Like, oh, you get to select your seat, and then you get, like, one extra inch. It it's it really depends so much on the plane, though. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's say 50000 for the tickets. How much is it to stay in Tokyo? Like, I don't know. I have no idea how much it costs for a hotel there. I don't know. I didn't do breakdowns. Well, I gave you just the rough. Us. Okay. It's very expensive. How much was a normal coach ticket to Japan? Like fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. Yep. I just checked again with a different date, and I got fifteen hundred again. All right. So here, let's. Ela, can you uh, manage these numbers for me? Hold on. So it's six, let's just say twenty thousand for a flight. Hold on, me and my nails. You see anything? A five star hotel in Tokyo? How, many How much did you say already? Twenty thousand. Hmm. The so Ritz Carlton Tokyo, which that's as good as a gadget. Sure is quite nice. Seeing seven hundred a night, nine hundred oh. a night. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so, yeah. so that's fantastic. Then we would need, since there's three couples, we would need what nine rooms? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So let's just say it's a thousand a night. We're stay. We said we're staying for. What would be eight nights? That's a lot. That's not what we said. What? Oh, right. Uh, so we, said, we said six full days. So how many nights would you have at the hotel with six full days? Seven, seven? probably. Just say seven. Okay, so if it's seven, day, seven days and there's, we need how many rooms? Nine rooms? Mm-hmm. So seven times 9,000. Thousand a night. That's a 63,000. Mm-hmm. That's not bad where we're at. We're and then at food, parks, everything. Let's throw in another. What do you say? Just to make sure that it's like good. The good, parks good. are what's gonna probably be the most expensive thing out of that. Really, parks? I mean, if you think Tickets of them here, even everybody? like Universal here. Yeah. Huh? What do you guys think uh, for the food and parks and stuff? Uh, I don't know, fifty. Less than that, probably, eh? 25000 Sure. Okay, 25000 So that that should cover the whole trip, right? Mm-hmm. So am I missing it? It's it? 108 I think it would be more. But that's I don't think twenty five is enough. But so what? Add, way, how much more? It's 2. 2.2K 2. 2 per person? Yeah, you're right. Double it. So that's add another way 25. too little. All right, so 130000 so for this trip to Japan. Damn, we're still under budget. Yeah, I did <laughs> okay, guys. I did 150, so I was in the ballpark. Yeah. Based off of that. So here's where it gets interesting. I will say I might want to bring makeup and photographer. Oh shit! <laughs> All right, up to 150. <laughs> that would actually be killer content. Yeah. <laughs> now here's where it gets interesting, my friends. This is the twist. Mm-hmm. Japan is the winner. And let's just say 150,000. Okay. Now here, I ha- you all must vote at this time. Do we all go to Japan? Or 
do you guys just keep the money? Oh my god. <laughs> now hold on. Hold on. At 150,000 divided mm -hmm. by 9, right? That's the correct number. Mm -hmm. Is Yeah, it's 9 yeah. right now with us. 16,000 per person. That is a lot of money. Well, we know what Zach feels. Now, the, now the issue here is like, how many opportunities are we gonna get to go to Japan like this, like full, amazing life experience? But sixteen thousand dollars is obviously a ton of money. So, you all have to vote right now. Right now, That's you have it. my vote. <laughs> So think about it. You guys want to talk it out amongst you? You guys want to talk it out? It's not fair for me and you to vote, right, Hila? Because, yeah, no. it should be them. It should be them. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you guys talk it amongst yourselves. You guys got to make a decision Well, right so, now. I mean, I feel like... I feel like the obvious answer is, like, everybody... If, you, if we all took the money, you could just do the trip. Like, whatever trip you want. You know what I mean? But not together. As a yeah, family. but not together. I guess. Also, we got to consider taxes too. <laughs> taxes, if yeah. you take the sixteen thousand, mm. you will get basically forty to fifty percent of that to spend on your trip. Whereas if we go to Japan, this is a full business expense. Right. So actually, if you did take the money, you would have half as much to spend on your own vacation mm. if you were to point. spend That's it on that. Point. Or even just to keep it for a Rolex, Zach. You're getting a $16,000 value trip. You could have about 50% of that, Zach. I think I'd still rather take the cash. Nice to know. No, I'm nice curious. To know does how, this how, have to... Go ahead. Does look. this have to be a group decision, or can some people split no, off No, it's a group money? decision. Yeah. It's right, all or nothing. Yeah. We're all going. For and me, then, it's love, easy. separately, I'll fly you to Japan. Right, that will be To cheaper, meet us. So. That, yeah, yeah. So this is easy for me. Initially, when you said <laughs> it, I was like, I'm too fresh out of poverty. Fuck yeah, let's fucking do it. I'll take the cash. But now, I don't know. The value I'm proposition that, to do the vacation is yeah, a lot better. The way that you, you broke it down with like the tax situation and everything, I think I think my vote's for the trip. I th I think money, you can always make money. But think about it and then we'll do it. We'll do a vote. Are we gonna be able to all do something like this together? Mm-hmm. That's true. Very true. I'm going on the trip 100%. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck there the money. Uh, I'm way uh, fuck the money. All right, so, okay, so. I love you guys. I would love to do this. Way you know what? <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Well, does anybody vote to keep the money other than Zach? <laughs> Don't be shy. I mean, it's a lot of money. Yeah. It is. I'm still thinking. I No, trip. And by the way, as a couple. <laughs> right, as like, a couple, it's even more. Ian. Oh. And Sam and AB and Lena, that's thirty-two thousand dollars. Right. As a couple. Uh, yeah, that's that's a good point. <laughs> but again, Lenny thoughts half. I'm I just I'm with whatever. I'm go with the flow. That's why I picked Australia. What? <laughs> Everyone's got to vote. Go with the wants, flow. That's what She's I got the Aussie. <laughs> Mindset. This isn't something I feel very strongly about. Like I wish I was as passionate as you guys were about all of your plate your vacation spots. I see. Here's a donation from a Japanese fan. They says, I'd love to see you guys come here, but I don't recommend the summer. It's humid and super hot and it's miserable. Hmm. Money, baby. <laughs> well, I mean, we're used to super That's hot. That's it, yeah. 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 That's, like, it's it, super fucking hot here. Yeah, so. exactly. I'm for, we're from Israel and LA. I yeah. doubt it's worse than that. I saw people posting on the sub that, yeah, it's going to be rainy too. I'm more concerned I like rain. rain. Warm rain sounds great. It'll, it'll be sunny in 85 in the Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> Well, right, right. I love the Bahamas idea. For Japan, for me, I feel like it's an awfully long way to go for a short time. Ooh. I feel like if I would go to Japan, I would want to go for like two weeks. Yep. I feel like I'm, I would just I'm, need way longer than yeah. than the amount of time. Well, I'm, we'll have I'm six with, full days. I still, it's I'm like a Sam twelve hour flight though. You lose two, like I don't know. I mean, like yeah, I get we'll have six full days, but I still feel like it's awfully far. Or since we've established a budget of sixteen thousand per person, what was the budget on the um, on the? It says in Japan in June it's high seventies, low low eighties. Dude, that sounds. I just, love that weather. These people, people don't know what hot is. Hot, <laughs> humid. I'm I'm a bit worried about going to Japan because everyone kind of want to do different stuff, 
and we're too big of a group. Well, we'll make maybe? a group itinerary. We'll go. We'll right. do it all real nice. Okay. Well, we'll have it all I planned think Bahamas out. Bahamas might be more um, fun for everyone, really? no matter what. But how much did we say the the Bahamas was? I think be? you had said a hundred thousand. The lower end was sixty eight, and then I was adding all this extra shit to be like two hundred. But we could have such a it, it, awesome vacation if for we do the Bahamas. That. Let's say four or five full days. I don't know what you're comfortable with. It's a lot less days, so we're spending a lot less money. I love you guys can keep Bahamas. the difference of the sixteen thousand. I'm putting the rest in that casino. Exactly. <laughs> so let's just say that theoretically that would leave you all with at least, by my calculation, six thousand. Before taxes. Before taxes, obviously. Yeah. So that's another option. All, All right, right, we're gonna vote. You guys, you guys ready to vote? We do need to wrap. This is binding. This is it. Are we voting between the two? I, yeah, I mean, I'm so confused happening? now because like it didn't. I'm out. What are Bahama. we even voting yeah. on? It would have to be Japan, I think. Is it money okay, or yeah, Japan? Okay, yeah, you're right. It's confusing. Sorry. Yeah. It's money or Japan. It's right. it's Japan then. So yeah, money or Japan. Zach, go ahead. Money. Sam. I'm gonna have to say money. Ian. I'm voting money. Wow. This is this is uh snowballing. <laughs> AB? Can I go last. <laughs> AB? Just mm. I'm voting for the trip, so I'm okay. just throwing it out there. Me too. That's okay. two to three. Olivia. Hold on, hold on. Cam? Hold on, hold on. Japan. A AB, okay, oh, we got another. AB, your vote. You have to vote. It's three three. Well, you know? Hold on, hold on. No, AB's got to decide. Well, yeah, I mean, yes. Ladies first. It can be last. Uh, last. No, no, oh. that's okay. a cop out. Okay. The man's got to vote. Um, it might help to know if he's like the tiebreaker. I know, he's trying to scheme. AB, vote now. I want to know what he really wants. <laughs> it's 3 3. You know what? Because I know what this trip means to Dan. I know. <laughs> It's still money. Dan's gonna get paid. Yeah, I'm way. happy either way. It doesn't matter. So, so what do you want? What, do you, what does AB want? Oh my god. Alfredo, don't go sniffing too much around. pressure. I can't do this. Oh my god, I vote Japan. <laughs> All right, he loses his vote. Oh. All right, Japan from Olivia. We got four three. Wait, you switch? Wait, oh. did you? Oh, you had to decide. I hadn't decided. voted. She yeah. was thinking. No, so wait, that's thinking. four three. Four three. And that only leaves Lena and AB. Right. Go ahead, Lena. You could decide uh, next so that. Money. Oh, I was gonna say money. Okay, four four. Mm. Now, four, four. <laughs> now, now, AB, oh you God. have the chance, and now it's all on you. It's all on your shoulders. Four now. four, AB. Do we go to Japan, or do we stay at home? Fifty percent taxes. Remember that, guys. That proposition is crazy. If you ever wanted to go to Japan, you'd have, it would cost you double, double. Because this is pre-tax money. You don't get to take a company vacation to Japan very often. I'm this curious. Is... Can we get with the chat? Can we do a poll to see what they want? Oh, I'm sure they want us to go to Japan. They don't okay, give a yeah. fuck if you guys yeah. get money. Fair enough, yeah. Mm -hmm. We can do a poll, though, as AB, uh, as AB uh, thinks. Dan, you want to go ahead and do the poll? It's going to be 99%. <laughs> yeah, I just want to see, though. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all up to AB, who, by the way, his wife voted for the money. <laughs> That is true. Money. That is true. But again, the value proposition is really tips Japan. 88% says Japan. 86. <laughs> you know what? I got to uh, go with the audience on this one and say go to Japan. What's Final going? answer? Final answer. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the tension. The it tension. Really tense. That's it. We're going to Japan then. Okay. Let's fucking go. <laughs> All right, we're doing it. We made it. it. <laughs> Lena, you're cheering pretty loud there. You're out voted for the money. I, I mean, they're the both good cool, options. But now, like the thought that we're all going to Japan, that's that's so exciting. Good A A B. That was. I'm telling you, that was a nail biter, boy. <laughs> Jeez. There it is. We're going to Japan. I think you guys made the right decision because, again, if you took eight thousand dollars and which went to go a person and took that to Japan, 
it wouldn't come anywhere near to the fucking level of decadence right. and luxury. That was my thinking. As we well. are going Because I had the thought. I was like, oh, I'll just take the money and I'll just go to Japan, which would be fine. I probably right. still would do that if but money had won out. Too. But half the opportunity. I, and I mean, this, I agree. That's why this, I voted for the trip. This is a legit tax write off. So, I mean, like, this, this is, you know. Yes, sir. I'm not going to sleep for the next week or two, but hell yeah, oh, let's no. do it. Why? <laughs> Just why? Kidding. I have never in my life Maybe, had yeah. the choice of uh, what always it was 16k worried. between uh, me and Lena on the like spot. The pressure was just too much. No. Always Bolded. worried. Always overthinking things. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you can change your mind. I'll give you one about. chance to change no, your mind. No, I, 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 I have. There believe, it is, guys. I have to believe that one day money won't be a problem, and that I love you guys and want to have that experience. <laughs> one day money won't. You're fine. Money's not a problem for you. No, it's it? not a problem. No. I mean, come on. But I mean, like, where eight or eight thousand won't mean shit, right? Right. A lot of money. Right. Right. So there it is. So after, so then we got to make start making arrangements. I guess so. I have to start talking this about is that. Happening. Well, it sounds like wow. almost none of us have passports, so um, that's you guys. <laughs> we'll have a uh, we'll have that conversation. I, mine is expired, but it's a lot easier to renew. But I'm more concerned about people that just uh, don't have one. So everybody who um, doesn't have or needs to renew. Should do it tomorrow. Lena, you should stay on their ass to make sure they do it and help them with whatever oh, they sure. need. I would do if there's like an a, a expressed There is. You can, it, you there can expedite is. it if yeah, it's, if it's uh, business related, which we would say this is. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I wouldn't expect it's just an, an extra issue fee, with anybody but... that just needs a renewal. Yeah, Yeah, that's uh, fine. We should do that. Yeah. So, all right. So Lena, so, you want to take the point on that? Of whipping it. them to get their ABs? <laughs> and then... In terms of taking the lead on planning the itinerary, mm -hmm. Sam, is that something you feel you'd be good at? Uh, sure. I mean, everyone yeah. can contribute, but I want one person to just be in charge. We can get the itinerary so we know what we're doing every day. I'm totally down to get a tour guide who speaks Japanese, too. Right. Um, no limit on the laundry. I, I, I think I, we I gotta remember because I've already done a bunch of research on it. So okay, okay Dan. Yeah, you want to take the point on the yeah, yeah. Just yeah. because okay, we're a big group, we'll so all wherever help we out. go. Then, yeah, Dan, Sam does enough for us. Like, <laughs> she doesn't need to plan a vacation too. Yeah. So, right. We like, need... if we want to go eat at a restaurant, we're a really big group. Yeah. Everything will need to be. I agreed. Yeah. And we'll we'll get all on top of that. There you go. And I'll provide moral support. Hell yeah. Thank you, Cam. You got this, Dan. Cam, I believe in you. Thanks, keep... Cam. You got this, Dan. Thanks, buddy. Good luck. I'm I'm curious. Is the flight thing actually still on the table? Like, where if we take a cheaper flight? Because I'll fly the cheaper <laughs> This man is going to have himself in a FedEx box to Japan. <laughs> that was never on the table. <laughs> gonna that's going to go in a box. I don't know what. Yeah. How, what's cheap? <laughs> There's no. You want to fly coach? I mean, that's the lowest option. That's what I'm offering. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you guys were going to fly, uh, fly uh, first class. That's why. Oh. Uh, oh, I guess I. I don't. I think that was I for. Think. I think that was for a different area. Maybe we were talking about. I think it was Bahamas. We were saying uh, if we go cheaper. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. So this is happening. We're ha we're going to Japan. We're going to do the live show, and then our break begins, and our adventure begins. Hell yeah! There it is. I'm Hell yeah, brother! Thank you, BBTV. I forgot it's during that two weeks. Yeah. It's okay. Yay. You want to change do you want to change your vote? No, no, no. Can't do you it. You forgot now. what? That it's during our official vacation time. Oh. Well okay. someone said, why is Ethan we'll, being so hold on, hold on, hold on. Why is Ethan being so stingy? <laughs> <laughs> that is insane. Stingy? That's what they said. Why is Ethan being so stingy? You guys know this money has nothing to do with us, right? Yeah, this is literally paying for an all expenses paid trip to another country. What it's made you really say that? Crazy. That's crazy. I just, and, I'm just and, curious. I think like, the only what? thing that could have caused it is because at first you said, like, come up with your th trip. There's no limit. That's why. We voted for the That's best all. one. Yeah. And just so you guys That's know, it was true. I don't know if the audience knows that, but how many times we've had something that made a lot of money and Ethan's let the crew keep it. This year alone, it was probably four or five times between the cards and the, this and that. Thanks, bro. Yep, that's true. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Goofy. Don't be goofy. Thank you, guys. Oh, I am genuinely curious what made you say that. But anyway, Maybe they're just trolling. Uh, there it is. So, okay, this is very exciting, guys. This is awesome. All right. Let's fucking do this shit, dude. Let's fucking go right now. Is everyone excited? Oh, they said 620 down to 150, so... 
uh, they feel that we should spend every dollar. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, it is 100% our money, as uh, Dan pointed out. Yes. So. Y'all can fucking suck my tiny Jewish dick. <laughs> All right. You fuck. He's nuts. Um, All right, we have been going for four and a half hours. We holy should probably fuck. Uh, get the fuck out of here, eh? I feel like you presenting the option kind of took the excitement out. Is everyone excited? Yeah, yes. definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this yeah, is yeah, a, yeah. this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Lena Yelp. Right. Let's <laughs> fucking go. Right I'm excited. Now. I'm excited. No, I'm telling you, it's gonna be, <laughs> dude. We're gonna make sure that we go all out. Nicest hotels, nicest food. We're gonna mm. do everything. It's mm. gonna be fucking awesome, dude. Mm. It's gonna be great. All right, that's it then. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. Right. Good job, everybody who presented. Dan, Thank I gotta you. say. That was I a didn't good expect presentation. To be going to Japan today. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think you did either. I, don't, I didn't really expect to be uh, that persuasive, but it looks like we got there. You can see Ethan halfway through the presentation change yeah. his mind on it. Too. Yeah, <laughs> I was. Yeah, I was captivated by it. I mean, it, it sounded like. I was less worried about Ela because I, I knew about the established desire uh, <laughs> to go there uh, from that clip and everything, but. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I'd be able to sell you on it, but... Oh. Hey. Well, Quis Perny said, AB made the right choice with peace and love. There you go. It did. There you go. I think I'll buy a car there. And you buy it. a car there? No, no joke. I've been wanting to go to L uh, Japan and buy a car <laughs> oh and you, Okay, it. just so you know, <laughs> when you bring it back, you have to pay the sales tax or even more, an import tax of yeah, probably I've like researched 50%. This for, I've researched this for literally seven years it's cheaper I, to go buy it in japan well yeah but way cheaper yeah what yeah huh, maybe i'll get a go missing something <laughs> i'm no, sure no, you're no, missing it's something jdm cars it's interesting They're really really rare all right we should talk about that love all right guys have a great weekend thank you everybody wow exciting times all right it's all happening here at the h3 podcast